property is there we go does this work now let's see testing oh, testing this work now does okay cool now three two one let's see do we hear this we do hear that that's good so that works <clears throat> for some odd reason every time there is a windows update that fucks up okay line in the microphone microphone is there that's it audio is there line in is there that works perfectly fine perfectly fine okay good now let's see, does my YouTube recognize the stream? There we go, YouTube does recognize the stream. Okay, finally. So, hello and welcome to the next thing, right? <clears throat> I need to buy Alva Temples. <laughs> okay, so Alva Temples, I have two high levels that won't mix. That won't mix at all, so Awakened Period Trade. I need to level. So area level 80 with uh, Ape 6 of Azoatl should be fine, right? Okay, I'll, I'll pay 10, 10 chaos per each, like whatever. I'll just make them, it's easier to, to like uh, run them than to worry about anything else. Hire a quest, there we go. <clears throat> Okay. Dude, why are Chronicles like 10 chaos now? Thank you. Did I just see... Shrine of making wealth with the wall hybridization, gem cutter, corruption, court. This is all nice, this is okay. I mean, it's, it's item level 83. I'm gonna get screwed, right? Let's see, can I actually downgrade this to 78? I mean, this one works. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna buy a few. Wait. Although, here's one thing. What you don't need to do. You don't need to pick up more than... Uh, or you don't need to, to pick up like 10, 10, 10, 10, whatever. So you trade this, you go shift, you type in 10, and it's going to put 10. Pog. Awakened Gmup. Awakened Gmup. Crazy. Crazy in SSF, dude. Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these these two. So first we're doing this one. Torment, GCP, jeweler, hall of locks. Okay, so we need Hall of Locks, which means I need 10 of these. There we go. So we first need to level. Yes. Um, the piece. The piece, yes. So one is... One is from Delve. One from Alva... Temple, the main boss. Uh, ambition, cooperation, curiosity. I don't know where the last one is. I think.
Okay, this is fine. Yeah, they all die in one like hit. That's <laughs> that's fine, right? Can't be changed. You can. You can change to a zero zero mode. So. It's Royal Meeting Room. You just back into Alva. Oh, that's my favorite thing ever. Yeah, definitely need more mana, so that's definitely a problem, right? But otherwise, this is burning through content phenomenally, right? Probably for SSF, yeah. Oops, four I love how this actually works, and I don't have my well, one of my main damage uh, nodes. Which is, which I respect. Um, hello? <laughs> like, I'm actually missing actively one of my main damage nodes. And I'm like at 2.5k HP, which is a thousand less. The mana is also not great, but it, I made it work. But we'll we'll see. Yeah, okay, it can do seven twice in a row even when attacking. Cool. In theory this should have way more DPS, but I need to like uh Get a grip, right? Chance to inflict bleeding 95%. Let's go, dude. Almost a hundred. Almost a hundred. It's hundred with a curse. But I really don't want to rely on a curse to have a hundred. Yeah, this definitely does way more damage than, than Gladiator. For now. <laughs> Even with the nerfs. There you go. This is what explodes. Oh. Nothing. Wow. Choose early abuse off. Dude, I hate when that happens. I freaking hate when that happens, man. God, I hate when that happens. Mm, I'll probably have to swap to Steel Skin later on. I'll probably have to swap to Steel Skin, not gonna lie. Because less mana, and I want to have like more mana with uh, Enlighten. Which is kind of sad, but... Yeah, this deals way more damage than... 
than bleed ball originally. The Union? La Ma. Hey, my man over here playing SSF like trade. Yeah, the main problem that I now have are just levels. That's it. I'm 76. I need to be minimum... Well, 85, 86. We'll see. Although, I just leveled, right? And I'm already at 50. Oof. Okay. So, let me see, chat 1, chat 2, they should be working, let me just send a, a meme, let's do this one, does this work? Perfect, it does. I need to think about what, what next build to make. I am really thinking about like some Elebo shenanigans. Might even do it on this character. Oh, it's over there. Yep, good definitely good nerf. Came in last night. Like, I don't feel I'm in too much danger when it comes to... I just had to say it, right? I just had to say it. I ate my words instantly. Wow. I literally just had to say it. I don't feel like in too much danger. Dead. Oh, yeah, right. Um, determination, determination... Damn it. Mm. Determinations. What do I put here? Precision? Yeah. Precision. Guess where I put the portal? At the beginning. Okay, at least I go top left. I mean, I can go to this room, that's fine. Doo -doo. Yeah, this, this mana thing is going to be slightly annoying. But we'll see. Should all be fine later on. Basically doing this for the experience. Like, if I get something out of this, cool, but I'm mainly doing this for the experience. Although, next build is not going to have nearly as much investment as this one. Next one, I'll just be uh, raw dogging it. Yeah, the amount of damage that this one dishes out is crazy compared to bleed bow. Hey, cookie. Why you people oh, JJ? Why you gotta be so rude, cookie? Who hurt your kitty? Who touched your mouse? Come 
Come on, weren't you dead? There we go. Why why will people leave when PoE? Do you want me to play Ape Sex? Mm, I haven't booted up Ape Sex in a while. We Dinner already, Jesus. Enjoy. Factorio, fuck no. Fuck no. Sorry, but fuck no. Flammability on hit, dude! Woo-wee! That's a ring, man! Holy spoopies! Yo! Yo! That's a ringy dingy! It doesn't have to be Moonstone. 2 DFJ! Nice! Might keep that one, actually. <laughs> no memes, I might keep that one. Okay, that was lucky. Like two two divine for the the ring sure is good. Dude, I don't even have to charge snipe, man. Like I legit don't even have to charge snipe. Wow, two levels from this thing. There you go. Two more. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely works perfectly fine, as much as I'd like it to. Just want to see it in 16s. Bye. Hey, Pixel. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. to seal the death that's good how are you doing my dude okay this one goes in the valuables don't worry pixel it's completely fine yesterday I didn't stream for a long time as well because I was tired as shit and I went to bed Here, here's here's something stupid okay I went to bed I slept for four hours. I couldn't sleep more. And then I did the Bleedbow Gladiator video. <laughs> then I made the guide. Like, I just simply could not sleep more. And I just made the guide. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Another one, one tap? Jesus, man. You're getting lucky there, dude. Wish I had your luck with Tempering Orbs. Did you manage to sell the Paradoxica? I haven't invest invested money into, into mine. Same. Oh, you're using it. Ah, so you're making a splitting steel build then. That's cool. But wait, no. You, wait, you're using Paradoxica too? That's ballsy. Nice. Yeah, you're. Oh, that's why. Okay, Impale Champ. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's that's juicy. 
That's juicy. That's so lovely and juicy, I agree. I am thinking of actually making a caster build just to prove a point. Sure, sure. Are you in game? I'll give you a hundred chaos for it. If you manage to hit it, I'll give you an extra divine with those two. Dude, I need to pay for the tempering orbs. Come on. Go. Okay, come here. Come here. Let's see. Trade. Here you go. Good luck. Somebody uses automation for a lot of things. Hey, Sheng! Welcome! Uh, interesting! My god, I actually hit it! What the fuck, dude? You hit it in one? What the fuck, dude? What? Your luck is insane! Dude, your luck is insane! Yo! Increased explicit physical mod ma ma magnitudes. Has no blue sockets. Holy shit, son! <laughs> For reviving bleed? Hey, the bleed bow glad is actually phenomenal, by the way. It's very cheap, and then it becomes more expensive as you go on. But I'm testing this version, this version out. Um, apparently the... Oh my god, that's so amazing. Now we just need to hit... Um, oh, we now need omens. Okay. Um, thank you, Pixel. You're a god, dude. Like, you are a god. That weapon cost me five freaking divines already. Like, come on. So, uh, for this build, there's a few things that are messed up, right? I think... Enlighten will be needed. I'm sorry, I really do think Enlighten will be needed. So far, I have a decent chunk invested into the... Oh! oh, oh. Yeah, I need levels. Uh, I have decent chunk invested into this one. It's doing more damage than uh, Bleedbow Gladiator at level 77. So that's for damn sure. Uh, survivability is, I cannot comment on that because I'm still not like anywhere close to, to the thing. Um, having to use Hemophilias instead of uh, doing a charm is like, ugh, is disgustingly bad. Like, let me tell you that it's disgustingly bad. Um, but I gotta admit, it's really fun to zoom around, right? Like, it is really fun to zoom around. However, apparent problems are there. Like, there, there are loads of apparent problems, right? I think I will solve them by just leveling up. I'm not sure, though. It's not about it's not about the reduced duration. Reduced duration is nothing, right? Like reduced duration is nothing. However, the problem is the unique slots. Now there is a workaround. It costs eight divines, but there is a workaround. 
Hello, Bane. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing even better now that Pixel actually managed to, to freaking do my Paradoxica in one tap. Asshole. How? I have no idea, but good. Um, you can either spend 3-400 Chaos on buying any Hemophilias and uh, Valorbing them. Hey, Viva. Testing Caster, but Inquisitor, Cook, DD. Oh, that's going to be fine, but it's it might be expensive. So, you can take a quad tab of Hemophilias and Valorb them for vulnerability. If you hit, it's an 8 divine item. And it fixes this shit. Why do I say it fixes this shit? Because then we roll the ring. Like, we roll the ring, Amethyst ring, with. Like, you're trying to get Amethyst Ring with Fractured Resistance. And you're hitting it with Int Essence to get the other resistance and shit on. Because we need Int, right? Like, we need Int. Like, we are lack we are severely lacking Int. That's why I have Int here. Then, the next one is... You can get a chest... Again, with Fractured Spell Suppress, good luck. And you are rolling after you finish the ring, right? You're then rolling it with Chaos Essence to get the other resistance up and to get Evasion Rating. Or you're rolling Evasion Rating to get Chaos Resistance. Because we are currently at 15% Chaos Res. I can fix it a little bit more with this, like, you know, you know like... Blah, 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 blah. But there are apparent problems. And I want to find out what they are, because on paper, this works. However, it needs levels. I am, like, severely underleveled. But I'm really liking the build. And I am thinking about uh, actually proving a point... Like, I want to do my proof of concept right. I want to do it properly this time around. And I want to make... Um, I want to make a fireball, right? My old fireball build that Cookie is now playing. I want to make that again. I have so many, like, builds that I want to, like, give a go. Like, fireball is one. There's... Uh, the new elemental hit of the spectrum because you can abuse the living shit out of out of stuff but i need to to do corpse crafting oh my god corpse crafting oh sweetie traded me a quad tab and a half of corpses oh, i have to do corpse crafting fuck me i don't have enough tabs for that oh i need to finish fizzbo crafting well, wait, I can do both simultaneously, right? Yeah, I can. I can do Fizzbo craft. And then I can do... Huh. Yeah. Yeah, like... Um, I don't want to go with Caspiro, right? Like, I don't want to go with Caspiro because Caspiro will... Um... Caspiro, if I take Supreme Ostentation here, you lose, like... 5 to 10 flat percent of, like, evasion stuff. So I don't really want to lose, like, 5 to 10 percent flat evasion. However... We'll see how it goes. Okay, finally I've rectified the mistake. Cool. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I am planning for a Fizzbo. And it's going to be, like, um... Well. See the problem? Boop. Cannot even channel fully. Um, the Fizzbo is going to be quite interesting because... 
it requires shenanigans, right? I think every bow requires shenanigans, but this bow does require a lot more, if you ask me. So, we'll see how that one goes. See, like, I can't, I can't channel fully yet. So, I need more mana. To get more mana, there's two options. One is enlighten in... Um, Enlighten in the head. Two is levels, right? If it's one mana per level, I have 20 levels to go, so I'll have 64 mana. And I for damn sure know that when you pull this one... Like, when you pull that one, I need like a few more levels to get 7 out of 7 snipes. All the time. We'll see how that works. I also need to level precision to 21. I think I'm 100% on hit still, yes. So there's that, but that's going to be an, an iffy thing. I also have a plan to make like a gem level bow. A bow. A gem level, sorry, uh, staff. But there's a lot of things. That I want to do in this league, and yeah, I mean it's gonna be fun. Like we we've just started. We've just started. The only problem that I need to do is I need to play fucking Apex because I want the the gun. <laughs> I want the gun skin. <laughs> That's the only thing I need to do, man. Oh, and then there's a, a lot of videos I need to make. So there's there's that too. I need to make a Necropolis, uh, like, uh, Pee Wee for Dummies series. That's also what I need to do. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But now that they've improved it even more, like, it's it's really good. It's looking really good. Yeah, they've they've nerfed a lot of stuff, but it's it's real good. Keep in mind, also, you can do um, this type of build on uh, Gladiator. You just need Frenzy Charges, but that's expensive. That's too expensive on a Glad. Oh, and I don't have the... And I don't have the... Ba -ba -da -bum. What's it called? Uh, I don't have something. I don't remember. Whatever. Whatever it is. Hello, Emperor! Tomorrow starts PD2. Huh? What is that? PD2 is uh, season 9 of what? What's PD2? Project Diablo 2. Haven't heard of that. Is D2 with PoE stuff. Ugh. I mean, maybe one day I'll play D2, but... I honestly, um... Do not think so. Yeah, I understand, I understand. That's, that's a nice thing, but... I don't really think I will be playing something like that, right? Hey, Reyna. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah I should, like I can I can only assume right because I I haven't played it and uh, if you say it is then I agree. if you said Diablo 4 was great then I would be like ra I would raise my eyebrow but uh, yeah for everything else I I may believe you oh also good good thing here is I can always um, rebrand this character into Ele. So I can always, like, um, regret orb into Ele, so that's fine. Hydrate, this is a threat. Okay. Threat with uh, what consequences if I don't? I'm really enjoying this shit. This feels so good. For some odd reason, even though it's lower level, this feels better than Bleedbow. Glad. 
you will do one map POE, one map D2. Yeah, I mean, fair. Yeah. Fuck D4. I agree. Dude. Apparently, they're fixing a lot of stuff and it's gonna be better. It's Blizzard, dude. It's not going to be better. Like, man, let's be real. It's Blizzard. It's not going to be better, dude. Where did they abandon my... Why? Why did I do that? Cursed P.O.B. is... Tell me stuff you don't care about, like... I had for breakfast. I mean, that's cool. So what did you have for breakfast? What about them cursed P.O.B.'s? Oh! <gasps> Diviner! Oh, for you, my friend, I shall go and pick up the orbs I never picked up, or never should pick up. For you, my friend, I shall do it in kind. For you, my friend, we shall pick the two engineer orbs that I have. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, drop percent of that. Do it like Diablo Four. Who cares? That's not even a game. Unique items. Corrupted items. No. Ah, oh, currency. We. Hello, Sharko. Doing good. How about you? Wow, I got scammed. Wow, I got scammed. Little mouth. I got scammed, dude. Imagine. Oh, shit map. Nice. Let's go, son. And the last one. Oh. Because it's Diablo, dude. Diablo has always been like, well, at least from three. For the past ten years, Diablo has been like, a resource generate, resource spend. Resource generate, resource spend. Resource generate, resource spend. You had nothing for breakfast. That's called having sleep for breakfast. Oh, Coralito. Oh my god, I really want to make that thing. How much is Coralito max rolled? Trash garbage. Sad. Did I clean this shit up? Yeah, I did. Poggers. You're starting a new character. Ooh. So what are you doing? Okay. Okay, guys. We need to hit three whites. I forgot. Blanching. Omen of Blanching. 30 Chaos. Does anyone have an omen of blanching? Wow, it's not 30 chaos, it's 33 chaos now. The fuck? Okay, so how many is that for a divine? Five. Five for a divine. Blanching. Divine, omen, click. Omen of blanching, let's go. Five for a divine. One omen of blanching. One 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 one. Everyone has one omen, dude. Dude, stop bulk selling if you have one omen. One divine, two and a half omens of blanch. Suck my filthy cock. Sorry, that 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 came out wrong. Val absolution necromancer. Interesting. It's actually interesting. Fuck this crazy guys. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, the scarabs went way down, which was good for me. I like that. Please sell me a Roman of launching. Please sell me a Roman. Please sell me a Roman. There you go. Bones Zono. That's 30. It's blanching exile. Hey. If I man, I want to make a Mlem build, dude. I want to make a cleave build, like Mlem, not cleave, uh, sweep. Thank you. 
I want to make a sweep build. Let's go. Will be consumed on a night to make one to three sockets become right. Blanching numero uno. Click. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Let's go. Woo. Yes, dude. Ha. <laughs> boom. Boom. Nice, man. Oh, let's go. Now I just need to quality corrupt it to 30. And that's it. Thank you. Okay, now we just need to quality corrupt to... To... To, to like... Get it, right? 156. Chance to impale. We can go with 25. None on the market. Of course there's none on the market. What's the Paradoxica for? Um... Number one, selling. Number two, I don't even know. Maybe I'll, I'll make a build. A 40 PS difference. Hey. Yep. I now have the second best Paradoxica. How much is this one? 223. 223 and mine is 225. Two thirty-seven. Yeah, he has 2% more, but he has less here. Yep, and now we buy, what was it, Krajki Kvassal? So like, th this Paradoxica either can be sold or... It can be um, used, right? Like it's it's mad mad good, it's mad good. It's four percent off physical damage max, and it's mid roll attack speed. I don't want to divine orbit. Wow, nobody wants to sell Krykic vassals. I'll buy three. Why doesn't nobody want to sell Krajki Kvassals, dude? Rate limit exceeded. Rate limit... Thank you! Holy shit, man! Path of Exile Trading 101! Rate limit exceeded. Look at that! Thank you. Jesus Christ. China has it. That's the problem. There you go. Okay, that's that's gonna wait until I level a bit. Okay, so now we gotta get Chronicle of Azoatl. Chronicle of Azoatl. And I need to get Throne of Aziri. How about no man? Um I just want to have this this unlocked Apex of Azoatl. Yeah, I want it to be area level 80. Area level 80. Hmm. Like, it's not even worth running without Apex of Fadzoatl. Look at this. 
Look at that. Dude. Why? I would buy... By the way, I would buy these if I was doing, like, something, like, before. But this is, this is just annoying, man. Look at that. People really don't know how to make a lab. Um, pardon, uh, an, an Alva Temple. Um, what was it? Oh. There are ten if they make them with Apex of Azoatl. Can I blame them? Yes. Right? Will I blame them? Probably. Apex of Ascension. Let's go, dude. Throne of Aziri. Let's go, dude. And the worst part is, they are not selling. wouldn't care yeah but then why fucking post it then right like why would you post it if you don't care about it yeah Apollo but people in in path of exile as I said before they would sell their mom for 10 for one chaos and yet thank you and then I'm not doing anything special. I'm buying like low cheap stuff. Why? So that I could level up my character. I don't want to go into into a uh, friend in white. No. Um I don't want to go into a uh, what's it called? A tier 16 map where there's a way higher chance of me dying. Sell my mom for one divine GS through. People, it's not that people are making or not making bank. They're not making bank. People are struggling with currency. Need them out for otherwise. Fair point, fair point. Like people are struggling with making currency, and the problem is people are not playing the game. People are sitting in their stupid hideouts and they're doing what? Twiddling their thumbs and they expect currency to drop from the from the heavens, right? That ain't gonna happen. Sorry, honeys. That ain't gonna happen. So in order to play to to play the game, to uh so that's flames for flames, sec. Instant decline. Oh, that was you, Bait. Oh, sorry. I thought it was that guy. There we go. Th this is this is the message. Sorry. Sorry. It wasn't my plan. Do it. Do it again, please. He has the currency droppings. There you go. Okay, now I can run these. And I had a huge ass problem with people doing doing these things, right? Now you can ask me, yo, Kevin, why aren't you making these temples? Well, I have a simple thing called Lesson. a problem that I really don't want to fix with a solution. Like, <laughs> right? I can do tier 10s, no problem. I just don't want to fix the problem I've made with a solution I don't have, right? So this is easier. Please <laughs> register on it. 
It, it, it doesn't matter what you're running. You can just earn a lot of currency. Just play the game, dude. Oh my god, Throne of Titiziri. Uh, titis. Yes, of course it's okay. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. Although I am uh, dodge based, so that's fine. Okay, seems like. Ah, oh, court is still dead. Seems like the first one is the hardest one. Ooh, shit, nice, Varichi. Uh, implicit mana damage, damage while itching. Yeah, as as those are between 50 and 100 chaos. The, the physical is, is worthless, right? Like, as those are between 50 and 100 chaos. Adziri. The new build is going great, dude. It's doing way better. Put them for 60. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to sell for more, right? Um, oh, gold ring. Highway, man. Wrong one. Um, the build is going great. It suffers with mana problems, but I still lack 20 mana. <laughs> Thank you, Viva. Uh, yes, I'm using temples to level up. I am definitely using temples to level up. It's easy AF. And you get rewards, right? You you get more than 10c worth of rewards. Um, so what is it? What is this build missing? This build is currently missing uh, life, 1,000 life. How do they explode? I have um, the gloves, Hemophilias. Hemophilia gloves get the attacks. Um, bleeding enemies you kill explode, dealing 5% of maximum life as physical damage. So I have that one. Why? You, you can see how it looks. You don't have to switch to Raider. You can play a Bleed Bow Gladiator with this. However, your Ascendancy, good luck on, on getting it. Like, the plus one, plus one Frenzy Charge Ascendancy is so expensive. And also, I managed to optimize this build for normal price up to level 98. And then we go into crazy. <laughs> it's hundred percent spell suppression. It's uh, stuff, right? I don't even have bleeding duration. And now, when the next point is crit. Mm. Is that three? It's two temple defense, damn it. Not even level three temple defense. Like the damage that is dishing out is really good. It's better than um, Gladiator right now. Like it's right now better than Gladiator, but holy shit is it missing some nice quality of life. Yes, Gladiator Ascendancy on, on the glove basically, yes. And these gloves with vulnerability on hit are expensive as shit, right? Like, they're A Divines. But you can fix that issue, right? There's a lot of issues you can fix in this game just by... Uh, paying. However, this is my passion project. This, this actual build is my passion project, okay? Like, that's what this is. It's my passion project. Nothing else. So there's a big-ass warning on, be careful, this might suck. Um, Alva Temples are very good experience farmers until level 94. After level 94, they become half as efficient. But um, you want them to be item level 80 plus or area level 80 plus, Viva. That's what you that's what you want. So you want them want them higher like in item level. If you can do 83, perfect. Like I'm doing 83 because whatever reasons, right? But uh, they are way 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 better later, or way 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 worse later, right after 94, because by the time you you do one. Um, 
one Alva Temple to get like 2% experience, you're going to do like 3 maps and get more. Or find him to fix your build? I mean, true. True. I am fixing builds, right? However, I don't even know what to play next. Oh shit, son. By the way, spell suppression. Yeah, that will be fine. If your Inquisitor can handle this level of content, it will be fine. And also, this, this build is still too low level for red maps, like if you ask me. And this is easier than red maps. And look at the experience. 407 million experience an hour. Dude. Dude. Hello? Three hundred ninety-three million experience an hour. <laughs> What's my price limit? I don't know. I'll probably try to do um, like some low-budget stuff. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, true. You are right. Like I do fix people's builds. Um, like my next, uh, my next budget is my next build is either going to be Mlem build, which is going to be. Um, Sweep. Or it's going to be a caster. I wanna I wanna make the fireball again. Make fireball great again, right? Like I want to make fireball build again. The one that Cookie is playing was my build originally. Kiddy Contagion great again, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Remove ED Contagion from the game, right? If that's what you meant, then yes. Is this two? No, it's only two. Or I'm having a plan to make, uh, um, like, SFK is going to do this. I don't know how he's going to do this, but he's going to make a fire cyclone. I want to make something fire related as well. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's fine. Also, welcome everyone once again to the streams. Thank you for stopping by. You guys rock. Okay. And let's go... Clean one more room and uh, the level on Aziri, yes? It's gonna be so much fun. Aziri is gonna be so much fun, right? Oh, and I have to change the regex for this one. This one has a different regex. Sort of, right? Ouch. Well, time to go. Kill some big titty girl. <laughs> or die. Ouch, right? Damn it. Um, she has, but only on one of her things. Sharko, thank you so much for the follow. Only on her, um, what's it called, the mirror. So if you hit her mirror, yes, 100% fizz reflect. If you don't hit her mirror, she has base reflect. Uh, 0 3 or 0 6. No! No! <laughs> okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. Are you guys up for some fun? 
Oh my god! Tormented spirit! Oh, there we go. Okay, uh... Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You. There we go. <laughs> Little Pains! Thank you so much for the follow, I love the name. Definitely bow to your queen, more tools. Where's Mirror? No! I don't know. Damn it. <gasps> Good! Come on, die! There we go. Thank you. Oh. Good. Good, 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 good. Safe. Safe! Safe! <laughs> We're doing this. Uh, she has all reflect. The one that's holding the mirror has 100% reflect. So why do you think I'm standing the, like... I'll, I'll show it in paint in a second. Okay, um, so here's the explanation. Flashbang! I don't know how to make this original screen black, by the way. Like, I have no idea. Whatever. So, she does... She has four of her, right? One, two, three, four. One of her four clones holds a mirror. Right? And, uh, basically, that's 100% reflect. However, if I stand here and shoot at this one with my single, keep in mind, I have mana forged. I have mana forged, so it's going to hit that one. I will never hit that one. So, that's why. No, 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 it's, uh, it's reflect. It's reflect dot. Like, there's... Nothing. Like, it's just pure freaking reflect. But that's bossing 101, right? Shoot the mirror. No, you shoot the mirror. What do you mean, shoot the mirror? I don't want to die. Well, technically, it doesn't matter even if I die. Like, it... it Pre level 90 doesn't matter if I die. Or more than 90, right? Oh, Bisco! Bisco! Oi! Bisco! Give me 40%. Give me 40%. 40%, I dare you! Boom! 34. Eee, 34, Bisco! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we, we are going to take Triumvirate. Th oh no, wait, Triumvirate can be either expensive or shit. Uh, reduced soul gain. Okay, so with this, reduced soul gain prevention, it is... So the Oscars grant the Lucy when you use... This one is like apparently 30 chaos, this variation. 30, 50 chaos. Here. Yeah, I mean, reflect immunity do be good, right? But... Okay, here's the thing. I don't have a... This, what I'm doing, is idiotic. Please don't do that. Save your portals. Okay, however, this, what I'm about to do, is actually interesting. Please change the implicit. Fuck you, Bisco. Suck a. Who cares about this code, right? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. This is apparently 30 chaos, right? 
30c, how much is this? 21, 10%. 5 divines. Come on, boys, buy buy it for 5 divines. 5 divines, 5 divines. Buy this for 3, buy this for 3. Come on, it has spell suppress. Fine, I'll, I'll put it for 2.5. Jesus. Um, I'll put this for 4.5. Or 4.8. Dick. Anyways, um, what did I want to do? Unique. It's if I do if I do that it's going to be a ring. User keep trying. I mean that's that's good. Why wouldn't you use this? That's good. Keep trying for what? That's actually good. Just uh, do um. Just do, just do the the what's it called non-channeling skills in GG. Yeah, dude, just do a non non-channeling in GG, right? With harvest, so vulnerability is caster. I mean that can be done as well, yeah. Um, oh, it's going to toss anything. It's number one. Yep. I didn't even see its number. I thought it was number two. That's that's fine. You can roll it with caster and then like go on. But uh, that one's good. That one I would keep, right? Unless you want an absolute like best one. That's that's perfectly suitable. Agnerod, Agnerod, please be north or south. Please, for the love of Memes, be north or south. I need to clean my dump tab. That's not gonna be fun. Yes, the absolute best one. Hi, Cookie. When are you going to play the game, Cookie? Something clapped me. Whatever. Okay, I can't joke around anymore. I have to play the game. Two point five nine three k HP is still a little bit too soft. It's a little bit too soft for my core. I mean, it wasn't, uh... Did I die to DD? I mean, I didn't see it explode. I mean, I might have. I heard it, I didn't see it explode. Oh well. What's my evasion chance, anyways? 84%, that's bad. 84% evasion is bad. Needs motivation! Ah, their things have like AoE shit. Okay, that makes sense. I love how as a concept this thing works. Like this is this has surpassed my expectations, right? Stay slow. Hey Quarbu. Oh, what are you guys doing? Hi. I died three times this level, still leveled. That's why I say, like the, whoa, the...
the experience loss sub 90 is irrelevant. It's absolutely irrelevant. Uh, no, no, I don't need one. Sorry, I'm doing uh, like this sort of leveling, right? So sorry, don't need an aura bot. I'm still not elemental, I'm still physical. And I don't want to do maps because I'm gonna get clapped. Like a little bitch I am. Right, like I really don't wanna do maps. Because Clapperoni, dude. Oh, maybe maybe a hundred percent. If it's a hundred percent, I'm rerolling to fireball immediately. Nope. It's 77. Sadge. North. East. There you go. That's done. So yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not ready ready for mapping on this build. So far, that's the biggest issue. Legends, Demolition... Okay, everything else is irrelevant. I need this, I need critical... Strike chance against bleeding enemies. It's 80% now, Jesus Christ. Okay. So we do the next one. Kaboom. If I do an elemental character, then yeah, sure, but like this is... I have every aura, there's nothing you can do to boost my damage anymore. Right? Like, this character has everything now. I just need raw levels. That's all that I need, and I'm currently 80. Although, I'm honestly thinking about getting a, like a Raider's Ascendancy for... For what's it called? I mean, getting the Deadeye one. How much is a Deadeye one for plus two proj? Is it still an arm and a leg? What's it called? Endless Munitions? Yeah, I got like three mana from leveling, that's cool. Top right. Okay, with Valgrace 95, that's perfectly fine. Glittering, glittering, glittering! Come on, give me a synthesized something. At least something I can show on the filter! Yeah, my HP is too darn low, man. I think I'll, at the end of the days, I think I'll abandon Joffrey, man, for more like life. Wow, really? Twitch blocked your message. I think it's. I mean, am I competing? I don't care. You can craft your own shit now, so it's absolutely irrelevant. But uh, for the plus two proj, yes, you are. However, if they're going dead eye, then the price of plus two proj becomes lower, right? However, if they're not going Deadeye, or if they're going Deadeye with, like, that being an additional thing, then that becomes a problem as well. I mean, I would go Deadeye with, uh, plus one additional Frenzy.
But if you go Deadeye, you have to go Hyres, which is what I personally dislike. Like, Hyres annoys me. Twitch do be crazy, yes. Yes, you can craft your own da the iron shit. Uh, let's see, how much is it? Uh, forbidden Flame. Deadly... No, is it munitions? Yeah, endless munitions. Endless munitions, 27. Forbidden Flame. Munitions. 46, 45, 46. So it's 75 divines for for extra proj. Extra 2 proj. These people do be drunk, man. Oh my god, this hurts. Seems like we will we'll be going Malem, boys. We will be going Mele Supremacy. Hit them once, hit them hard. Oh, to be honest, I don't even know what to play with Mlem. What should I play with Mlem anyways? Hmm. Like, what is good to play with Sweep? Like, actually, what is good to play with Sweep? Really? This one is nothing? Wow. Hey, Uncivil. Yeah, nobody goes alive eye because it doesn't exist, Cookie. Sorry, it doesn't exist. Dude, I'm thinking about switching to, to Lunaris. Fuck this noise. Holy Lunaris Supremacy, hello? I mean, that's a void projectiles. Hey, Lemonade. How are you doing? Hmm. All that glitters is gold, so it's not top right, it's top left. Okay, maybe Wealth of the Val. Come on, I want my first uh, Reliquary Key, okay? Okay, game? First Reliquary Key, please. First Reliquary Key, game, please. Come on, game. I know that you want to. Give me a Reliquary Key. Where's the guy? Really quirky! No, I want one! Why you know Agiva Gamiga Really Kiga? How dare you? No! Somebody could say I lost money on this temple. Wow, altars, let's go, dudes. We're ish bish now. No relic or a key, man, but Legion. Have a guess. Which was later on. Oof. Well. My mana is gone. Dude. What do I mean keep you entertained? I can't do everything, okay? I'm just. What? Two diviners? Three diviners? Oi! Three Diviner strong boxes. Ouch. Yo, dudes, we might be rich or we might be bitch. What do we What do we see? Red Blade Cash. Let's get Red Blade Banner. Come on, Red Blade Banur. And then we corrupt it. No, we got the ring. Ow, ow. Dude, life region. Oh, walnut suck.
Okay. Let's go. Let's go. This may be a bit of re-rolling. I need to clean my dump tubs. This may be a little bit of re-rolling, okay? Let's see. First, Diviner's Strong Books. Unique items. Nah. We want more currency. Nah. We want more corrupted items. Three additional items. Nah. We want more. Corrupted again. Why? Corrupted again. Why? Quantity of contained items. No. Unique items, quantity. Unique items and quantity. Okay. Let's get some trash ones, please. Yes, dude. Whoa, that chaos damage. Diviner 2. Let's see. Boom, boom. Ice snow is shit. Currency, unique items. That's fine. Even though I want uh, more stuff. Corrupted items. No. Click. Corrupted items. Okay, fine. Pling. Cling. Okay, Thena, Thena Moga. Why, why are you so dangerous? Wow. Not even anything useful, man. Am I rolling these wrong? I am, by the way. I wouldn't suggest what I'm doing. Can you please just... Thank you. Why are you fighting with that totem for so long? Elevore! Okay. Pling! What do you say, guys? I need to make some French froys. By the way, I'm so lazy, okay? It's easier for me to make French fries in an air fryer than to wash my dishes and make rice for the bolognese that I made. For the meat sauce. Oh, horny scarab. Horny scarab! Greater Iker roll determination. Greater Iker. That should be the. A uh, greater Iker is uh, eater. Oh, I'll tell you exactly. I think it's searing that rolls uh, specific auras. I'm not 100 on that. Give me a second. Give me just a second. Uh, Eater. Eater does roll determination. Yeah, it should. Okay, here's how we check. We go here. We go PoE DB. Yeah, yeah. Eater is the blue one. We go modifiers. We go body armor. It's irrelevant whichever one. We go Eater of Worlds implicit. And you take the determination. Has increased our effect. Yes. Yes. You can roll any other aura. Like, you don't have to roll Determination. Me preferring Determination is a different thing. You can roll any other aura, right? Mm. That's useless. Okay, let's get a different ring. Wow. Very good. Mark of Submission. What do we say to Mark of Submission? Get out of my fucking face, mate. Out of my face. Don't show yourself to me. That's what we say to Mark of Submission. Out of my face. Out of sight, out of mind. On the ground you go. Resource for chance or rate of items. I mean, you can find it on Craft of Exile. 
but uh, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend chancing items, right? Chancing items is so freaking iffy. I know I need to go down here. That's the problem. I need to go here as well. So... This gives an insane damage increase, though. Well, I have that, right? I have that master. Um, yeah, well, I need to go down there. I need to take bravery as well, because it gives evasion and, and uh, armor. Oh, I'm annoyed. I have to go all the way down here. I mean, I can take endurance charges instead of frenzy. What do you have? Movement speed per frenzy, evasion rating per frenzy, attack speed per frenzy. Fuck it, it's frenzy. Okay, okay, boss time, boss time. Then I go grab some froys. I have no mana. I really need I really need more mana, dude. Like I got plus one mana from that level. Like I really need more mana. I'm starving here. I'm just a hungry girl in a hungry world. Ambition while aspect. There we go. So how much is ambition? And this is why you do this for leveling, right? Let's go, dude! <laughs> That's why you do this for leveling. Yup. Yerpers. Okay, let's go demolition lab. No, no gives, no returns. No. Hey, I gave 100 chaos to Pixel to roll my, to roll my Paradoxic and he did what I couldn't in, in 5 Divines. So I'm pretty happy with that. I got my return now. How about, would you guys be interested into, into seeing like, uh, uh, like 2 Divine Exile type of build, right? Like, where I have two divines to make a build. Or something of that sort. Although, I need to make a, I need to make a stable farmer, so... You want all sub-games one divine? What? Cookie. Cookie, was, was work boring again? Yeah, I don't really want to clear Shrine of Empowerment. Was work really that boring again? Oh, shit. We might have gotten a good one. Well, it was okay today. Yeah, okay. Strength and intelligence. Damn it. Too bad. It's not 18-18. If it was 18-18, it would be worth some money. <laughs> Five chaos more. Destroy. Okay, so we sell that. What do we have here? Do, 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 do. Any locks? No locks. Any Goldilocks? No Goldilocks. Cool. Increase the 10 divine build, but level 100 is a must. Or uber boss is a must. I mean, that's easy. That's, that's uh, any minion build. Like... That's any minion build, or you slap. Hmm. 
Rapid assault quartz infusion with the poacher. Okay. Uh, way of the poacher is way more expensive, right? Way of the poacher. Yeah, way of the poacher is, is 10 divines. This one is one divine, by the way. Uh, oh no, wait, is that one divine? Wait. Or it's no, no, it's not one divine. It's it's eleven divines. I was looking at uh, rapid assault, rapid assault. Um, okay, so rapid assault is that expensive? Far shot is expensive. Ricochet, ricochet is expensive as well, right? Ricochet is expensive as well. I do like only unique is built. That's SRS, SRS, uh, or. A flicker strike, which I flicker strike, I can't play. I really wonder, does anyone use Wind Ward even? Let's see, Wind Ward. Lamal, Lamal, Wind Ward is literally like 20 chaos each. Lamal, dude. <laughs> I mean, how much is Hyrie's? Uh, uncorrupted. 50C. This one is expensive. This one is not expensive. Rapid Assault. Mm. 93 Spell Suppression with High Resire. I'm not satisfied with 93 Spell Suppression. If I could get perma phasing, I mean perma phasing is basically this, right? That's like 20 divines. Then I don't need this wheel. However, at 54, the bottom one gives 27, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. We can go with four. If I go, where's fire? The fire is supposed to be somewhere here, right? Where the fuck is fire? It's cold. That's blade dancer. Yo. Yo, where's fire? Oh yeah, I'm blind. I'm blind as a bat. We can go cold exposure, fire exposure, and then we can do two elements. Oh no, Ella Hit converts everything, regular Ella Hit. What other bow skills can we do? Can I make a burning arrow though? 
I make an actual burning arrow. Why switch to Raider from Glad? Because it's uh, better with uh, Frenzy Charges, Luffy. So we are doing Frenzy Charge with like Usurper's Penance, which is Bleeding You Inflict deals damage faster per charge and damage over time multi uh, per Frenzy Charge. Then Olesia's Delight, which transfers, like, which gives us one maximum Frenzy Charge and gives us uh, maximum Affliction Charges is equal to maximum Frenzy Charges. And then we go on the tree. We go for all the Frenzy Charges, one, two, and three, which basically gives us, so we have three base, three here, that's six, one from Way of the Fo Poacher, that's seven, one from the Belt, that's eight. So we basically have eight Frenzy Charges that we can play with. We can get more, we can get the ring that gives you another one, like whatever, you can get, you can get two rings that basically give plus one so there's there's that you can uh, I think you can get get uh, on gloves like there's there's a lot yep yeah, that's that's an insane amount of damage yep. yep 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 okay as I said burning arrow fire damage to attacks against ignited and is physical damage converted to fire ah it's fully converted to fire fire damage to attacks against ignited enemies I mean, what would we do with, with Burning Air? We would do Zoff. Right? Would we do unique uh, unique Zoff? Zoff's Inception. Physical damage, life for enemy. Physical damage is extra fire damage. Chance to ignite projectiles, pierce, or burning enemies. Airs deal air added damage every time they've pierced. Cost a kidney? Uh... Okay, let me tell you how much it costs. Uh, four divines with this uh, implicit. Four divines. Chest was... Uh, how much was the chest? Chest was two or three. So four plus three, seven. Five and a half, twelve and a half, two hundred chaos. Let's, let's call it one and a half, right? Helmet, chest, neck, quiver, um, ring, ring, a bow was two plus what plus Morgan and whatnot three. Uh, Olesia was two, hemophilia is like nothing, 0 0.1. Uh, Ralakesh two. Flasks are irrelevant. Uh, two of the same clusters that the Bleed Bow Glad uses were 200 chaos each, so let's say three divines. Uh, a natural instinct was 10. Ascendancy was 0 0.2 because it's cheap as fuck. Uh, jewels, ancestral vision was. I think I paid 2.2 for it. A watcher's eye was three. No, pardon, five. Five. Corrupted blood was one with the stats that I needed. Regular jewels were 0 0.4. And there is uh, there's also of course this one that I still haven't done, which is plus four to it, right? So around 50 divines. Why why would you do? Why would you do that? If you are already playing a bleed uh, bleed bow gladiator, you can do the same thing. Right? So let me show you. If you're playing a bleed bow glad. Like you don't have to do this, by the way. I'm I'm doing this as a passion project. Like this is my passion project, okay? Like this is absolutely my passion project. You don't have to do this. Uh, how much are frenzies? Where were frenzies here? Down here? Masterful form. Um, flame. Masterful form. Okay, so that would be like 30, 40 divines. So it's... Yeah. So technically, what you would do, you would do, you would do the same shit, right? 
but instead of going uh, I don't know if you would go this way or you would go that way but you can go this way for spell suppression right uh, you would take this one as an anoint so that means this here Uh, 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 probably go here with uh, this, right? Why did it go there? Why did it path there instead of pathing here? What the fuck is wrong with this game? So you would do, you would do that, 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 evasion mastery you can't take. Mm, 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 mm. This, this, accuracy per green here, down here, here, down into this. Charge mastery damage for endurance frenzy and power charge here into here increased bleeding duration down here here um, damage for each of your auras there there oh, actually don't have to go with this one I think you go here and this one is crit strike chance so that's the same cluster here cluster here that's 10 additional points by the way you would still probably go go here this one with more max physical attack damage these two keep in mind plus 10 points life jewel life um life so i have three more points there you go life and uh, like life right and you would anoint frenetic so you would have uh three base four five anointed this six and then you would go you would basically go masterful form for seven right you can go that one as well will be the damage difference the dam like you would you would just reach bleed cap sooner that's that's it right like you would just reach bleed cap sooner it's it's nothing too important right it's it's just that there's no there's no reason to do it like keep in mind if you have the money here's the thing i wouldn't do that by the way like i wouldn't do this but if you have the money, let's say something reasonable. There we go. Ah, shit, mirrored. Mirrored again. Mirrored again. Do these fuckers with a mirroring mirrored. There you go. If you have the money, here here's the bow. That's it. You're done. Right? Like, A Divines. To be honest, I would buy this one for myself. Yeah, I'd buy this one for myself. Yeah, I'd buy this one for myself. Chance to cause bleeding damage with bleeding crit strike chance. That's best for this build. Attack speed low low roll, but that's fine. Like, I mean, can make a divines easy, right? There you go. It's explicit speed. Can you do one divine? One second. Oh, that's fine. Explicit speed, 266704. Oh, there we go. Thanks for the trade. T for T. So you would you would do that thing, right?
There you go. So that's tier one, tier one, crafted, bleeding, bleeding, attack speed, low roll, crit strike chance. There you go. If you want to buy it for eight, I will sell you for eight, right? Like, so think about it. I'm going to grab fries. Like, I don't need this, by the way. It's it's a huge damage increase. I don't need this. If you want to buy it for eight that I bought it for. I'll 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 sell it to you for eight immediately, right? This is an amazing bow, by the way. An amazing bow. That's that's insane. So there you go. So if you want to invest eight divines into something, I strongly suggest that. Uh, let me grab French fries. I'll be back in a second. I should do BRB. So you have a few minutes to think about, right? Br Oh, hello there. Did you did you think about it? Do you want to get it? I'll I'll just set some fries because I'm hungry.
Okay. There we go. Hey Shizu. Play a game of life. No. What do you mean game of life? You will pass. <laughs> you will pass. Okay, that's fine. Uh boop. Which means I might as well just put it in my in my thing. So I wonder I wonder what's the DPS increase going to be. Current pub says this. Uh, bleed ball. No, wait, that's the wrong one. Cle create bleed, create bleed. Items, create custom, paste, add to build. Currently 25, citadel bow, 30 million. Yo, give me 100c. You saw me buy it for 80 points. So the difference is 25 million to. So that's 20% damage increase, right? So there you go. We're gonna we're gonna use that one. So now the budget is 60 divines. Hey, you have enough time until I sell this this crap to to actually give me an answer. Main hand to hit 97. Well, yeah, less accuracy. 187 accuracy. 184. Oh, because this one has global accuracy. Okay, that's fine. So that's 651 with 6.7 with global accuracy. Of course, we're going to find that one. A divines. So, yeah. So I can go for like 6 maybe. There you go. Boom. And now this one goes for 190 chaos. 190. That's such a nice bow. Such a nice bow. Such a better bow. Um, okay. Next thing. What do we do? We do this. We have nothing important. Let's go. So I have 10 minutes until first part of the fries is over. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, corruption one. Wait, now that I have more bleed percent, can I... Am I at 140 bleed now? 135. 135? Wait, I removed two 15s? Oh no! Oh no! 105 chance to inflict bleed. Oh no! <laughs> I've increased my damage even more! <laughs> Wee! There we go. We've got some bleed over time multi over here in this BS. Keep in mind, I can use this bow on my on my bleed bow gladiator as well, so that sorts things out pretty neatly. Beep. There we go. Bismuth flask. So wait, what do we have to do? Okay, I have to turn off Discord because Discord is running shit wild in the background. Why? I don't know. Explode gun. What do you mean explode gun? Explode is there. What, what do you mean explode gun? Huh? Explode is still there. Yeah, you get it with gloves, right? Like, I didn't lose anything with that bow, I just gained shit. Now, if that was tier 1... Yeah, if that was tier 1, instead of tier 2 bleed, right? That would be 35% chance. Then for 35% chance, you would remove this one. So you would remove this one and you would put that there. Bleeding inflicts damage faster, but that's irrelevant. Next thing is, whenever I drop the next set of hemophilias, I need to hit it with... <laughs> with a double corrupt or a regular Val Orb, right? And uh, once I hit it with a regular Val Orb... Uh, if it gets vulnerability, we're we are basically done, right? 
Now I just need I just need to get um, uh, a frenzy charge on ring, and that's basically it. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna bother. Um, I think I'm basically done with uh, with then with the bleed bow with this one. That was very cheap. Yeah, not the not the best and most optimal stats, but that was very cheap though. Or like eight divines, and let's say I sell my own for like five, and I sell the other one for three. That's very very cheap. I'm glad that I now looked at it. So thank you for making me look at the. <laughs> thank you for actually making me look at that thing because if you haven't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother with buying a bow, but that was phenomenal. Although hitting a tempering orb with physical would still be bis, whatever. He probably hit it with like one and then decided, oh, Divination Scarab of Completion, isn't that the one that fell in price? I think that is, right? No. Ah, oh, it's one, it's a regular one. Cool. Zing! Zing! The first official zing of the day. Let's go after two hours of gameplay. Ish. The proper zing, right? Not like a Zoatl thingy, a little bit more than a Divine type of thingy. Ving. 5 mil bleed DPS was 2 before. 5 mil bleed DPS? That sounds low. With 7? With 7 snipe charges? 5? That sounds low. Hey, Shizu, just play the game. You will he hear them eventually. I haven't heard one yesterday either, so... Five million, that sounds... low. What's the investment? Because, like, you should have been over 5 million ages ago. Yes, it's been weeks. Oh, no! What's your play time? Out, like, farming. Com not, like, leveling. Out farming. What's your play time? Come on. What's your kill number? Come on, don't make me pick apart the numbers. So, no whining, please. Jesus Christ. Two divines. Oh, for two divines, five mil is plenty. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, for two divines, like, five mil is plenty. I thought it was more like ten. Is that the. Yeah, it is. 200k kills. Keep in mind, it counts kills in campaign, too. Oh, nice level. There we go, that's what I needed. Ooh. And also weeks, it has been two weeks since the game launched tomorrow. League launched tomorrow. So... About 114 hours in this character. Only 5 hours of farming. I mean... Guys need to play. I have 39k kills on this. Like... You guys need to play more. You guys need to do content. Come on. I really should have taken the, the amount of kills in campaign just to compare. Heavy's a scammer. What do you mean a scammer? You're just not playing the game. You're you're basically FKing in hideout.
That's technically what you're doing. Can't have gain hideout. Hideout lava. And also, yes, yesterday I haven't heard a zing, right? Like a proper zing yesterday. And yesterday I played for what? Seven, eight hours? However, what did I do yesterday? Level. Actually, now I'm thinking... Ah, oh, no, that's bleeding, never mind. Ow, oh, jeez, honey. That hurts. Do I... Mm. I really want to make that stupid burning arrow. Yeah, I'm full. Damn it. Welp. Playing but not getting rewarded. You are getting rewarded. What do you mean? You got all those uh, cluster jewels. You got... Like, are you dropping scarabs? Like, it's impossible that you are not dropping anything. It's mathematically impossible. Not improbable. Impossible. So, like, you probably have so much crap, bubblegum currency and everything, that you're not even aware of. And you're like, oh, I'm not getting zings. Yeah, you're not getting big stuff. You're getting small stuff. Which adds up over time. Like, it's impossible that you're playing the game and that you're not getting things. Like, you literally would have to pick less quantity and less rarity on your items to not get items. If we're talking about zings, I had like, what, maybe 10, 20 zings, proper zings, like this league, if we count, if you count uh, divines out. Okay, I need to get that shit out. So, where's the problem in that? Where's the problem in your stash being 20 divines only? I don't see a problem. It always hits the six. Have more, need 10, got only one. Oop. <laughs> 190. Oops. The fuck? It's like if your stash is 20 divines worth with 200k kills, that's more than enough. 180, 190. Jesus fuck. You tried to to do this for like There we go, thank you. People, people, people. Okay. French fries part two. So yeah, like 20 divs is perfectly fine with 200 kill. Also, keep one big thing in mind. This is what I, uh... yeah, this is what what I would uh, would suggest doing. Do you have all four watchstones? Do you have all four watchstones? If the answer is less than four, that's why you're gaining you're gaining shit because. You're, you're lowering your chance of gaining a tier 17, right? No, there you go. Like, tier 17 maps sell for 30, 40, 50 chaos. So there's that. Not even one, there's that as well. 
So like you need those things. Yeah, Apollo, like you you've dumped a lot of money into that build, yeah. True. True and real. I freaking hate how much mana this thing needs. Like, I hate the, the fact that I'll probably have to put in an Enlighten. Oops. I don't want you to hit me. No, no, no. I don't want you to hit me. Have fun. I don't want you to hit me. Ta -ta. There you go. 145 deep. Yeah. So I go to basic. I mean, why? Why would you? I need to see how many kills I have on, on the glad. Yeah, I need to see how many kills I have on the Glad, actually. Not that you mentioned it, that we mentioned the kills. I'm pretty sure I have half a mil on Glad. Pretty sure. Let's stay doing it. And that's a bog standard uh, minion build, yes. That's basically it. What am I missing? Missing roll, meeting room? Yeah, I am. And it does a lot. So, where is the problem? Like, it's a minion build. Well, I, I, I don't understand. Like, the perceived value is what's the problem, right? Perceived value of things. If you think somebody is earning, like, more and, and whatnot, and the perceived value of value what you see, you know? Yeah, there you go. Like, if I just, if I just went and I did, and I did this. I need to sort my stash tab, by the way, so I'll, like, wait for my fries and then have a break. So if I did if I did this um, fragments and I chose scarabs. I have sixteen divines worth of scarabs. If I went with fragments Oh, oops. Fragments, fragment. I have four divines worth of fragments. If I went anything else, maybe less, maybe more, right? Oh yeah, let me check how many kills I have on the glad. Gladiator has 650k monster kills. Case and freaking point. So I have total around 700k monster kills. And so far I've had 20 zings, let's say. 9 divines and a few scarabs here and there. So like, let's say 20 zings. So that's around, what, 35k kills a zing? 35, 30, 35. But it's more likely to be 60. Depending on the luck of the content and, and what whatever you do, right? But that's it. So that's not too much. Two zings in total. Yeah, but you played... 
You came. Oh, hi. Um, SFK, I have a present for you. If you are willing. But you have also farmed like um, other stuff. Like most of my money does not come from Zings. Is it Mage Blood? No. It is something better. I haven't quality it, because this build still cannot do it, right? I still can't quality it, and I'm too lazy to go back to to the bleed bow to to glad and and do stuff. So, we has this nice lemonade. That's good. Okay, and present. Do you want to use it? Oh, and I also bought this um, grand total of seven hundred one k. Yeah, that's cool. So we are roughly similar. Silicon by Mageblood. Dude, Mageblood is 200 divines. Did you see them? The, the people upping the price? Like the nerfs came in last night and everything went to shit again in economy. Because they're like, oh no, my strategy for making money. And I'm like, are you guys drunk? Yes, they nerfed they nerfed uh, stuff. They nerfed rogue exiles. Headhunter is 50, I think. No. Last night it was like 50. Yep. 40. 41. It was 50 last night. Mage blood. Oh wait, it went back down. Oh no wait, that's corrupted. Uh, no. Nope. 190. Yeah, right before the patch went to 100. Yep. Yep. Means you've made money. Yeah, true. It's like, people are so stupid, man. It's insane. It's like their, their life depends on it. Oh, which one is six link? You're six link. What are you? You're an X. Okay, which we which, which which can ask you a question, okay? We ask you a question. Click. Tier one chaos damage axe. Dude. Chaos damage axe again. What is the scam? You know what? I'm gonna roll you how Chris Wilson intended. Oh! Fire damage, physical damage. I'm about to throw you in the garbage. Holy shit. What an axe. Hey, Griffin! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm grabbing food now. Paid 25, yeah. Yeah, but people have abused the economy enough, so that's it. Um... I will I will show the patch by the way. They they did some nerfing. They did rogue exiles nerfing and everything. Like they they did a bit of nerfing. <laughs> Lamo 25, yeah. True. Uh toop. Oh actually, pardon. Patch notes, hotfix, hotfix, patch notes. There you go. I'm doing a great, thank you for asking. Wait, that's uh no, we already did that one. We already did that one. Already did that one. And there you go, the patch notes. Here you go. You can you can read a bit. I'm grabbing food. I'm sorry. Give me give me just a moment. Because I am hungry. I made food before the stream. I forgot to eat. Idiot. I'm an idiot.
It's something. I'm glad tomorrow is my day of streaming because this is currently my last clean spoon that I have in my house. That's legit my last clean spoon I have. Funny. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So basically, they kind of nerfed slash buffed tier 17 maps with rolling. They've done, um, like, uh, Rogue Exiles changes. I mean, everyone's uh, profit margins got hit from farming Rogue Exiles, and good. Like, dude, it's not normal. To literally drop 10 mirrors a map. Hey, some some content creators have actually <laughs> said that they want MFing removed completely. MFing could just go dead. Nobody would care. That's just ruthless. All movement speed increases, well, most of them, are bad. He's right. Even though it sounds extreme, he is actually right. Like, Onslaught is a problem. But it's not attack and cast speed of the Onslaught part. It's the movement speed. It's not about making money per hour, Apollo. You're you're thinking about making currency per hour. It's about what they're doing to slow us down artificially. They give us tailwind on boots. They give us extra movement speed. They give increases of effects. And then they put tarred ground, chilled ground, uh Timeless stuff from those grabby hands from the Delirium. Then Alva has a slow, then this has a slow, then that has a slow. What's the point then? Just make the game generally slower. Don't make the game... Oh, look, you have all these movement speed increases, but we are also putting all these negatives, right? At least that's for me. Never am sold. Because you're never slowed. Because you're moving so fast, you don't even feel it. So there's that.
dude, a raider with all the movement speed and everything just goes brr, dude. It's insane. It's not about that. But movement speed steroids do make the game worse. Like, movement speed steroids are too much at this point. There's too many of them. Like, if you ask me... I would only have movement speed on boots and quicksilver flask. That's it. Nothing else movement speed. Nothing else movement speed related. Quicksilver boots movement flask. That's it. No, why would you remove those? You don't have to remove those. You can remove the effects that all the increases have. I personally wouldn't remove like Mage Blood and everything else and Headhunter. I would just make it that when you take a buff from an enemy, you take a reduced version of that buff. And by reduced version of that buff means if you take hasted modifier, you would get attack speed, cast speed, but you wouldn't get movement speed. No. It's not that it abuses flasks for speed. Mage Blood is a chase item, right? So that's fine. Headhunter is a chase item. That's fine. But the amount of movement speed that we have in the game is, is insane. Based or not based? Movement speed is making this game bad. Well, worse, right? It's not a bad game. You're just making it worse. Because you have people... Um, those are... Yes. Those are auras that basically... Like... Um, what are what is uh, non curse on enemy like withered, right? Wither is uh, not a curse. It slows enemies' movement speed and uh, lowers their chaos resistance. As an example, so that's like. One of them. It's an aura because you can make it an aura, right?
You can make it, Anora. Every second, inflict wither on nearby enemies for 15 seconds. It's not. Withered applies 6% increased chaos damage taken. Can be inflicted up 15 times. Is the same thing. When was wording in Path of Exile good? Aspect of the Spider is an aura that affects enemies. Like, that also gets increased. So that's also a non curse effect on enemies. Where enemies are slow, they take more damage. Even though the wording is shit. Sadly, that's how it works. What do you mean aspect of the spider is not the Nora? Aspect of the spider is basically Nora. Gloves are bad, yes. Periodically applies the spider will have a debuff to nearby enemies and kinders them. It's an aura. It affects enemies in a radius. Dude, but it still works. It still works. It's... It reserves mana, but it's still an aura because around you, enemies... You know, like... Hey, Sergei. Like, I, I don't know what's what's unclear with that. Second, I mean, I don't, I don't know about minion damage, minion wands, right? I mean, twenty-ish chaos. Have you ever seen Path of Exile wording where one thing means two, two, when one thing can affect two other things? Like, nearby, close by, around you. It doesn't have to be a gem tag, yes. This gloves mod affects auras and effects around you.
So it's like... From your skills and enemies, non-curse auras. It doesn't have to be a physical aura tag. Like it doesn't have to be a physical aura tag. As an example, Aspect of the Spider, there's no skill for it. There's no gem for it, but it's still... Oh, it doesn't work on Wither. Then it works on Aspect of the Spider. It has to. No, there is no gem for it. Then it's only this, these type of things. If it doesn't work on Wither as an aura. You said Divine Blessing. Wasn't that a um, support ring? Or was it red? Hmm. There you go. That as well. I would have to check, but based on based on this, okay. Based on this, then okay. Yep. Yeah, I was wrong then. If it's like that specifically, then I was wrong. If it has to count as a specific aura, aura, and not as nearby, then I was wrong. That's my full bad then. Anyways, those gloves are more there. No more of this. I need to finish the fries. Oh, poor. I'm about to overheat. Oh. That's so good. It's bad. Whew. I mean, it's on enemies, so pride would work. That won't. Don't have any other ores? Whoops. War banner would work. Nearby enemies take increased physical damage, right? POE and stupid mods.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Understandable then. Then I mis um, misinterpreted the meaning. That's that's my bad. Okay, let's sort this shit. What do we have? Excuse me? Hello, sword? Tier 1 flat chaos. Tier 1 hybrid suffix chaos attack speed. Tier 3 damage with poison, poison hit. What is this? What is this? Where are these rolls? What is this shit? Somebody posted something like this, like for four divines. The fuck? Pionirko, dude, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I don't suggest you staying here for a little bit. Just I have ten more fries to finish, <laughs> so you don't f face plant me. Scuffed Echo Forge, indeed. Hmm, taking a cold lightning res, life can crap like. Hmm, this is bad. So how are you doing, Mr. Pionirko? This is bad. Hmm? What about the sword? Sword's bad. I love, I love answers that are one word. Sword good for trap. What? I've never played Trap, so I don't know. This is so bad. That's tier 1 Chaos. And uh, tier 0 Chaos attack speed. Like, that's all that it has. Mm, fire, evasion, shield. I mean, lightning leech, crit multi. Then you have evasion. And then energy shield. Only one. Okay. But that's then region on a bad base. Oh, that's nice. So I'm the only argument. Here. It's not gonna sell. That actually manages to sell, like, that's... That would be laughable. Hell do I know? That's what I was... That's why... Damn it. Do you know how how valuable this one is, though? Here, though. Here you go. You, you know this guaranteed. You know this guaranteed.
This one you guaranteed. I guarantee that you know. And the next the next words coming out of his fingertips are going to be corrupted pussy. Like double corrupted pussy. Two to four physical damage to attacks dead. Low rolls. Yeah, low rolls. Mine damage over time and cold. Interesting. Cold damage attack speed? No. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I said 100 for this. I cannot help you with this character. This character is still work in progress. So there is no way I can help with this character as it is right now. I need 10 more levels minimum. Oh, you need thinking help. Okay, uh, we can we can think. Yes, we can think. Just don't make me guess which which aura can be applied to enemies because I I scuffed that one up royally a few minutes ago. I thought the game worked in a certain way. The game said, "Ha ha, no." I know working in a, in a good way. And I was like, why game? Why you so scuff? And the game is like, because. A farming strat. Oh, SFK can help you with that. I don't even have to bother. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, these ones are 10 chaos. What the hell? Mignon! That's nice resistances. I mean, mana, but... No. Minions, cold spell, no. No. Oh, maybe good. Yeah. It's maximum cold here, though. Let's see. Lightning damage with hits against chilled enemies. Hmm. Maybe goes goes for a hundo. I also need farming strat or to upgrade my helmet boots gloves. I mean Upgrade with better things. Useful things with heavy heals. I just realized those those eyes are literally like PNG cutouts. Look at that. That's creepy, man. Jesus, I didn't even notice that. And my rolls. There you go. These are them rolls. I mean, just general upgrades, I suppose. There's there's nothing more. Okay, let's continue doing stuff. Click. Mana region. Dead. Okay, veiled. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, save me from this agony. I don't even know why I'm collecting these. Oh my lord, look at this. Oh, 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 oh wait. Does anyone need veiled items? Only one chaos a pop. Ugh. Maybe 18 div on current market. What? Two, two, five. Boop. Boop. There's none with this physical DPS. If I go with attack speed, if I go with impale, and if we go with blood rage, 
there's none on the market. If you go offline, there's none on the market. So, like, if you go less, there's none. Oof. Dude, I'm stuffed. I overate, I think. You used the strat and you didn't like the outcome, right? Oh, because scarabs were expensive. I mean, they're still like decent chunk. I just saw like resistances and I was like, what? Not similar to yours. Multi for 14. The fuck? Pale 152 Fizz. Two twenty PDPS. That's less than mine. That's way less than mine. I mean way less. I'm two to two to five. Because you count in more attack speed, right? I probably won't sell this one, but... You can, you can, of course. I don't have a Lynx ban. I have to sift through all of these things. One thirty-nine, twenty. Okay, fourteen. Sure. No quality, which you should add. No physical. This one's probably even better once it's done. But not even close. And I'm gonna add thirty quality on it, so. So that's going to be that's going to be a thing. Okay, folks, does anyone need some veiled items? Because I'm about to annihilate all of them, okay? So last call. Veiled items or they all go to the garbage bin. Do you need something unveiled? If you do, come over here. I'll just give you the items, I don't care. Ah, okay, good, good, good. There you go. Sold to SFK. I just need to see which ones do I need. Dagger Axe, Wand Bow. Flask, a ring from Riker. Those are prefixes. 
gloves prefix gloves so that's prefix ring prefix i don't need body and this one is damage per endurance charge so this is suffix okay i mean do you feel that your dps is low Just playing a Ceres. Okay. Dagger. Wand. Bow. Oh, X. Suffix, prefix. <laughs> nice. So it's not a prefix. There's no way. It's not a suffix. So there's no way it's a prefix. So. As I said, there's no way it's a prefix. Yeah. Diam. Nothing here. Okay. Uh, ring and gloves. Gloves. Prefix. Prefix. Suffix. Suffix. Prefix. Nothing. Oh, shit. 14 suppress. Now nah, that I'm gonna do shit. Prefix. Oh, these are nice. These are nice. Hmm. Do I go conversion here or do I go AoE gems? What do you guys think for prefix? Conversion to fire or AoE? I'm thinking AoE as well. Because who needs conversion to fire, right? There we go. Conversion to lightning. Keep your eyes sharp. There we go. And now I just need prefixes and rings. Exile. In configuration. So you have to go configuration, you have to find the option. Plus two. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, it's free up 100 if someone wants to craft them. Um, okay, gloves, we're done. Ring. Suffix, suffix. Wait, is it Riker's Veil or whose Veil? Wait, of whose Veil was that? Riker's Veil. So out of those rings, there's Elrion. I think I had one Riker Veil. Wait. That's a suffix? I should think Riker. Okay, this one's Riker's Veil. Let's see. Not here. So it has to be prefix Riker's Veil. Well, not excellent. Sad get. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Buddy. So I still think they need to be prefix, like not Elrons veiled. Uh, ring, but they need to be actual prefix of the veil or veiled. Prefix veiled, prefix Leo, prefix veiled. There we go. There's the DPS. That's why I asked, does it feel bad? Because if you had that low DPS, it should have felt really bad. These are garbage. Okay. Okay, be warned, SFK. I'm gonna fill the whole darn guild tab with these shits. Okay, all those are um, questing items that you had in your tab that you wanted me to return. I'm sorry for being such low power. But holy shit did that did that food actually make a difference. By the way, SFK, whatever you do with these, do. <laughs> or whatever you want to do with these, do. <laughs> Some of these items might actually be good. There we go. Oh my god, clean of veiled stuff. And now, Agnerod. Beast. Yeah, don't, don't worry. No stress, Mercedes. Look at that. Does anyone need Agnerod East? Holy shit, man. One south. West. And do I have north? Oh, wait, I have Zov's bow. Yeah, I have corpses, man. Like, Sweetie gave me gave me his corpses, and that's like, ugh. Like, he gave me all of his corpses, and I'm like, oh my lord. Hope Shredda! Such a fun one. Wow, minerals. Wow. Okay, uh, let's clean this shit. Um... Okay, let me show you how we craft them uh, them things. Hypothermia and this, like there's no way. Crit multi, nice. Uh, base item. No. Look at this. Shouldn't shouldn't be a lot or anything. Yeah. Uh, face damage, mana damage, one handed weapons. Uh, there's nothing important there. Face damage over time and dual wielding crit fire. Wow. Okay. So if I remember correctly, you go here, you go here, you you go in critical, and then click. Here you go. 
There's elusive. Let's go again. Okay, sell corpses. Yeah, you can bulk sell corpses now, by the way. Increased effect of non damaging ailments. Because nobody gives a shit about them, right? So what does this guy have to be 13 divines? Uh -huh. Okay, and we do Onslaught. And because he's selling for an insane price, we just uh, lowball for five. Actually, half of his. Half of his. Go next. How much is beauty? Wow, 15 chaos. I swear to god I could I could go straight to bed now. Tier six mana region, Jesus. Dave's crit multi impale. Do cycloners go with that? Yeah, they do. Don't even laugh. Sad. Um. Tier 4 call that's, that looked like tier 1. Oh, life, mana, dexterity. Okay, we Valorb that. That's low armor. So, Mr. Cyclonus. Mr. Valorbis. Life, Dexterity, Mana. Okay, that may go for two, because high rolls. Okay, here goes some Breach Rings, kind sir. Because you want some Breach Rings, yes. Oh, shoot, Memories. Okay, um, where do I put Memories? Oh, in Alva. Didn't I already? Wow, dropped two survivors. Wow, I dropped three memories, three survivors guilt. Dude, really? Jesus Christ, man. 83 tome. Item level 84, item level 83. What the fuck? Why? Chisels. Look at these assholes. You know what we do with those chisels, guys? Ignore. 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 Oh, pardon. Unignore. Sorry. Ignore. 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 There you go. Post ch with chisels again. I dare you. Look how many of these people there are. What the fuck? Really? Wow. 
Are there really that many people who post with chisels? Look at that! Um, seller mm, collapse listing by account. I mean, if I do know. These are all different people. These are all different fucking people. Posting for chisels, man. Look at that! Full page! Hey! I can ignore half of Path of Excel community. I have no problem with that. If you're doing this shit, you deserve to be ignored and never traded with. Like... Enablers of this shit deserve to be ignored and never traded with. End of the story. You're using a public forum. Act like it. You're not a child. You're an adult. Act like an adult. I don't give a shit if it's going to cut my selling profits. I don't care. I hate when people do this. I hate this. I know, I know a quick fix. A quick fix is you go uh, show filters and then chaos orb only. But like this shit, man. Is there like an ignore list? How many? Li no, it's over a page. Do you even have an ignore list? One twenty four people ignored right now. I fucking hate those idiots, man. I really wish I really wish they they actually get their shit together. Holy fucking shit, man. Imagine. Imagine being that pathetic. So that you you sell things... Oh, 86. 86 can be worth. Yep. So that you are, you are that pathetic to sell, sell items for freaking chisels. I would understand if they put, I don't know, if they put uh, 0 0.37 divines, right? But like freaking chisels, man. Last season it was sextants. Same shit. It wasn't chisels. It was sextants. Economy of its own or not, it doesn't belong on trade. I mean, it does belong on trade because, you know, like, you know, if it didn't belong on trade, then you could put exact friend and you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Sriki, that's because of the nerfs. If I do critical, I'm getting a critical, right? That's usually how it goes. If, if you're doing a critical, you're getting a critical. But if I do caster, am I getting a curse? No, you still get critical. Because critical is a caster.
there it is. Shit evasion rating, but you can apply an additional curse. Just with that, five divines. Yeah, because suppress. Um, am I donating a progenesis? Uh, I'm donating a free prostate exam to everyone in the chat. Starting with you, Sreki. Spell crit. Mm, who crashed? No. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, no, no. It was, it was on your end, by the way. So, do I try to sell this? Nah, let's reroll. That's a lovely evasion rating, though. I mean, do I try to annul the lightning res? It costs nothing, right? It's just one annulment orb. There we go. It's gone. Back to the drawing board! Not bad. Saving this one. Curse, fire resistance, lightning resistance. I mean, standard blocker cover is shit, right? Ooh. Actually, it's bad. Okay, never mind. Next. Ooh. Now, this is not bad. Spell crit. One divine, yeah. And I was gonna, it's not gonna roll curse for days. Dexterity and curse, no. Dude, the stun and block recovery is so annoying. All prefixes filled. Do, do I care? You saw how cheap it is to, to actually get a... Wait, can you even fracture a curse on an influenced item? I'm not sure you can. I'm not sure you can use a fracturing orb on a... You can? Okay. Crit is 100, right? 150. Now this is mad. 20 spell suppression, 37 fire resistance, dexterity, 10% fizz damage from hits taken as chaos, and you can apply an additional curse? Well, boys. We are making bank with this. Low evasion, which is okay, but we take another physical as. Oh, we can't. Wait, what? Oh, because it has a mod of that type. Ooh, then we can go life and mana, right? Yep. We are making this into a chest piece. Oop. 85, that's fine. Well, 
That's a chest piece. Sure. Here we go. Six divine. That was quite mad. I was quite mad. Nice. Okay. Anyways, bridge ring. Okay, am I done? Oh, a little bit more. That's cold. I love how bow ones are completely worthless. Claw and claw. It's cold and lightning with claw. Doesn't Shaper have something caster? Hit with spells, right? So it's always hit with spells. It's always hit with spells. Do we have a critical? He has global crit chance. So that's a guarantee global crit chance. Not bad if I say so myself. For guaranteed crit chance. Reduced reflected elemental damage. Physical evasion, crit cold, yeah. Not even gonna bother anymore. That was just a nice, nice little test to, to check. Okay, next part. Hall of Locks. 11. Uh, what do we say? No series, no nothing. Good. Might get money. Charge a 50c a pop for 5th map slot. 50c a pop for 5th map slot is nothing. You just basically give them your um, tier 17. What? What do you mean? That's like legit nothing. I mean, I can. I can join if you, if you don't mind. I'm like completely indifferent, right? Hello, life in Sanctum. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, life in Sanctum. How much how much do you charge for the the shlot? Just tell me when to when to join, right? You can you can totally whisper me in game, I'm completely fine. Nothing. Oh thank you. So do I join immediately? Okay, I'm here. No, 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 I'm not gonna touch the arena, don't worry. Oh my god, he's playing that build. Where he goes to zero. Poggers, thank you. I mean, if you can do carries, 50c a person, sure, why not? Life in Sanctum. Ugh. Sanctum. Ugh. I promised, I will make a Sanctum farmer. I will make a character that can do Sanctum. However, I don't know which character that should be. It should definitely be like a ranger. Yeah, indeed. Apollo here has the mindset of must earn currency, must get maximum money. All the money are belong to me. That's Apollo. He loves to make currency, man. Must increase profits. Meanwhile, heavy. Uh... Oh, look, I'm showing people what bow they should buy for the build. Oh, look, this bow is 8 divines. Yeah, let's buy it. Why not? T 
Yeah, like... Dude, I bought this bow for eight divines. I was like, why not, right? It's it's a cool bow. I like it. Oh, by the way, folks, uh, I did release my my video this morning about the bleed uh, bleed blood bleed, bleed bow glad. So there's that going. I'll see how this one is going, but to be honest, I'm kind of. Uh, Getting uh, a little bit fed up with the archetype. So I'll probably like level another character soon, TM. I don't know what to play, so I need to think about it. But I'm honestly really thinking about uh, like sweep or something else. Maybe, maybe not. Profits matter. Profits matter for what? Do you have a build that can clean every content? Like, what do profits matter for? Like, if you want to make a build, okay, sure. But then, once you made the build, like, I, I, I don't get, I don't get the idea, like. Profits matter is is a completely valid concept up to the point where you can actually earn money for your build. But once you're done with that, then profits from next don't. Yeah. Like, you always make profit. However, the amount of profit that you make varies. And depending on what you want to do, that's basically where it varies the most. More to increase build. I mean, weren't, didn't you say you already burned through like everything for the build? Like you already did everything with that build? To min max is damage. Okay. I mean, if that's your fancy, good. Why not, right? I just want to see where where this amount of. Uh, Damage and, and things is going to carry me because this is uh, a lot more damage than what I originally did with bleed bow. My mana is gone. Uh, but I will be honest, I am craving a pure damage build, right? Like that's that's my craving you now. A pure damage build. To be honest, I really want to go and like piss on Sanctum because I have a personal vendetta against Sanctum, okay? Like I really want to go and piss on Sanctum, but I want to make a build that's going to be fun for me to to play because I know what can destroy Sanctum and it's freaking easy to destroy Sanctum with like some shitty ass builds. But like Oh, that's why. The stupid soul eater. Yeah. Audio registered three seconds or two seconds later that I died. It's like, I, I know what can destroy Sanctum. I have no problems with that. I just want to make my own version, right? And I think it's possible. Like, I can probably do it in um, under 20 divs. Just want to get get something out of that stupid sanctum, and also I need to make like um, 
PvE for dummies version for Sanctum as well. The fuck are these? Uh huh. That's why. Is he dead yet? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, like it's expect. I'm, I'm expected to fail. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I failed sanctums. Like, it's completely fine. I just want to have, on average, like 90, 95 percent uh, success rate with sanctums. Because I want to explore the mechanic. I fucking hate it. I want to learn why I hate it, and then I want to hate on it more. I mean, okay, if your build is is also a tank, that's completely fine, right? It's just, I have a personal vendetta against Sanctum. I fucking hate that shit. Uh, I'm a person who dislikes roguelites as well, so... That's why I also dislike Sanctum, but... But the main, the main thing is, I want to learn the boss. I want to learn Lycia's mechanics. Because I will be making a guide on how to do Sanctum, right? How to do bosses in Sanctum and whatnot. And that's what I want to, to do and want to have. So I'll probably make like... Um, I'll probably make a Raider, right? Although... The new LA hit of Spectrum should be really good, right? Like that can that shit can abuse all three elements. I mean I can make that into a dead eye even. Just grab Gale Force. Yeah, a long shot Gale Force. Yeah, that can be possible. Hyrie's ire. Although, how much is interrogation? Interrogation is the expensive part. Tamings are not the expensive part. Interrogation is the expensive part. Bow is the expensive part, obviously. Like, bow is a thing. Although, if SFK gets bored with his character, I can take his bow. I mean, we'll see. Just have a lot of a lot of things to to plan and to build. I have two months to play this game, right? So for two months, whee, I'll be golden, man. Where's the? Hi, I'd like to buy your beauty vile aspect. Please do so. Please do me a favor and buy my beauty of all aspect. Interrogation with uh, the... Um, what's it called? With tamings... Should give you all six ailments, right? So you're saving on one aura. Which means you can do one extra aura instead of skitterbots. Like, I'm, I don't care about pops. I want... I mean, that build is going to clean anything anyways, right? Like, when you slap up 1300... LED DPS bow and like crit and crit multi it's that shit is going to demolish everything anyways so it's irrelevant right
However, I'm still debating whether or not it should be um, whether or not it should be main link AOE, side link, well side link, second link, totems, or if it should be main link barrage and side link totems, right? For Sanctum, I suppose it would be main link, main link with barrage. Although, I gotta admit, I don't know how Barrage is gonna work with um, LA, LA Hit of Spectrum. Yeah, but there's like some mech mechanic with, um, with tamings and whatnot. I gotta research that. Where tamings do allow you to, to add like shock, shock freeze chill. Just, just gotta figure the numbers out. SFK knows that one better than me. He he followed through with that mechanic a little bit more. Ambition! Oh, look! Would you look at that? Another 190 chaos. Poggers. There is some tech somewhere. I don't know which one it is. But... Um, technically, yes. Interrogation should stop you from uh, afflicting those ailments. Those base ailments. No, oh, should it do normal damage? So then what? First link, first six link barrage, second six link chorus. I mean, Lycia wasn't that bad, if I remember correctly. Maybe standing still against Lycia in uh, in T17s. Yes, that's okay. No one uses Barrage anymore. Really? Is it that bad? Wow. Exactly the amount of leagues I haven't played an Archer properly, right? Mayan we use ballistas. Yeah, that's what that's what I thought. That's why I wanted like ballistas. I mean fair, so then that means Mana Forged 6 link. So what would we do? Focus Ballista or something else? White Wind again. Wait, that is White Wind, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like, so you would go... Ele hit Ballista, Focus Ballista. That's three green. Multiple totems, that's a red. Ballista support, that's a red. And increase critical damage, and that's it. That's for Ballista. Now for Mana Forged, it would be... Um... What do you use? Lightning Arrow? Storm Rain, Blast Rain, Mana Forged. What do you use in your setup? Like I know you have it on the on the weapon. That's what that's why I'm thinking. I mean, what is mana, dude? What is mana, dude? <laughs> Storage room. Dude, this shit gives so much experience, it's the same. Whee. Burning arrow, 
lightning arrow, I shot Ella hit the spectrum, mana for inspiration. Oh, you don't go life tap. Yeah, I think Ballista would be. Because you have mana to run, okay, Bob. Yeah, I think Ballistas would be better for. Sorry, for Sanctum. Then, if that's the case. Instead of mana, that big Mana Forge setup, and just do standard Mana Forge setup. Mana Forge, Frenzy of Onslaught. And uh, Peacock, right? Yeah, yeah. My mana is gone. That's what I meant. Just a standard Mana Forge setup. But then you wouldn't do... I'm gonna gotta see. I think you can make like a nice version of... Um, L.A. Now the question is, would I go Raider? Dude, this is such a feels good build. It just has low HP right now. It's such a feels good build. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I meant. Like I would legit just go and do um, Sanctum until I pay out the build, right? And then make a guide on the Sanctum for dummies. And that's basically it. Oh shit, I forgot to equip my deadly ailments. Oh, my awakened gems, pardon, not, the, not deadly ailments. My awakened gems. Yeah, yeah, frenzy charge, frenzy of onslaught. Like you can, you can do that one. I just wonder if I should do dead eye or if I should do a raider. A raider guarantees evasion, max evasion. So I think that might be better over like evasion cap. I think might be better. This is garbage. Over um, stuff. Yeah, that is busted with mana forge. That's true. The question is, will I hit it now? To get it right. Yeah, I know. What would you play in Sanctum, though? Um, I forgot about those. Minions. Ah. What am I going to make an SRS? Nah, tornado shot was busted anyways, like I mean Splitting slash shattering steel, right? Would that be good? We already have a good portion of the build. We've got a paradoxica. Like impale, impale champion, something with paradoxica. We've 
That could probably work, right? Hmm. Hey, Ted, Ted, Ted of Kill. Hi. Is Grusko Pelt worth using for Bleed Bow or Bait? Let's see. I don't even know about that item. Uh, Grusko Pelt. Armor evasion. Increase global physical damage, armor evasion, life, region life per second, character size, spell skills deal no damage, your spells are disabled. But spells are disabled. Oh shit. Where are you going to fill in the rest of your spell suppress though? Because chest gives a lot of spell suppressed. So this disables auras, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 a smart one. Yeah, they are spell. Aura spell spell. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, disables auras. Slap Doxic and Saver and use Lancing Steel of Spraying. Could be. Go double taming and yoke for the other hit. How much is yoke now? Is yoke like 20 divines now? Yoke is four. Interesting. Oh! Yo! Dudes! Omniscience! You're welcome! Omniscience, dude! Omniscience! Dude. Oh my god, Omniscience is 40 divines again! <laughs> what?! Why is Omniscience 40 divines again?! What the fuck?! Why is Omniscience 40 Divines again? Was it Omniscience like... 1 to 2 Divines last league? What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Omniscience back on, on, on the fat table, boys. Oh, is it because for, it drops only from Uber? Does it only drop from Uber or no? Yeah, that's weird. Yep, Omni Ashes is Uber now. Ah, that makes sense then. Why is it so expensive? That's so sad, man. That's so sad. By the way, I've just been doing doing Alva and nothing else. Like I've been enjoying this so darn much, it's insane. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what to play, right? Wait, wasn't? Which which one of those skills was the one that you could deal like the whole AOE, the whole screen of damage? Was it Lancing Steel? Like was it Lancing Steel that you could do that you could do that shit with? Ash is only div. Interesting. Oh, projectiles. No, Cleave of Rage. Can't do, can't do Sanctum with Cleave of Rage. No. There's no physical way you can do Sanctum with Cleave of Rage. No, no, no. It was, I think it was Lancing Steel. Like, I played Cleave of Rage last league. Congratulations, Shizu. Are gone. Oh no! Imagine using currency for your benefit. Woohoo! I gotta see the amount of corpses that I have and then, like, do stuff. Wheel.
41 seal left. Nice. That's enough. That can last you 8 maps with heist. And you will have a 1 C return. Pop, pop, pop. God, I love this build, man. I love this. Never unique, never lucky, man. Oh, seven divines sold. Oh, I know this item. I know this item. Hello. Need to be speaking out loud. I mean, that's fine. Hello. The rarity helmet. <laughs> Physical damage from kids taken is fire. Mana reservation efficiency tier 2, by the way. I got increased rarity tier 1 life. And I just slapped it with the rarity of items. And I was like, okay, this is 10 divines. And then after it didn't sell, okay, here's for 7. I forgot that item existed. Ooh. No poison chance, Cap Caperino, huh? Ah, that's bad, that's bad. Hey, I might actually make the SRS build. I've never played it. Might actually make it, right? SRS can, can clean uh, Sanctum easily. So... Actually, yeah. Hmm. But I don't want to play SRS. Blech, 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 blech. I'd literally remodel this character to to level <laughs> than than actually play SRS. Ugh. Valor, give me something good, dude. Like, give me. You don't have to give me a zing, but come on, give me like I don't know, scours. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, give me scours, and the game was like, here, scours. Okay, game. Let let's see if it works. Give me a mirror of Calandra. <laughs> no, best I can do is all before alteration. Thank you, game. By the way, if there was one item, currency, whatever, that you guys would want to get from the game right now, what would it be? Like, if there's an actual one item that exists, not like imaginary, or one currency, what would it be? A mirror. Okay. What would you do with a mirror? A scroll of wisdom. I can give you all of my scrolls of wisdom, Bade. You're my little wisdom sh star. Albino Roa Feather. Honestly, I have something that's even worse than all of that. Make my FK seem far more. Like, I have something that might even be worse. It's a two-parter, so I'm kind of, like, missing a point, right? I honestly want to see Chris Wilson's NPC. Like, no meme. That's all that I want. Like, I just want to see his NPC have a fishing rod and actually fish in this game. No memes, no jokes. That would be poggers. Is it carnage? Oh no. Chayula? What? Yeah. Chayula with re resistances. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> what do you mean? Get banned for what? What did I do? What did I say? For 
we're fishing. Ah? Huh? Is there a meme I'm not aware of? Uh, there probably is. You're not allowed to talk about it. What? What? Am I gonna get the cease and desist? The fuck? I mean, to be honest, here's the thing. Here's what's going to happen 100%. 100%. If I ever get banned on Path of Exile, I'm going back to World of Warcraft. Permanently. If I ever get banned on Path of Exile, I'm going back to World of Warcraft. Permanently. Like, we're gonna be uh, World of Warcraft shield creators, guys. Okay? If I get banned for talking about fishing... I'd rather play World of Warcraft. <laughs> so, please, don't ban me for talking about fishing. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Like, Jesus Christ. So you play Diablo 4, you got a deal. There's nothing to play in that game, dude. Maybe, well, I don't even know what you did. Copy not this whole stream is being muted when talking about fishing. Coincidence? I mean, I don't know. How the fuck did you drop 2 million DPS? If you've upgraded your character, what? What'd you do? Accuracy? Did you fuck up your accuracy? Or minion's accuracy? I'd rather I'd rather play World of Warcraft than play than play the uh, like dude. I'd rather stream on OnlyFans than than play uh like Yeah, I'd, I'd rather, like, yeah. Yes. I'd rather stream on OnlyFans than play Diablo 4. Let's, let's be real. It's good. Yeah, but did that change? Did you go from plus uh, 3 to plus 2? Did something else happen, right? By the way, I'm going to have a sub goal to actually make an OnlyFans account and post only cooking there and cooking recipes for a sub. And the sub is going to be like 420 or 6.9. Yeah, so you you gained more damage here. Like, the helmet, you gained more damage. There's no way you lost damage on the helmet. Because helmet got an upgrade, right? What is this, tier 2? Okay, let's see. Are you bad? You're bad. You're worse. Bones of Ulr. So, like, one of the sub-goals is going to be... Um, not sub-goals, uh, donation goals, right? Donation slash sub-goals, whatever. We'll see. It's gonna be make an OnlyFans account for three months and like post only cooking videos there, right? Like no naked, no nothing, just regular cat apron. Call it a pussy apron and uh, make cooking content. Once a week. Once a week post a video for cooking. Yeah, so what else did you change? I 
almost died there. Nice flasks. This better be worth it. Yeah, 51 mana. Now now it's a little bit more manageable, right? And I'm still like 12 levels away. Ooh. Ambition while aspect. <laughs> Let's go. The rich get richer, bitch! <laughs> That's the third one today. Ermagherd. Is it still 190? It's still 190. Ermagherd Val Aspects, bro. Let's stop that damage. Uh, they nerfed SRS uh, this uh, season. They removed the uh, damage uh, multiplier gain from like levels and whatnot. That's what that's what got nerfed. Like the 38% more damage uh, got deleted. Place two down residuals for poison. Yep. No idea. Uh, try to leave the pub pub side and try to enter it again. Right. Like, try to exit the P.O.B. and make a new P.O.B. Like, make a new import. Like, don't just import items. Just make a new import. Full new import. And it should, I think, work. It might bug out. Garnessness. Oh, then, if that's the case, then I don't know. If Poison 1 got, got buffed, I just know that I read the nerf. 38% nerf. Change to unholy my unholy my definitely buffed poison SRS right. Like that I understand because unholy might is now insane. But really no slots, no slots. There you go. Yeah, I mean. Interesting, right? Hello! Bon. I do not want to butcher your name, so I'm just calling you Bon. Hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Twitch side of things. Welcome to me being chill and being like this slow. Because I'm relaxed. I need to open my windows, though. It's about time to open windows. Finally, got some zip belts. Let's see, anything good? Ah, oh, reduced effect. No, we take this. Scepters, meh. Sulfur flask, meh. Chisel, mid -razel. let's go. Okay, good. Oh, I need to open windows, guys. So give me a slight moment. Yeah, pose the PV. Bad hand injury. Oh, <gasps> hey. If anything, RF is left click, so enjoy your left clicking action. You should, instead of instead of being sad that you are left click Andy, you should feel pride and joy that you are not breaking your arm like us sweaty idiots, right? You are enjoying the left click action. That's what you are doing. May the power of left click be with you. Coward's chains. The vows of consequence and the cure's legacy. Okay. I can do one more red. Are these still like cheap as fuck? Wait, you guys click? Yeah, wait, you guys click? Doesn't everyone macro in this game? 
Doesn't everyone micro in this game? Wait, what? Is she tripping? Hey! I mean, at least now you can take a chill pill and uh, relax, right? Oh, okay. Let's do next Alva. What do we have here? Uh, champions, defense, Titiziri, Wealth of the Wall. Who made this temple? It was me, by the way. So, yes. I'm that idiot. What's with monster helmet? Oh, is it uh, more damage? Level 20 burning, level 20 conk effect? Or level 25? Concentrated, not conk. Concentrated effect. And then life uh, life regeneration rate. So what have you made, kind sir? Do tell us. Yes, you can. Feel free to. Feel free to and feel free to stay the budget. The budget. Maybe but get good, maybe but get not good. We shall we shall see. Hmm. What can I make that's impale on champion? Basically anything, right? Nice, explode, explode, yeah. Beast here is scareable duplicating, that's what I need. My favorite, level 3 trap room. Mm. Get them slave drivers, man. Level 87. Dude, the leveling is so darn fast in all the temples. 487 mil experience an hour. Jesus crikeys, man. Well, the rewards haven't been lacking as well, but it's cool. Oh, I should update my IG and um, tag because, uh, well, I'm on a different character now, right? I'm not doing my Bleedbow Gladiator. I'm doing Bleedbow Raider. Oh, that's so good. Why are Bleed Pops so satisfying? Can somebody explain that? Like, why are bleed pops so darn satisfying? Let's see. Royal Bourgogne. We love to see it. The fuck is this? I haven't seen this in ages. Sir, I haven't seen you in ages. Cookie message. How about you tell Cookie to, to come over and say that to my face? Twenty-five area of effect. Okay, burning damage, eighteen. This is decent. Elevated, decent, decent. But Kind sir, let me ask you this. Where, um... I am uh, really annoyed with that starfish life per second modifier. How much did it cost? How much did it cost? With bench crafts, about seven divine. Let's see. Bourgogne. 30, 18, 25. Non exist. 20. Non exist. 18. Non exist. Cool. If we remove this. One for fifty divine. <laughs> Fuck 
you. Fuck you, dude. Go fuck yourself. Double fracture. Go fuck yourself, dude. Go suck a peanut. Fuck yourself, man. Double fracture. Holy shit. It's a good helmet, by the way, man. Like, it's a good helmet. Don't don't get it. Don't get it twisted. It's actually a very good helmet. Spore guard sold. Hell yes, dude. Let's go, man. Money. Finally. That only took three days. Jesus freaking Christ, man. For a stupid spore guard. Where's my spore guard? There we go, Spence. How much is 0.8? 124. Okay, 127 for gracias, thank you. Also, no cold damage off, so that's well. <laughs> to be honest, the only thing that I would I would like like here to see is suffixes cannot be changed and veiled orb. <laughs> and good fucking luck, right? First, make another one. First, make another one. Everyone <laughs> wants me to do that. I know. I know. I know. But no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't listen to that idiocy. Just uh, do your thing first. And once you do your thing, then uh, then do that, right? Like, um, play with it, do whatever, and then uh, enjoy it, right? And uh, once you make a new one, then do it. However, here's here's like increased effect is okay, right? Concentrated effect is is a bit better. If you're going with increased effect, that's okay, that's good, right? I prefer like smaller RFs with um, like I prefer smaller RFs uh, with shit. Oh my god! Almost died to chaos. Holy shit, son! Sinners, all of you, impure filth. Why aren't you dead? Goodbye. Am I hearing sinners? All of you, come on. All of you. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you repent. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Understandable. Making those crafts always feels good because you you right clicked right clicked enough times, right? That's that's why it always feels good and it always feels satisfying and it should feel satisfying. And I forgot to use my incubators. I'm an idiot. Um, but that's a you achievement, right? That's good. Like that. Helmet would have been better with either life regenerate or fire resistance, you know. But overall, I think you should not have gambled with elevated. That that one I think you should not have gambled because uh, <laughs> like that elevated thing makes it, makes it like makes your EPNS grow stronger. Like, but it's it's not needed, man. But that was, that's a good crap. That's a, that's a really decent crap. So if that cost you sub 10 total, including the base, good. Okay. I love how every level feels better than the last one. That that brings me joy, right? Because every better every better every level feels better than the last one. Which basically means I know oh, I know what I'm doing. Betrayal scare of intelligence. Yes, I'm very intelligent. 
I love how these scarabs are like worth nothing. And then, zing! Like 10 divines. Okay. <laughs> you know what would be the meme? To drop the third one. Come on. Yeah, it would be really funny. Is it the green one now? Yeah. It would be really funny if I actually did get one. Okay, but now we need gloves. We need gloves. As they only were going for the previous campaign. Dude, if you're going last day of the league, then it's already two weeks in the league. Come on! You'll make another one, dude. Like, make another one, man. Hit it with a fracturing orb, no balls, dude. <laughs> Hit it with a fracturing orb. See how you like them apples. A fracturing orb shouldn't ruin your item, like it should just lock one, one, uh, one mod, right, to fracture. It doesn't, like, re-roll that item. Unique. Boom. Yes, unique! Unique! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Sale. Thank you, Sale. We deal with those. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, ooh, ooh. Let's go, dude. You got exploding gloves. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my god. I just left the map, you annoying prick. Here you go. Your 10 chaos gloves. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye bye. Okay, how much are these? <laughs> Why? Why are there no money? The forest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, don't do that base. Like, don't touch that base, okay? Like, my honest advice is leave that base. It guides for Diablo 4 yet? Oh my lord. Oh my lord, Cookie. Have you prepared yourself to be banned from the stream? What the fuck are these? Well, these need one and all. Maybe two. What did it remove? I mean, we can, we can give them life now and that's basically it. Oh, no, no! Come back. I give them life. Fling. Life, 30% movement speed. Evasion, armor. Yeah, that can that can go for like 50. But yeah, one. Make a new one. And once you make a new one, gamba with that one. GG well played. Or as we call it here, Jija. So Jija well player. My mana is gone. Because you don't want to waste like a good item that you might use, or you're probably using it because of RF, right? Uh, you white them, you scour them, you scour them, they're worthless to roll. Because the rewards from the final thing, it is not, uh, it doesn't get uh, bonuses. Yeah, if you're, if you're using it, then just take a chill pill, play with it, it's a fantastic helmet to play with for that cheap of a price. And just uh, make a new one and GG, right? So Max Roll didn't lie. I love how you how you trust me more than Max Roll. 
<laughs> oh my god, that boosts my confidence so much. That's insane. Thank you. Thank you for that. Holy. <laughs> maybe I should be maybe I should be writer for Max Roll. We're mirror. Just having a trip on Pookie, you are making me make. I honestly want to make a fireball build just to prove just to prove to you that you are doing everything wrong. Thank you. That's that's a really big confidence boost, by the way, babe. <laughs> the way I over explain you, babe. I missed. Damn it. Ooh, I dodged. Okay. Focus, focus. Where it is, where it is, where it is. Where it is. Bye. Okay, where mirror, where mirror, where mirror. There mirror. Queen, thou shalt bow to me with all them titties. Imagine, dude, imagine the tit job of Adziri. Cookie simple build in D4. Oh, let's see. Let's see the ringy droxy just drop it. Six to six five six. Five six is, is worthless, right? Five six is worthless, yeah. Doom knuckle. Cold damage, lightning damage, bleeding, bleeding. Is item level 83? Let's see. Give me a check. Is music running? Music is running. Um ba 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 Ring ring raya Pishmazaya. Um. Oh, dude, 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 take that ring, okay, take that ring from, um, from Drox, take that ring, go to crafting bench, uh, pardon, horty crafting bench, type caster, and hit it once, get a curse, get a few divines, you're welcome. It's item level 83. Horny! Not horty! Horny crafting bench. It's a horny crafting bench, dude. At the end of the horny crafting bench, there is a woman who deals with tentacles. Of course it's horny, not horty. Did I say horty? I am so bad. I am so bad. I'm sorry. If I said horty, I am so bad. Excuse me. Excuse my bad French, okay? But at the end of, of horny crafting, there's like... There's this little woman, you know? Um, Vial of Consequence. Okay, let's buy a Vial of Consequence trade. Does anyone have a Viale of Consequence? Consequence. I still need to do all the temples. Lip 24. Uh, caster. Hit it with a caster. 75 blue blue essence to hit it with a caster modifier. Reforge an item with caster modifier. And it will guarantee a curse. Nice fusings. Yeah. Very nice fusings. Very nice. Plus 20. It went. It went. I'm sorry. Okay, jeweler, Olympic of Ascension. Okay. I'm not putting. I'm not putting a belt to get uh, to get a headhunter. We're not going to try for a headhunter. We're just leveling.
Did it hit a curse? Flammability. Nice. You can hit it until it hits vulnerability. Like, it's 75 blue. Like, who cares? Just hit it until it hits vulnerability. And you're you're welcome. Oh, it's level 2? It's level 2 vitality, so there's no... There is no... Stuff in eggs. And once it hits vulnerability, enjoy money. Marcos a bit. Okay. Bade. Right click, uh, report player. Report player. Using. Using a mark of support. Vulnerability, accuracy, strength. Yeah, I mean, it can work. It can work. Yeah, it can work. You mean you can sell it for like a divine or two, yeah? Just craft life or craft non channeling and sell it for like a divine or two, and that's basically it. You've spent what? 10, 15 chaos of uh, blue juice to craft it, and you've um, gained one to two divines. GG, dude. Drox 2 OP. Hey, you're welcome. Now, now you know, right? You can do that with most of the... Um, most of the harvest stuff. I'll give you, I'll give you a, a soft tip. I'll give you a soft tip. You go to this website called podb.tw. You go to modifiers. You pick your item, whichever item. Let's say we want to pick boots. Boots dexterity. You scroll down and you see what the conquerors have. Or what does the shaper elder have, depending on the base, right? If by any chance, boots, you have Veritania, which is redeemer prefix... You go to the crafting bench and you hit it with 150 blue, which is critical, and you are getting ev elusive on crit strike. Like, you are getting this mod 100%, because that's the only crit mod it can roll on Veritania. Right? So, you, you do that on boots. On, um, on Craft of Exile, because this is easier. On uh, jewelry, you click rings. Craft of Exile is, is not done done well in, in regards to this. It has everything. like It's not sorted cleanly like this. So you can go Craft of Exile, but it's not sorted cleanly as this. Craft of Exile has too many colors. Too many random things. Like Even if you go like on Craft of Exile and you choose, let's say, jewelry, ring, right? Look at this. Look at all these colors. People who, who who have a problem focusing on, on these many colors will never use this, this website because it's too darn colorful. And also, all these are similar colors, right? Dark light, dark light, dark light. While here, every single one, even though it's dark light, it's contrasted. This one is not a good contrast. Yes, 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 but I'm not talking about... Copying and doing an item and making an item. I'm talking if you drop an item that's a certain base that with a certain influence, you can go to Harvest Bench and just click it and get it. Like the the Drox Rings. He dropped the Drox Ring. Curse enemies with flammability, flammability, vulnerability. And you just hit it with a caster mod. And it's guaranteed to get a caster mod, right? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about crafting an item. I'm talking about, oh, I dropped a Drox ring. What can I do with this ring? Oh, look. I can make this uh, with some blue life force and I can earn a divine. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Quick crafts, not like planned crafts. Who gives a shit about planned crafts? 
Just quick crafts to earn a divine or two. That's that's why I recommend uh, PoEDB because it's it's better than Craft of Exile at least for me to see what what there is. Craft of Exile you can of course make better items, right? Exactly, exactly. You just see what drops, you see the item level, and that's it. GG well played. I'll give you a great example after after this map. I'll literally go and buy a, a Drox thing. Don't remember dropping that for a while? Yeah, I don't remember dropping Sorrow in the Divine for a while. Oh, Nightmare Basine. Crash. And then crashed. Oh, no, I didn't. I just stopped. My character just stopped. I was like, I crashed. Like, I wanna get the... Uh, I wanna get Clather's ring and then, like, craft shit on it, but... That's going to be uh, an, an iffy situation, right? Huh? I have no idea who this is. Ah, records. <laughs> GG. GG. He dropped a headhunter. So yeah, those those simple crafts you can always do, right? If you can guarantee a property, why not? Like as an example, I gave four divines for the for the ring. I should not have because I totally forgot that was the thing you could do. It is what it is, right? But oh well. Panic, 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 panic. Ooh, Chayula, panic, panic. I love how you can walk over the hands now. Dingity! Woohoo! Ooh, scare of selectiveness. Don't mind if I do. Goodbye. Little cockroach. Get. But, Sharko, we're not talking about crafting mods. Like, we're not talking about specific crafting, right? So there's a difference between, like, you are right, don't get me wrong. Full black map drop, nice. Uh, uh, can Doriani... Can Doriani poof the gem? No. I mean, uh, the outcome of uh, double gem corrupt, and then I'll come back to you, Sharko. Uh, the outcome of double gem corrupt is uh, gem level up, gem level down, gem quality up, gem quality down. Both at the same time, both up, both down, or um, level, or it can stay the same. It cannot poof the gem. But, once a gem gets a corrupted tag, that's counted as poofed. Now, when it comes to, like, fracture base and, and better mods and, and whatnot, yeah, but if you just drop the random ass item from Drox and you can do, like, whatever. Should try with your 2020? Yeah, why not? Do you have a double Doriani? Like, do you have a double corrupt for, for the thing? Actually, link me your SRS. I wonder how much is 21, 23... Oh, stringy servitudi. Malevolent! Trask garbits!
You have Dory. Oh, Throne of Aziri. Nice. Apex of Ascension. Oh, shit. You have Apex of Ascension. Nice. Uh, you can you can do stuff in Apex of Ascension as well, right? Nah. Not worth. Not worth to do to do uh, double corrupt on that. Sorry. It's 70 chaos for level 21. And 3 quality just gives you a little bit more of chance to summon an additional one. Nah. I wouldn't waste my time. No, 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 just level them in offhand weapons and, uh, and, uh, basically once they, once they hit, like, 20, like, you can give them, you can give them either, um, or actually, no, wait, uh, it's, it's a skill gem, so it cannot d double level, um, to be honest, just level some other gems, as an example, volatility support, if you have the strength, and, uh, Level them to 20-20, then Valkor up them all. And when you get, like, currency, just buy the 21. Like, don't even waste time with buying a quality on uh, on the, the silly thing, right? Why would you go with the temple? Sell the temple. The best gem to do it on is the, like, well, I don't know if Lightning Strike is still very good, but, like, if people still want to Val Lightning Strike 21. But, like, don't waste a Dorion on a shitty, shitty gem. Just because you want an extra level. It's 70 Chaos, it's like nothing, right? Also, you have Apex of Ascension, so you have Headhunter Chance, or you can make an item like I'm doing right now. Like, I am taking uh, Coward's Chains and Vial of Consequence to make uh, the belt. Please don't DMCA me. So, see what I'm doing, like... I'm just gonna clear the Apex of Ascension. Chance for it as well. I mean, if you want to, if you want to do a Headhunter chance, sure, do. Bring a leather belt, item level 74 and above, and GG, right? Like, there's that. But here is how you can make guaranteed money, right? Altar of Sacrifice, Apex of Ascension, you put your Coward's Chains, and you put your Vial of Consequence. This is 20 Chaos item, this is 24 Chaos, that's how much I pay, that's 44 Chaos. And you get Coward's Legacy Chain Belt, which can be sold for... For one Divine. Apparently. What the fuck? 10 movement speed, 18 attributes. 10 movement speed... 18 attributes. Yeah, one divine. There we go. Or if I remove attributes, it's still one divine. So, yeah. that That's how you would make definite money. And then I would use that money to... Um, buy the SRS gem, right? Maybe intention one my full clear. Nice! He just entered the PoE, spat in his soup, and then left. Pogger's cookie. I'm very proud. Dude, this shit is dealing so much damage, it's mad. And I'm not even done with damaging nodes, that's even worse. Zero deaths too, nice. No YouTubers. We only listen to Kush here. I know, it's always about the title. <sighs> okay, what are my side chicks? My side chicks are improving. 
Dude, I'm getting insane amount of experience. Okay, architects and and slave drivers are ex like why are slave drivers no money, right? That's a uh, vial of dominance. Like vial of dominance is eight to ten chaos. Nice, eight chaos. Wow. Oh shit. This has Doom vibes. Okay, what do we have here? Corruption, Metal, Lord, Splinter, Wall, Nexus, Hybridization, Apex of Ascension. There we go. Do, 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 do. Now somebody would ask me, Heavy, why are you doing these temples all the time? And I'm like, I'm level 88. I leveled fast. Dude, according to this, this is what? 100 million, which is, and I earn 460 million an hour. So that's less than 15 minutes a level, by the way. Yo, dudes, that's crazy. That's crazy, dudes. Oh, is that three? It is hybridization. How much mana do I have? 54. Oh, nice. Got two. Sanctum nerf Sadget. See, that's how we deal with business. We business. Dude, these temples have made me money, man. Like, and I'm just leveling, by the way. <laughs> I'm just leveling, doing nothing else. These temples, so far, paid out my full bow. I think. Like, seriously, just doing these temples today, I paid out my bow in full. Wow, almost died, Jesus. Yeah, now I know where that guy went with Kintsugi. Oh my god. Roger Marquez. I didn't time. How, how? I didn't check the time, pardon. How much does it take me to... Oh, no, 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 no. These are... Wait, high item level. Is that because of that? Yeah, nobody cares. Um, I don't know how long it takes me to do these. Like, what, 15, 20 minutes? Maybe less if I hurry the heck up. There we go. So, from 30 chaos to... 2 to 7, 28, 16. To 60, 70, right? So, you still learn a little bit. We. Ooh, this Dangarus. Do I have crits here? I think I might have crits here. Ooh, that's bad, do I? Uh, what about Temple Nexus? No, I don't. What the hell? No, I don't. Jesus, that was just raw damage. Oh my god, these dudes raw dog me. What the hell? Okay, Wealth of the Wall. Come on, give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. I want a chance. I want a nice, lovely chance. To get a foiled mage blood, okay? 
I take a Zeris disfavor, dude. Like I take a Zeris disfavor. I'm completely fine. Give me a Zeris disfavor, even. Like that's that's completely fine. Blessed orb. Yes, I feel blessed. Ouch. Poison. Still nothing. Dude, I'm not making you to give me nothing. Sad. Posted your build for 141 total. What, on TFT? So you're selling your build? They made one divine today only. I mean, that's fine. What's wrong with one divine? A divine is a divine, dude. I'm sorry for not seeing the messages. I'm just like... I'm just completely chill, as you can see. Chill, talking with the wall. That's just what I am. How I do stuff, right? Wow. Hit me, baby, one more time. Mm, do I buy Awakened Chain? Mmm, Chain. Something not to think of, I don't know. Oh, makes sense. So wait, wait, where are you selling the build then? If not on TFT, what? In trade? Are you raw dogging the sale on Path of Exile trade channels? <sighs> you, sir, need to be put in an asylum. You are... You are... What? Oh my, you need to be put in an asylum, man. Asylum for Path of Exile refugees, dude. Because that's not normal behavior. Let me tell you that. He is raw dogging, even clicking the trade here. Oh my lord, sir. You have earned yourself the title of what the fuck? Yeah, because apparently there's still a lot of you who actually raw dog shit. Dropped nothing! Oh, at least it's maximum energy shield. Uh, oh, wait, there's an official trade discord? Really? Like, is there really an official trade discord? If there is, give me an invite. Send me an inv. I'm, of course, not gonna leave TFT, because TFT is such a good tool to, to play with, right? Yeah, yeah, send me an invite, please, then. I didn't know. <gasps> is that a full blueprint revealed? Nah, for fuck's sakes, it's not. By the way, guys. I've been seven minutes inside of this shit. <laughs> I'm almost leveled. <laughs> oh my lord, I love this, man. I love this. And that's why we make Alva temples, boys. That's why we make Alva temples. Oh, here's the trick. Boop. You can do it. You can do it from here. You can do it in. There we go. It takes a bit of time once you. Like, unless you, like, position yourself badly like I did there, but it's way better done in the... Uh, what are they called? In the actual missions and maps. So, did you send me the link, please? Thank you. Appreciated. I have received the link. We have stack decks to open. Oh, stag decks to open. Where boss? Boss room, no boss room. Thank you. 
I'll join in after this one. By the way, folks, no stream tomorrow as per usual. However, I might make a video tomorrow. We'll see. I probably won't even make a video tomorrow. I'll probably chill tomorrow. And then Saturday, I will probably uh, make or launch it Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. That's nice. That's me. Is this north? South, that's okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow, bijou. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Please don't play this game. Your puby looks sexy. Yeah, okay. Okay, Mr. Sexy. Dingy dingy. Dude, this bow upgrade today was delicious. I increased my damage by more than 30% with just this bow upgrade. My mana is gone. Like, where the bitches gone? And they be gone. Ooh, breach hand. Big, big breach hand, no splinters. Wow, you suck, Zoff. Zoff, you suck, dude. You suck. You have a mini penis. Mini peeny. Zoff sucks. 162k HP. Nice. So how much are you overcharging? Saintly chainmail. Now nah, I'm not interested. You're undercharging. Why? Why, man? Aren't you the one who wants all the profits? Ah, I can't p pick up superior flicker strike. I have no room. I have to leave. Can you please leave? Because he wanted to sell. Oh no. Do you really want it to sell? Seriously? Really? I'm just joking, of course. Of course you want it to sell. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Today I'm a, a little bit hyped. A little bit excited about the things. Yeah. And we have... that's it. I think I've cleaned it all, right? Yep. How much would my kill go? Huh? Fifteen to twenty. Rarely, rarely anyone wants uh, increase the area of effect. <laughs> But 15 to 20, it could, it could potentially go.
Ah, carry one to sell. Carry one to buy. They also have a vouch system. Okay. Cool. Actually cool. I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing. I actually had no idea about that. That server. But yeah, your, your helmet can definitely sell for 15 to 20. It's just uh, the problem is really rarely who wants... Uh, now, what's it called? Um, really cool wants it uh, for what's it called? Uh, increased AoE. I think those uh, elementalists or something want it for AoE. Usually, people want concentrated effect. Uh, okay, we got some YouTube comments to to reply to. Oh my God, people have watched my video. Nice bug. Um, Let's see. Let's reply to some YouTube comments. Let's see. Uh, oh, shit. I love this comment. Uh, split arrow splitting. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I have tested it out. And because it fires one projectile. Guide. Hey, Darth. Um, wait. Guy doesn't work? <gasps> there you go. It does work. Oh my god, I got scared for a second. <laughs> I know I, I put that thing in. Someone has my building cracked with my age below 70 mil DPS for fun. Yeah. Thank you for the follow, Darth. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to replying to YouTube comments to take a chill pill from Alva Temples. Uh, doesn't make it fires one projectile and then splits. It reduces the... But welcome to the squad. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, let's see. Test the gender and inflection got more DPS than the regular speed. Since you should just one over one speed. The regular chain the issues most of the time. You're facing mobs, and for bosses, you mostly use snipe. Uh, technically, you do get more DPS, but the problem is you get less recovery. I prefer more recovery. Is my bleed bow? No, no, I haven't added him. I'll do it tomorrow on my off stream day if I remember. As the gear I'm using is on my Gerader now. There you go. Okay, so I need to remember to do to do that one. Will this be able to be done on a champion? Honestly not sure champion would you be able to do bleed bow on a champion like i mean what would you take inspirational yes first to strike last to fall i wouldn't suggest might be possible but i would suggest how they put a bill on angels again? Um, you have to log in and then do some shenanigans. Like I hate posting builds there because it didn't calculate my cleave of rage properly or anything. It's just it was just annoying. But there there is a way. You just have to click and click and click and click and click and wait and click and wait and it's just so tedious, man. It's easier to just post the pub. That's it. Just post the fucking pub. Uh, I wouldn't try it out. There you go. Boop. Poor fellow glad it used to be best gameplay. Now it's glue. I'm gonna get him over. Great build. Thank you. Mm. 
There you go. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Some pre config for each skill sometimes. It's like my Cleave of Rage, uh, the, um, the map destroyer build with like 14 plus million DPS only counted as 2 million DPS because it didn't count blitz charges, it didn't count rage, it didn't count, like, it didn't count anything, so, like, crazy. <clears throat> yes. Like, Bladefall, Blade Blast, yes. Oh, nice, nice neck crack. Oh my god, that's my favorite part of my day. Woo! Nice. Little Bladeful animate weapon. Uh, there was always that kind of build, yes. Uh, Plague Land, decide this thing. Um, if you craft bow with corpses, please make video when you finish it. Uh, I will definitely do uh, I will definitely give this a go. It's just... There you go, boop. It's a very tedious process. Okay, um, so basically, that's it from comments, right? I'm really glad the reception has been has been good. And uh, yeah, look at that. Would you look at that? 12 likes, 1 dislike, perfect. 779 views, apparently it's more. YouTube, why you not update my build? And I recorded this at 4 in the morning. But dude, cleaning feared was so nice. What does it even say? Sensei on IVs, yeah. Cleaning feared was so nice. Okay, but yeah, that covers... Um, that covers YouTube comments. Let's play more Alvas. Alva, Alva. Do I want to do these? I don't really want to do Battle of Transcendence. Okay, I want to buy... Uh, an op six. Op six of Adzo Atol. Two chaos. Let's go. For the love of God, please sell that to me for two chaos. I will love you eternally. And externally. And internally. And all of it. Sell me them Adzo Atols. Thank you. Last Sirs. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 10.24. Draw the request. So shift 10, boom. Thank you, thank you. Very good, very good. T for T. Let's go. We still need to, to buy like five or ten of these. Sanctum of Immortality. No. Sure. Sure. Malayne. Oh, that's cozy. Trade party, yes, boom. Oh, that's cozy. That's cartographers, that's very cozy, I like that. I like that, that's cool. So, who invited me? Armillo. Armillo, 10. I got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Let's see next. Oh, do, 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 do. Apex of Ascension. No, I really don't want to do that again. Um. Really? No, no more like tier three rooms. Court of Sealed Death. Let's go. This one I would like. Okay, I have three more to buy. Nice, dude. I love it when people invite. Oh my god, I love it when people invite. Jesus, man. That's my favorite thing when when people invite for. For like, oh my god, yes! Please, yes! Dude, fill me in. Ah, oh, and there's Apex of Ascension. The guy's in Putrid Cloista. Okay, that's enough. Enough. I need, I need like 447 million experience an hour. Four for seven million experience an hour, dude. Like, are you mad? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Hope to press invite. That 
guy had a... There you go. Um... There you go. Coward's chain. See? That's what we do with Apex of Azoatl. Well, not Apex of Azoatl. Apex of Ascension. Mm, okay, so let's see. How many A Apex of Ascensions do we have? Uh, that's one such. That's still one. Good. Two. Two. Okay, two. Okay, good. So we have two Ape Six of Ascension. Alva Sanctum. There you go, next one. Which one has Court of Sealed Death? I know one has Court of Sealed Death. Um no. No. Strongbox Chamber. Hall of Locks. Court of Seal Death, there we go. Why am I buying all the temples I'm leveling? That's what I'm doing on Civil, I'm leveling. No, not this one. That's a bad one. Green one, bad one. I am legit leveling, man. <laughs> That's why I'm buying all the temples. I would make make mine, but I have June on my map, and I don't want to do June under tier 16. Is it just me, or is my character small? But yeah, I've been doing 15 minutes a level, basically. For the past day right i started the day at level 74 i'm 89 now and i also died the truckload so but let me tell you for 10 like if you buy the proper temples right so the finished temples. The only requirement that I have is that the temple is connected with a boss. My deaths, I don't know, 50, 60, 100? I don't even know. 29. Yeah, I died like ever since he started leveling and whatnot. Like I died a few times. Like I died with SFK like two, three times during Legion and whatnot. But it's irrelevant, right? As I said before, deaths are irrelevant pre-level like 92, 94. Because yo, dudes, come on, 482 million experience an hour. Let's be real. Doing solo gameplay. Only Alva. And I've pretty much pretty much earned uh, like a divine an hour, right? Almost. Damn it. Just from doing Alva, right? Because of the things I sold. It wasn't divine an hour, but it was like... Um... I mean, technically, yeah, it was. It was divine an hour. Yeah. Because I got like what three, three ultimatum aspects, like three ultimatum aspects. Harbinger boy, Nuros Harp. What is this? Is this one? That's one. So it's irrelevant what I put in. Okay, death and taxes. We can do that. And uh, because I paid like ten chaos each, like I've spent oh like two hundred chaos ish to buy these maps, right? Probably including ooh, reverse knockback. Uh, probably including the ones that I have done myself. 
And I've so far, like, gotten three or four ultimatum aspects. Like, three or four ultimatum aspects. Um, strap boots, which are oh, the bad ones. And, um, like, the chain, this, that, like, right? I haven't received a full divine orb yet. But I have received a lot of other shit. I am Raider this time around. I have switched uh, my build. So if you've watched my uh, a Zero to Hero video, I have also said that I am swapping to Raider because uh, rupturing, right? Like I'm using Raider and I'm using the fifth uh, ascendancy point to you to buy rupturing from uh, Dead Eye. So this character is now being leveled. So this character is 89 right now. And this character is going to be the better version of Bleedbow. And it is a better version, don't get me wrong. Like, it's, it's a way better version. The problem is, it requires some stuff. So I will be playing around with this build until I don't even know. Probably like level 96, 98, or I might give it a break, we'll see, and then go an elemental build. Because I still need to think about, I want to be able to do Sanctums. I don't know if this build is going to be able to do Sanctums, right? Like, I, there are some things I don't like about this build, which have been screwed up because they've removed um, charms. So I don't like some things. But overall, it has been it has been really really solid right now, and uh, leveling has been extremely fast. However, I did put sixty divines in the build. If you count everything, right, including the the bow that I bought today. Like I bought this bow today for like what was it, eight divines? So I bought this bow today for eight divines. And if we count, if you count that one, that's like 60 divine investment. But my original Bleedbow Gladiator was 80. I'm I'm still counting like things invested, even though like I haven't actually spent 80 on this build or 60 on this build solely. I've spent like 30, 35. But he, keep in mind, I have already made like 15, 20, maybe even 30 back, right? From farming on this build. And just farming experience. Sounds stupid. But just farming experience. I've managed to like earn. 20-30 divines. Or something. Like just today. I've uh, I've like earned a lot. But the Gladiator build is still there, like, I haven't deleted the build, like, there's no reason to delete the build. It's just, uh, retired. Until I figure out the, the way how to do this thing. And I'll probably, like, next build is most likely going to be from Saturday onwards, and then I'll play just on-off. Um, I really want to do Sanctum. Like, I really want to learn the Sanctum mechanic. And I want to play that and invest into that. Plus, I need to finish the graveyard. I need to make the Fizz Bow. There's that, too. Keep in mind, I'm just one man. Can't do it all. I wish I had an editor, man. That would have made... Kiara's determination, we don't need that. That would have made my life way easier. If I had an editor, man. You'd just be like, oh, I can just download your, your VOD and just GG well played, right? Can I be like, yay? Uh, I did Court of Seal Death. Okay, we do Toxic Grove. That would only turn 
Wow, I have to go back. Jesus. Is it hybridization 3? Perfect. Okay. I need to apply incubators as well because I've forgotten about those. My quad tab is getting filled. Mm, however, I need to change the regex. I've been nine minutes inside. Dude, having hybridization 3 just increases the amount of mobs and it's so lovely. So I had what? 30, 40 something K kills today, right? Does anyone remember the amount of kills that I had when we when we talked about kills? I think it was 40k or something. Like when, when we talked when Shizu said she had 200k kills. Yeah. So I killed like 20k monsters so far. Lovely. Something like that. And just by chill playing, like nothing else. Like I'm not try-harding this. It's just been dying here and there. Ow. Spell suppression for the win. But I definitely feel like 2.8k HP is not enough. Like it's not nearly enough. Uh, more than 50, it's always like that with these. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I love this belt. Like, yeah. Dead. Dude, one shotting feared was really fun. Besides her, be healed and fight on! That wasn't fun. Goodbye, everybody. I've got to go. Uh, I, I won't be able to break half a mil. Still no zings. That's fine. That's fine. You'll live through it. Lightning. Chaos and light. I just want to see this. Please. Hit something good. Click. Bleeding. Suck a penis. Let's see. Grace or effect. That's the minimum one. That's the shit one. Is this just the base? Hey, Raphael. The people glad doing affliction. Tempted to try the Rapturator. Hey. Oh, yeah. I think I just answered your, your messages on, on YouTube. Yep. Uh, do you want the POB for, for what I'm currently doing? Um, I should actually add the, the current bow, because I bought this one today. Add to build. Save, import, export, generate, share, copy. Here you go. Tell me if that works. That's basically the POB I've made for, for this one. It's uh, it's good. It has its problems, but it's good. Like, yeah. yep. Uh, tell me if, if if that link landed. It should have. Awesome. So yeah, this has been my passion project for a while that I wanted to do, and um, honestly. It's, it's doing insane, right? The problem is, I just need levels. At level 89, it's not enough yet. But these temples have helped an immense amount for leveling, right? 
I firmly believe I can now go and kill like Exarch in, in one hit, but the problem is I, I want the rest of the of the items. Like I haven't equipped my uh, um, elegant hubris because I lack levels, obviously because I need other shit before that shit. Okay, that hurts. Oh, another one. If not Max, then me no care. Arbing Donger! But yeah, this has been this has been a literal passion project of mine. So Bladebow Glad was the actual project that I made the the beginner build guide for. But this one has been a uh, passion. I probably won't play this one that long as I played Bladebow. As I said before, I want to do uh, Sanctums. But I will definitely... I'll definitely see what could be done. Oh, I wasn't planning on going there. There we go. I'm not the one for jewelry, but... Yup. No. Dude, like everything is just demolished, man. Like the higher the level, the be the better it is. Did you see rarity on that? I think I did. Okay, Sanctum of Unity is next. Oh, I am also not using uh, Enlighten. Because I think I can fit this without Enlighten, but maybe not. Oh, Umbilicus. Or not Umbilicus, pardon. Immortal Flesh. Uh, I wonder, is it a good Immortal Flesh? 82, 262, no, it's a garbage one, sadly. Nice. And by the way, that whole POB has all the gear that I have, plus more, right? Like, I've prepared everything in it. I'm just not using Elegant Hubris right, right now. Uh, as a Raider, mandatory. You can try to go Determination, I wouldn't recommend. Because of everything that we get, we get a lot of evasion from Frenzies, right? Like, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be that, that good to go... It wouldn't be that good to go the... Um, determination route. So yeah, sadly Grace, unfortunately mandatory. Magic preparing a up. Hey. How much how much have you invested in your build up? Whoa, almost died. Didn't pay attention. Come on, did you break ten? Did you break ten divines? Come on, dude. I need to grab a water. Vial of Transcendence. And now I can do the... the... Jewels. Cool. Uh, okay, so next one can be Apex of Ascension, right? I mean, you are definitely more than a divine, not divine, divine. Um, if you if you don't stop calling it divine, 
I'm going I'm going to start calling her Lele Leleth. Lele 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 Leleth. I don't care. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I thought you did. Well, okay. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Um You're probably more than uh than a divine in because you paid the two for for the headpiece, if I'm not mistaken. The Abwa. Yeah, it is the Abwa. Keketh. It is Keketh. Hey. What's a Diablo without Diablo in, in it, right? It's la 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 la. I love how they're like, no, you can't use left click for instant spells anymore, but you can hold left and right click and use right click as for instant spells still. And I'm like, well, how did that solve a problem? Well, it didn't. You just artificially made a problem. That was beefy. Kiamat was too. I know because I recommended it. So let's say you're around five, right? <laughs> you are still you're still under only my bow. Wow, that's that's interesting. Come on, dude. I thought the power of left click was with you. Eight. My bow was eight. I bought it today. Random ass bow like popped up on the market like half an hour before like before I actually looked and I looked uh, looked at it for a viewer right and yeah fun 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 fact fun fact I was like oh shit this is actually worth this money this is actually worth you can buy this. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and I bought it. <laughs> Instantly. Improved my DPS by like 40% or something. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like, by 40%. Just by, by equipping that bow. Such a silly item, man. Like, legit 40%. Start farming, less whining. I was farming for those divines. Want to see my experience per hour, yup? <laughs> Want me to flex my experience per hour on ya? Uh, which one is the most expensive one? Oh, the green one. Um, Apex of Ascension, Crucible of Flame, Court of Stone. 474 million. Shifting between Delvin maps. That's what I was doing. Shifting between Delvin maps. I'll probably make another ranger. But man is this fast, right? And all my flasks are automated. I don't even need to press them. I just press them because I'm used to. Dude, I can't wait for you to finish finish that shift and you're going to have so much fun just laughing at bosses and be like hey, 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 here's a fire trap. That's going to be so much fun.
But yeah, I did I did that at the beginning, uh, Shizu. To level up, to gain a bit of currency, to empty Nico out. That's exactly what I did. But now I'm like, well, all the temples do bring money, as you've seen. Directly, although I'll have to lower the price of that ultimatum aspect. Yep, that that, that build is like is gonna be even better, right? Like with every upgrade, you're going to love it even more. And I wholeheartedly recommend playing in open maps. Like once you get to that point, play in open maps. And holy shit, dude. Once you start... Um, not frost blinking. Frost blink you use only when you need to go over walls, right? When you need to go like this. That's when you use frost blink. Otherwise, you shouldn't touch the button. Um, but you should uh, play with shield charge. Yeah, you should play with shield charge only. Go in an open map and just do shield charge. Abusi, let's see, is it good Abusi? Uh, Valorb that shit. It's trash Valorb it. Yep, yep, yep. You just oh shit, unrequited love, unrequited love, dude. Mirror shard, hello, Z. Hi, hello, hi baby, where are you? Hi, baby. <laughs> one sixteenth part of one nineteenth part of a mirror. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's only 26, 27 divines. <laughs> Why is this 27 divines? How much is mirror? Okay, that's a proper zing. That's a proper fucking zing. Mirror is 380. Why is this then? This is 16 cards. I need to sell this immediately. Hey, Reina. So wait, 16 cards? Oh no, wait, 16 cards is for almost a full mirror. That's why it's mirror shards. Ah, so this is worth more than a mirror shard. That's why. Okay, so then we do 370 divided by 20 times 19 divided by 1622. So that's why it's like, okay, I mean 27 is perfectly fine. Thank you, that buys me a build. How much are these? 187. Let's see if we have a biter. Oh my god, that was a very, very nice zing. That's my second mirror card this this league. And of course, I'm clickbaiting with that. It's my... I put my alchemy orbs inside. Um, it's my second partial mirror card. Ouch, that, that shit hit me. Okay, there we go. So we finally received a zing. So I cannot say anything about zings for the next uh, foreseeable future. I'm probably gonna invest in a, in a bow. Like in, in a full ass build. Uh, by the way, Reyna, you're still playing Lightning Arrow? Or, are you, or have you switched to... Or have you switched to Hit of the Spectrum? Ella Hit of Spectrum. Can you wholeheartedly tell? Yes, you can. You know, maybe now I'll, I can afford a bit, uh, uh, some bitches to, to like, um, have sexual re relations with. Because everyone of you now wants, wants me to have sex, right? So thank you for the well wishes. Oh wait, you meant you wanted me to get fucked, not me to fucks. Oh, uh, I mean sex is sex. It is what it is. 
Sometimes you get it, sometimes you, you give it. That That's what it is. Select the air. That's fine. Don't forget to double corrupt your regular lightning arrow. <laughs> I don't know how much of our lightning arrow is now. Whee! I got damaged. Okay, Bade, have a fun one. See you Saturday. I won't be streaming Fridays. Well, I won't be streaming tomorrow, which is Friday. So no no Friday stream. Friday is a relaxage day. Actually, because I have a class in the evening, like at this time or an hour earlier. So that's why I don't stream. I'll probably... I don't even know. I might even level a, a, a raider again. See ya Saturday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a good rest of the day. Okay? Take care. Nice aroma. Whip. Boop. Meow. Nice. Dude, I really dislike how this build is not at all like League Start friendly. Or even beginner friendly. Like, I really dislike how this build is not even beginner friendly. Okay, Apex of Ascension. My students... Uh, no. I, uh, my students are young. They're from China. They, they... Well, most of them are from China, right? Um, they don't play, they don't play PoE, like, I don't even know if they play games. I don't mix, uh, business and, uh, pleasure, as, as they would like to say. Whoop. Yeah. Transcendent Jevel. Okay, I should go this way. There we go. Would you look at that? It's, uh, actually, what the fuck? Why are people doing that shit? Now that annoyed me. People price fixing shit annoy me. Well, I still made some bank there. Got the jewel, got the vial. My students are price fixers, yeah, true. Dude, my students are rich, man. Way, way more rich than I am. I mean, I don't mind. I don't care about the rich life. I just want to have enough money to to do what I like. To have a little bit of savings, right? For when I when I grow older. Pension, you know. Afford making, making a house with my own two hands. That would be cool. In my 40s to retire and actually make a house with my own two hands. That's what I always wanted to do. Like, I did make a house. Well, I did build a house with, with my parents and whatnot. But I wasn't of so much help because I was younger. Way younger, right? And uh, I want to make uh, make a house myself, right? In the yard. In the family yard that we have. I want to I wanna build a house. An extension, right? Okay, that should be all, right? Oh no, I missed the room. What the fuck? I missed Catalyst of Corruption. Really? Like, that would be my passion project, right? IRL. That would be my IRL passion project. Well, that's, of course, when I'm in my 40s, not not now in my 30s. Well, in my 30s, oh my god, like, I'm in 30s, I'm in... I'm almost in 30s, okay? Like, six more months. So that took nine minutes, ten minutes. 
Um, fizz damage to melee, fire, life. Oh, this might be good for starter RFers, right? Trash. North, please. Finally. Freaking finally, Agnrod North. Uh, what is this? Trash. Okay, here's a cool trick up my sleeve. Agnerod North. South, West, East. Click 1, 2, 3, 4. Winter Square. Map. 25 chaos, 30 chaos. Um, this one now. 120 chaos. Okay, 27. Nobody wants. 26. There you go. Next. Let's go. What do we have? All Gucci. Have I reached half a mil? No. No, half a bill. No. I'm 80 million away from leveling. Which is like this map, right? Wow. Okay, I need to remove orbs of alchemy from regular crackity crackity filter. I just need them to show any quantity the same. Oh shit, I'm 90. I still thought I was 88, 87. There we go. Yeah, this build is behaving way better than it should. Jesus Christ. Where's Clather now so I can take his ring? To get another frenzy charge. Keep in mind, this is not my max damage yet. Like... I still don't have the big jewel. I still don't have more maximum attack. I'm four or five levels away from it. Right side. Maybe they'd have not killed so many of each other if they'd they'd grown fruit instead. Wow. Imagine. That's a new one, by the way. I've never heard her say that. Perfect shield. Okay, how much is uh, Mr. Apep Suprema? That Apep Supremacy is either like 1, 2, 3 Divines or it's like 20 Chaos. There's no in-between with Apep Supremacy. It's either expensive or it's free. Literally, there's, there's no in-between with Apep Supremacy. Ouch, is I'll use you for sacrifice. Immortal. Jesus. Interesting, nobody wants to get it for 26 divines. Okay, so then I'll have to lower to 25.
I haven't done my divination card stash in such a long time. Like, I legit haven't cleaned that in a while. So, yeah, I know. I know. It's just, like, the, the price should be, like, 22, but 26 is asking a little bit too much. Like, I prefer to get that items out the way, right? Those big-ass items. Because keep in mind, that's a headhunter, right? Well, almost. Well, now I have money for a headhunter. You mean if I'm not, not in a rush to sell? I mean, you're right. If I'm not in a rush to sell... Whew. It will always go up. Oh shit. There we go. I wanted to be cheeky. That's my first death in a while. Um, dum -pa -pa -dum. You're right. If I ever need currency, I know that I have it. Like if I ever if I ever need currency I can always underprice it, right? Oh for flying out loud. What the fuck? Forbidden tome randomly. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going left this time around. Have I mentioned how much I hate these disappearing ones? I've never received anything good from the user, by the way. Dude, how many monsters does this Alva have? Jesus Christ. Oh, would you look at that? More... More of these. More strong... Ooh, superior portal. Ooh, 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 ay, ay, ay. We need to hit it with a wild gem. It's not wild portal. It is Trask. Extraval gem. Let's see, maybe good. Superior Val Lightning Strike. I mean, 11 quality. Oh, you can't hit Val Breach. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. If that's the case, then I don't know how to hit it. Um... Ah, interesting. Okay, thank you. Didn't know. I thought I could get it only... Well, not not only. Additionally. From... Uh, Valing it. Oh, well. Now I'm sad. 
knowledge breaking. The same as today with that stupid aura tag bullshit. That I didn't know. I mean, I don't know, like, an insane amount of stuff, right? However, as I said before, what I'm good at is I am good at um, chewing down on the information, churning it up, and uh, showing uh, new players how to, how to do stuff, right? That's what I'm good at. I mean, that's why I'm a teacher, so there's that as well. But I'm very good at good at um, just raw crunching data. Oh, portal! Would you look at that? What if you put automation on portal? What's item level? Um, usable level of chainsaw sixty-two. Portal is an instant skill in my dreams. Come on, dude. I said, what if? Don't break every good idea. That's so sad. Then I'm gonna use Ancestral Call on it. I'm gonna make it into a war cry. We're gonna cry for, for a portal, okay? Portal! Portal! See? That's a war cry for a portal. Party pooper. Uh, I think uh, you can actually do that. Yeah, I think you're right. On that one, I think you're right. Yes. I think I, I knew that one. For like mine shenanigans. By the way, did you see the, the quality of life for mines that they did? Such a good quality of life for mines. If you choose that mine master, it gives you the detonation button. So you don't have to use the gem. Such a good quality of life for miners. Ouch. Oh shit, fuck. I was too relaxing too much. Damn it, fuck me. That's what you. when you get like uh, neck pain, right? That's what happens. Neck pain. Kills you in-game. Wow, got nothing. Thank you for nothing, goodbye. Uh, bonus Azurite works with all flame for soul fight. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's that too. This one's worthless. That's worthless. Okay, one more Azoatl, let's go. I'm in that Azoatl prison now. Dust and rot. Smells like treasure.
see that. 5% experience almost. Didn't even clean the first room. This is why I say to people, dudes, just do Alva, man. She is an insane experience booster. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff here. Nice dodge, bro. Oh, Sacred Wisps. Support. I didn't plan to enter this room, but here we are. Look at that. Already 10%. Second room, by the way. If you tell me it's time to die, I'm going to actually commit a plain blasphemy. Can I please get a zing game? Currency zing. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not allowed to ask for zings now. Shit, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm not allowed to ask for zings now. Well, I need to... I need to kill stuff before that before ziri else... Uh, might be badge. There we go, level. Okay, Adziri. <laughs> Bow to your queen, mortal queen is dead. Long live the queen, queen is dead. Almost. Whew. Panic, dude. Still three minutes, boof. Come on, Aziri. That oh, was almost. Mortal ignorance, let's go, dude. Go to bush. Oh, cheese. I know this might be boring, guys. I'm sorry for this, but. I'm having a blast, blasting this shit over and over and over again. Especially because it's like crazy good experience. Wow, double ambush scare of hidden compartments. Wink. Okay, now we go right. 
Oh, and also, um, I think I've fixed, well, most of my stutter issues. And it seems like Path of Exile has the same problem as League of Legends has, the polling rate. On the silly thing, but it is what it is. Thank you, I appreciate it. Whoop. It's, it's always chill around here, with a little bit of whining, right? What would we do if there weren't a little bit of whining? There wasn't a little bit of whining. My mana is gone. Mm. Yes, SFK? Yes. I know, I know. That's a, like a two, three day information already, yeah? AD carries in shambles. Zonias are gonna be bought. Zonias for everyone! Or, as uh, you, as a player of Morda, is going to say, Shta chuda im radim! Legit, dude. It's really good for ARMs, yeah, I agree. Oh no, it's this one. Damn it. I thought it was Viper Napoats. Oh! She was here. Please? Oi, stop throwing shit. Come on, you're dead. Just die. Yep. True. Yeah, a raw exalted orb. Let's go, dude. Haven't had that drop in a while. Oh, by the way, if we need, um, in PoE, if we need uh, around 20-ish divines urgently, uh, I've dropped the card that gives uh, 19 mirror shards, just so you know. I'm not going to sell. I, I listen to Sharko's uh, opinion on that, because mirror is going to like go up in price, right? So why uh, why waste time with selling the card for 22 to 25 when you can wait? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with money as well. Like, I'm legit thinking about uh, making that LA Raider slash Deadeye, whatever. Don't even know what I'm gonna make. Just so I can do... So I can overpower Sanctums. And that I can do... What's it called? Um... Tier 17s. How much is Awakened Ella damage now? Is it still a few Divines? Whew.
Four, four, six. There we go. Seven, five. Yeah, 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 like you just have to roll the bad mods away or um, get the. Um, oh shit, that's the expensive one. Or just get the um, frogs and whatnot. I mean, you can take the horde scarab. Like, you can take the horde scarab of imbuement or whatever it's called. Okay, time to vendor everything for 10. What can roll on a... Head piece like that. Modifiers Helmets This is Droxy Ooh. Physical Elemental Fire Fire Crit Okay, so I need to roll fire mods on this shit What item level does it need to be? 85? Bulgars, man. What? What this? Fire. Oh shit, son! What the fuck? Fire, chaos, lightning in in one tap. Uh, okay, whatever. Um. That's nice. Nice accuracy, nice evasion. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Increased elemental damage. Dex int life fighters. Suppress though. Tier 2. That's good. Next time block recovery is whatever. Wow, 20 chaos. Seriously? I mean, if I add life... There you go, 50. I'm happy with that. Oh my... Oh my fucking god, dude. I hope his license gets taken away. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. What the fuck, man? These nighttime drivers are insane, dude. <sighs> Vicious Proj is like nothing? Okay, cool. He's gonna sell immediately. Uh, 
20. There we go. 50. Dico. Come on. Okay, let's see. Stalo here. Come on, dude. There you go. Okay. Mm, I want to go to the store to get something sweet for moon cheese. Oh my lord, the amount of embers that I have. Crazy. Um... Tats, tats, tats. <laughs> mm. I mean, these are basically starter ones. I can just delete these. I can also delete this one, so... Nobody needs that. Max life, rarity, accuracy, fire resistance. God, what a freaking uh, physical taken as fire. I'm not giving you exalted for that, hell no. Wow, none. Really, none? None crafted and chaos. Yeah, right. Here, have this. Um, lightning conversion. Nobody wants low stats uh, vendor. That's vendor. Sorry, honey. That's vendor. Do, 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 do. Actually, wait, I don't have to go to the store. I have ice cream. I'm pretty fine with ice cream. Okay, all of these items for one divine are now going to go down to Kundotse, including you. I don't even look what these are. I just basically half price them. All of these for two. Going for one. Oh, thank you. I have, I have one. I have one, one here. I have ice cream here. Dude, mine's pretty much. Oh, that's implicit. It's irrelevant. One divine. There you go. One divine. Two and a half divines. You go down to two. Six divines you stay because I posted you today. Fifteen you stay. Four divines you will go down to three. Four divines you will go down to three. Two divines you... S really? Somebody is underpricing these. Doesn't matter, irrelevant. Six divines, you stay there, you stay there, you stay there as I placed you. Try over to authority. Just go back, go down to 20. That's fine. Yeah, these are Hondo. And these ones are 180. Yeah, I can do 185. Okay, let's change the zone so these guys don't uh, don't freak out. I totally forgot I had ice cream, man. Okay, do I clean the dump? No, not yet. 
However, I want to fix the filter. Wow, now you want to buy it for 10, and when it was for 20, you didn't want to buy it. Bramble Star Medium Cluster Jewel. Oh, go fuck yourselves, guys. Sold. Go fuck yourselves. I fucking hate Path of Exile community when it comes to, like, selling cheap shit, right? Like, I freaking hate them. I had that jewel, that cluster jewel, posted for 20 chaos for a few days because I've forgotten to, to reduce the price, right? And nobody, nobody, like nobody, I put it down to 10 chaos. Two people immediately whisper. Go suck a penis, dude. I fucking hate those optimizers. Man. Come on, dude. It was for 20 for like two days. Like, Jesus Christ. If you whispered me to sell you for 10, I would. I really hate currency optimizers, man. Like, I understand if you're on a tight budget, but if 10 Chaos is a tight budget, like, if 10 Chaos is going to make or break something, then you're having bigger issues than 10 Chaos. Okay. I need to... Yeah, I gotta save 10 Chaos. Woo! Better save 10 chaos, else what are we gonna do? We have a belt. Okay. I want to try. I want to do this stupid thing. Dude, imagine saving 10 freaking chaos. I would understand if I had a 10 divine item and I lowered it to like 9 divines. I understand that completely, right? 10 to 9 divines is, is a big chunk. That's 10%, right? But that's 10% of something way bigger compared to 50% of something extremely small. Why? Now you want to eat ice cream. Sorry. Hey, Talo didn't answer. We can play League, but Talo didn't answer, man. I can do I can do this map and then we can do League, okay? I just want a Gamba once, just once. Just for for once I want a Gamba, okay? And it's gonna be a quick 1, 2, 3, we lose, we don't get a headhunter and GG. I gotta admit, this version is much, much better than, than Bleedbow Glad. It feels smoother. Even though life is a little bit more iffy and I'm... Uh, <laughs> Hugging the space bar, but uh, it feels smoother. Raider speed, yep. It's a dead. No. Wow. It's a chain belt. Wow. It's a Chinus beltus. It's a belt from China. I'm small. The speed. 
Rala Cash, even though they're nerfed. Actually, yeah, I can go wealth of the wall, I can go up, whatever. Hey, Sheem. Sheem? Scheme? Scheme? Hi. Board with RF. Like for another one. 50 div is more than enough. Like 50 div is more than enough. Which version do you want? Do you want a Raider version or do you want a um, Gladiator version? Also, welcome to the stream. Don't know. <laughs> okay, so... I would strongly advise going Gladiator first. So you get used to the playstyle because you might not like the playstyle and invest Two divines, okay? Like, don't invest more. Invest two divines and just play it. Like, I have a, I have a beginner guide as well. And um, it covers basically all the bases, right? And I made a guide today, I finished it, I uploaded it. That basically is like zero to hero edition. Like, from like nothing to... Clearing fear. However, if you've never played it, I would recommend starting with the cheap version, like the cheapest possible, and then looking to upgrade, right? So that's what I would that's what I would suggest. No, you don't have to listen to that. You can just straight up blow money. But Grab yourself, like, any Fizbo, some gear, it's all yellow gear, just level, enjoy, try it out, see if it works for you, and then if it does, progress onwards, right? Because you might not like the snipe playstyle, that's, that's what I'm the most worried about, so I don't want you to waste currency on uh, just doing a snipe. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, it's a, uh, oh, you played Bleed Bow, oh, have you played with Snipe then? I mean, if you've played with Snipe, then, sure. Most of the, most of the money is going to go, like, uh, to buy a bow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now it's not, it's not on a Salem, which is the helmet. Now it's a um, regular skill. Where is it? There you go. However, I'm playing a Raider version now. I'm not playing a Gladiator version. There are differences. Um, however, Raider version I'm testing. But I'm used to playing um, a low life. Like, very low life. I'm like level 91 with 2.9k life. Um, high evasion characters. I wouldn't recommend that. I would actually prefer people going with the armor route from uh, the gladiator. But yeah, you can you can safely you can safely go with uh, with glad, right? Then get yourself a good bow. Good uh, good physical damage. And like spend 10 10 15 on a bow, like that's completely fine. And what you're looking on a bow is as high physical damage as possible. If you're looking for some some tankiness, you will find it in the in the gladiator side. This one has tankiness, but it has evasion. Yeah, you can you can do that as well with the graveyard if you if you want to if you want to farm. Okay, dying. Um, the gladiator version does not die that often. However. You gotta roll maps because there are mods that outright kill the build. Like there really are mods that kill the build. Like I I'm not even joking, and that's not uh, that's not funny. But there are mods like for every map. 
Or for every build that killed the build, right? Hey, I paid 8 divines for mine that I currently use on this character. It has one worthless stat, right? But. One. Yeah, for uh, for Gladiator, it has one useless stat, which is crit strike chance. But for Rupturing, it doesn't. I mean, you don't have to go with, like, 750 plus higher bow, whatever, yada, yada. No, no, no. You, you need, like, 600 plus, 650 plus PDPS. Not even P, P damage. But PDPS, I did the whole content with a freaking Thicket Bow, man. Instead of Citadel. But, let me just finish this room. And I will link you the guides. So you can you can follow through POBs and whatnot. I think I'm done, right? Oh shit, I missed the room. I missed the storage room, give me a second. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Experience is starting to fall. Um, no idea. No idea. I'll tell you with the with the um, with the gladiator one. I have no no clue. No clue. Honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> It, it cleans every content. Like, it, it really cleans everything. Besides T17s. Like, F T17s, I could not clear. As there's not enough time to pull out a snipe, right? But... Like, look at this. I kicked when I mispronounced my name. Here's your feared. It's a good all-arounder, yes, but not for T17s. It one-shots regular bosses. I haven't done Ubers. It outright one-shots regular bosses. Also, she, she heals a lot. Well, she healed them for a lot. Yeah. The only problem is you have to wait. And this was 62 quantity. So it, it it works through through content. Here's the here's how it clear maps. It's mad good. However, I've invested around 80 divines without uh Without a good bow. I've invested 80 divines with a shitty thicket bow. 82 and a half divines, I think. That includes a shitty thicket bow. So, Blitbow has one problem. <laughs> there is a DPS cap. So there is a DPS cap. Now you can choose which way to go, but if you buy a better bow, you'll reach the DPS cap sooner. Single target. AoE DPS cap is like 35.67 million is the DPS cap. I haven't reached that on my build. 
I haven't. I was at 2022. So here's the video for that. And I have a um, beginner one. Uh, POBs are in the description, by the way. And I have, there we go. Not this. That's day three update. Oh, there you go, League Starter. And there's the, the League Starter. 2.5 million. What do you say 2.5 KK? You should just say 2.5 M. Um, and let me show you the pubs like here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. This is how the tree looks like, right? This is with spell suppression tree, fifth ascendancy, a natural instinct is expensive. Do you know how much it is now? It's dropping in price. It's seven and now it was 10. Um, Here's the bow. Look at that. Thick at the bow, by the way. Thick at the bow. If I took the bow that I have currently, that I bought today for 8 divines. And I added it to build. From 20.7, I would have 25.4 million DPS, right? And this is... Flasks are irrelevant. Config max blood stands. It's just. It's legit irrelevant, man. The moment you the moment you hit. Like the moment you hit like 12 to 14 mil DPS. It's just everything else is irrelevant, right? So yeah. All the gear is here. Owl's uprising is expensive. I wrote everything down how much I paid for. Don't buy things with six links. Now you can six link for free. Basically. With uh, Scarab of Shadowed Crow. You buy one Shadowed Crow. You buy one Duplicating. You buy one Bestiary. You run those three together. And then you have two six links. You also need to buy uh, Cryptic Vassals. Or no. Sandspitters. Cracking sand spitters, and you have that. A lot of those. There we go. Oh, that's my flow ability ring. So there's that. Um, forbidden flame and forbidden flesh for inspirational may cost some money now. They weren't that expensive, but you need that to fit auras. You do not need enlighten. Um, impossible escape for less shade. So we can pick these two points. Right? These are the best. Like, this is the best um, impossible escape for a dot without doing any shenanigans. Now, the problem, the problem of the build is this. Elegant hubris that fits here. Now, in one, one of the videos, I'm not sure in... Exactly which one? Was it the day three or day seven? I've posted a trade search for these. And these ones can be expensive as flying fuck. However, there's an option without doing these. And that's op that option is not going with Supreme Ostentation. Unclick. You need a lot of intelligence and some dexterity, right? So you have to find intelligence and dexterity on other pieces of gear. That's the biggest problem. However, I use, um, where is it? Flame dash. If you, like, Malevolence is 98 int. If I lower Flame Dash to 10, 96 int. So we need 98 int for Malevolence, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just don't touch those, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't have to dismantle the gear. Like, mandatory items that you need are... You can also get this. Gloves with spell suppress, resistances, and curse vulnerability. Right? I mean, I'm selling these ones for three. These are the ones that I used. These are the ones that I used and that you can see in, my, in one of my videos. The reason why I'm selling these is because I got a ring. Right? So I don't need that. Um, this is the bow that I used, although this is the, the crit bow, because oh, this is from uh, Rupturing that I bought. Mm. So there's that. This is the chest that I used, the old one as well. With Suppress and Pride Effect, Increased Effect of your Curses. Whatever, like, you want um, Increased Effect of non damaging Elements. So, this one I'm selling for two. Um, this is the quiver that I was using. I'm selling that one for one. That was the old, old quiver, right? It's not the the, the other one, but I think it's not going to sell for one. This is the one that I, that I bought later, damage over time. I think I sold some, some like... Um, of my old other stuff. But like I'm basically selling duplicates, right? From the oldest gear. Do I have like Frenzy of Onslaught there? I don't even have Frenzy of Onslaught. I completely forgot. So here instead of Frenzy, you can use Frenzy of Onslaught. Right? Like you can use Frenzy of Onslaught. Mm, oh yeah, right. Um, don't. Never mind. Don't. Um, there's a reason why you don't use a frenzy of onslaught. It kills the ascendancy. Sorry, don't. Outmatch and outlast gives us more physical damage. What max frenzy charges? Don't use frenzy of onslaught. Mm. But yeah, basically, I also didn't level my gems like to to maximum and. Like the, the Awakened Gems. Those Awakened Gems that were there are now here. So, yeah. So what I would say is mandatory get an okay bow. Right? Okay bow. Spell Suppression Gear. Two large clusters for a start. Um... Fifth Ascendancy, so you can fit in additional Aura. And just give it a go. Seriously, just give it a go. It's not a difficult build. If you've played the um, Snipe before, then that's fine. You can also use Frost Blink, which does not interrupt your Snipe. I don't like it. I prefer using Flame Dash. But yeah, everything is POV. And you can always ask me either on stream or... Um... Oh shit, Max wanted him. Oh my god! I hit a jackpot. Oh my lord! <laughs> I'm like, oh, nice, max quantity. Boom, 50 divines. Fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I gotta check. There's no way. 58, 53. Wow. 
What the? I didn't even notice I got that one. So, like... Technically, there are 60. An hour ago, an hour ago, a few seconds ago. Yeah, there are technically 60. What the fuck? Jesus shit, man. I guess no, I can play League. Where's Talo, though? I was waiting for for him, and then she, she, team. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Joined and asked me about the bleed bow, so we we can do league. There's no league. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can. Us two can play league. I'm fine. She me. Okay, she me. Sorry. Now I know. I'm not playing without Talib. Then we don't play league. By the way, do you see this shit? Crazy. She's just going to spam that fuck you thing. So much. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm not gonna stream for too much longer. Maybe like half an hour longer. Okay, we do another Alva. So it pissed Shizu off. Shizu, are you ready to be pissed? <laughs> if I drop, if I actually drop another high value item, Shizu is actually going to kill me. And I've only been leveling, like look at this. 436 million experience are an hour. Dude, that's a headhunter in an item. Playing the game makes currency, imagine. Although, come on, that belt is luck, man. But here's the thing. Spent 8 divines on the bow. Right? Spent 8 divines on the bow. And... Um, I earned that, that raw, I earned that from leveling in Alva Temple. This is why I always do Alva Temples and I always recommend Alva Temples to people. Man, this shit. Even if you, even if you don't get anything out of the temple, which is impossible. Like, even if you don't get anything out of the temple, for 10 Chaos, you get experience. And the only thing that you need, you need the boss. You need the Apex of Azoatl to be open. Like the amount of shit I've received. So, what is the total haul so far from doing like 20 temples today on stream? Well, let's not count the proper stuff. <laughs> You're not playing the game wrong. How many temples have I done? Right? How many temples have I done? I do them every 10 to 12 minutes. Keep that in mind. Yes. If I count how much currency I've spent on the temples and how much I've returned, I've spent 200 chaos on the temples, on 10 temples, roughly. I think I bought 10. 10 or 20? Never mind. 10 to 10 temples. Tentacles. And uh, I've received... Almost a thousand, maybe twelve hundred. I'm not looking for anything in the temple. I have, the only thing that I'm looking looking in the temple is the boss room. That's how I buy temples. Only thing, the only thing that's important is this. Nothing else. Anything else that you get is bonus. Nice. 
So the only thing that you need is the the boss drop, because the boss drops a piece for the adorn jewel, which you sell for hundred for hundred and eighty five chaos or a one ninety. Do you know what monster we're gonna? Oh, trust me, I don't. No, I check those as well. No, 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 uncivil. Like it's it's like. I don't even check those. Like, I didn't even know. I was like, oh shit, 15 quantity on a belt. I know that best belt is like Bisco and, and whatnot. But I, I honestly did not even know that 15 quantity on a belt would sell for 55 to 60 divines. What the hell? Almost vendored. Cringe shit. What? Why are you so cringy? Why are you so cringy? I mean, SFK bought Fit Hunter for 25, now it's double. But, that's irrelevant. But, anyways, for most of these things, I don't know. Here's what I do know, and this is what I've explained in my Alva video, if I'm, if I recall correctly, it's been a year. And that is, some of these rooms that are level 3 have valuable items. As an example. Pools of Restoration becomes Hybridization Chamber, Tier 3, and there will be a chest here that gives that has a chance to give a unique item. That unique item, compa um, compared, not compared, um, combined with Vial of Transcendence, and you go to Apex of Ascension Room, so you go, you go here, you put that item in, you put Vial of Transcendence, and that's what makes you money, right? The game and drop your mage blood into the was good. That's fine. So what? I know that people literally used a mirror of Calandra to vendor a random ass item because oh shit, I need to dual wield an item, there's nothing else. Uh, this item says copy an item and that's it. Right? It doesn't matter. In the grand scheme of things. All of those things don't matter. Um, people are not doing the graveyard anymore, SFK. That's why. That's what's happening. See, Vial of Transcendence dropped. Vial of Transcendence. And you take Vial of Transcendence and you take a jewel. Any of those three. So, here's how it works. Ah, pardon. D. You take any of these three jewels. This Vial of Transcendence. You go to Apex of Ascension, you put both in, and then depending on the jewel, let's go, depending on the jewel that you've transcended, you get one of those. And then you sell them. And that's how you make currency. A little bit, but a little bit, a little bit. Hmm. I wonder... That too, skill. But, you know? Or, how many mirrors have been lost in Delve where people drop it in darkness and they don't know that they've dropped it in darkness? Because Delve has the highest chance of dropping a mirror. But here's the thing. One thing is important to remember, guys. This is a game, and we all enjoy the game in a certain way, right? So don't think about it as like, oh no, yada. you're not playing for money, right? Like, you're not playing this stupid game for freaking money. You're playing this game to have fun, right? I hope so. Unless you're RMTing it, and that's the case, you, bad. Um, but you're playing the game to chill. You're playing the game to enjoy what the game has to offer. Just, like, don't worry about it too much. If you enjoy playing your character, play your character. That's why I always recommend that people buy cheaper, cheapest gear. I mean, big drops are awesome, yeah. 
I understand that. They they feel great. Uh-huh. They feel great. But at the end of the day, I've made like if I go to standard and if I show you how many things have I left unsold, you could have actually filled I, I firmly believe I, I had throughout the years mirrors worth of stuff. Um four or five. I only dropped mortal ignorance. I didn't drop core pieces. I dropped three uh three headpieces um today from um Atlas uh, from um Apex Boss. I, th I think it's a regular Aziri thing or Uber Aziri. I don't think it's it's uh, Alva Temple Aziri, man. Like, now I really do think it's uh, it's regular Aziri or Uber. But I don't think it drops in the temple. And see, that one drops some items, right? So we can drop a temple here. If it can, then it has a very, very low chance. That would only slow me down. Like, if it is, then it has a very, very low chance. Because I haven't dropped one. I did drop uh, those... Uh... Oh, never mind. Yeah, lovely item. Um, Those other ones. Yeah, I'm running out of GCPs. And here's where I earn extra currency, right? You take volatility support, you level it to 20, you give it one GCP, you level it to 20 again. And when you corrupt it to level 21, it's three divines. That's how I've earned extra currency. Yeah, it's not a big sample size. But um, from 20-ish temples today that I did. Oh, shit, nice. Oh, nice. Hmm. Very nice. I think I can, I can finish that helmet off for you, Shizu. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll get to that on Civil. So, skill. I've killed 20-ish Apex bosses today. Apex of Azatl bosses, right? I've dropped three or four pieces of Adorned. I've killed three or four Aziris, dropped squat. So... I gotta do more samples, but I'm not gonna run Aziri for, for like days because uh, I'm almost done. Okay, now, Uncivil. This is for everyone. By the way, if you guys want to earn extra currency, this is a, a good way to do. And it's a passive income. Always have a second set of gear. You can use white sockets. Or colors that you want to level. Gems that are always worth leveling are... Volatility. Um... In um, concentrated effect, that's a blue one. Concentrated effect, increased critical strikes, the crit multi. Those three are always worth uh, leveling. And then, what do you do? You put them in, and you play the game. You level them up. They get to level 20. When they get to level 20, when a support gem gets to level 20, you take one gem cutter prism and that support gem and you vendor them together and you get the same gem level one with 20 quality. Once you once you do that, so now you have a level one gem with 20 quality, then you you take that one and you level it again until it's level 20 with 20 quality. 
after you have six of those or however many you're leveling of that same kind, you take them and you Valorb them. And what do you want to hit? You want to hit level 21 with 20 quality. Because Valorbing can, can get one thing. If it hits level 19, don't level it to 20. It's not worth it. If it hits, uh, if it stays the same, sell it. If volatility stays at level 20 with 20 quality, I think it's 30 chaos, right? Yeah, it's 30 chaos. So, worst case scenario, you just lost, I don't know, some time. Best case scenario, you've earned 3 divines if it hits level 21. We lost another headhunter. How dare you. And that's uh, how you make passive income, right? My mana is gone. And I've so far sold five or six volatilities. Math goes one in four to one in six. Best case scenario is one in four. Worst case scenario is one in six. Um, unluckiest scenario is never, right? Because everything in this game is RNG. But that's what I would uh, suggest doing, right? And um, that's, of course, passive income. It's always good to, to run, like, I don't know, 50 to, to 60 maps and whatnot and uh, get a, a lucky hit on... Um, um, wow, nothing. And get a lucky hit on um, on a twenty one, than to than to like not level anything, right? See, they're already level eight. Yes, it's going to take a while for them to level, but and this does not work with um, with skill gems because skill gems cannot be reset to level 1 with 20 quality. For skill gems to give them quality, you have to hit them with um, 20 GCPs or do lab. That's for um, skill gems, right? And keep in mind, when you die, you do not lose uh, gem experience. So gems do not lose experience. Oh, well, bleed, build, go for citadel bow and not spine. Uh, highest physical damage. That's why. Highest, highest base physical damage. I mean, that's insane. I mean, that's insane. That's insane as shit. What the fuck? That's freaking insane. The hell? I mean, that that's an insane bow. It's still gonna sell. Wow. 68 div defiance. Well. You first want to get the good bow, right? Or you can go with a cheap bow. I have the cheap version if you want to test the build out. But if you want to go a little bit higher in, then spend 10 15 on a bow. I do not recommend. But you can always buy a better bow later, right? 
I forgot to do my filter. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll remember later. So here's how it is. Take Citadel, you remove the links, you go 550, trade. 550, you go filters, divine orb, max 10 div. Hello, Trash Mousy, how are you doing? And then, and then you don't sort down here, you sort up here. And there we go. Five Divines, Citadel Bow, Double Fizz, 30 chance to cause bleeding, Crit Multi is a dead mod, the reduced attribute requirements a dead mod, but good bow, 590, 597, 598, pardon. Yeah. Leveling is whatever. Leveling you just vendor buy bows. <laughs> It's it's irrelevant. So you can get here you go. This one for three. So you basically sort them like that, right? And that's how you buy them. You can use belt of the deceiver. Yes, I actually got got rid of it. I bought this one for eight today. I was looking uh, looking for a bow for a viewer, and then uh, this one dropped like half an hour earlier, and um, I bought it for eight. It was six length already. So that that was awesome. That gave me solid minimum 30%, maybe even higher. Because I uh, respect these two to the left side as well, which is crazy. So yeah. However, you don't have a right to say anything I cleared content with Ticket Bow. Shut up. <laughs> it was, yeah. I really want to sell this. But it's like, for the price that I paid that bow, the second bow was two and a half divines plus. Oh. Slavery Quine for Kyle. 40. But, um, like. To be honest, just do the regular tree. Yeah. I mean, keep in mind. If you're buying all the gear, then do this tree. Give me one hour. Yeah. If you're buying all the gear, do this tree. Or technically this tree. Technically, not this tree. I'm on a raider. I'm on a wrong character. Um, dude, this ice cream is so good. Do there, you go. this tree, right? There we go. You can do immediately. You can buy the the learning jewel. I can immediately just go here and put it there, right? Um, give me a second. Um, do you want the zero to hero? Here's zero to hero. This is the finished build, by the way. Actually, wait. Um, Pob? Uh, no. This one would be better. Never mind. Need to change that. I'll change those commands until next stream. Um, welcome. That's the finish tree. And this is the, the guide tree. 
So this is this is the guy the tree. The one that goes through everything, like leveling and, and whatnot, but beginner friendly. Okay. So this jewel you can you can get at level yeah, you can buy a natural instinct whenever and you can immediately put it there. Like <laughs> level 2, 3, <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or maybe 10, right? I lost count counting to 10. Jesus, help. <clears throat> And once you put that there, you're going to have phasing and everything else, and you'll be golden, right? That's if you want to rush. And then, if you get this, you have enough damage, just go straight to bleed nodes. Down, left. Up. To the... RT. That's that's it. <laughs> no thinking. Okay. So Because I have Vile of Transcendence. Graceful assault anoint. Oh, this one. Effect of Onslaught. I mean, it's okay, right? Get the Barbut Helmet. It's irrelevant. It's literally irrelevant. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, it. Okay, Aziri. This one is for you, Skull. And after this one, I'm closing the stream, okay? Impale gives a stack of based on your hit. So if you hit the target, it gets impale stack. Once you reach to your maximum number of impale stacks, every next attack that applies impale will detonate the first stack. Now, how is the damage calculated? The damage is calculated as a Physical reflect damage. That's impaled. So, you hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is your cap for impales. 7th attack detonates the first impale and puts another impale. Max stack is, I don't know. You can increase the, the stack artificially, so... 5-6 is the, 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 beginning, the beginning thing. Without increasing it. I think it's it's 5 or 6. For impale stacks. In the beginning. Um, Unless you're doing impale SRS poison. Then, or physical whatever. Like I don't know what you're doing. But uh, yes. Technically it would be. It would be worthless. Like. Impale does uh, more damage the more physical damage you do, right? So if your um, SRS is um, poison and doesn't do physical, but does poison, it technically doesn't do any physical, then it's worthless. Absolutely worthless. Okay, let's see. Let's see, skill. Do we do we get some TTs or do we not get some TTs? Oh my god, she's dead. What the fuck? When did I start doing this much damage? What the fuck? Where's the glass? Oh. 
When did they start doing this much damage? What the fuck? Hello? Knock knock? Nobody's home? Can't drop in level 80. Uh, if you can't drop in level 80, then... RIP, right? Ascend through the flames. Oh my god, that was delayed. Uh, wear glass. Asshole. Welp, our Titiziri didn't give us shit. He gave us a Gamba Ring. It is what it is. Can't say I haven't tried. Oh, by the way, uh, if somebody doesn't mind, can you please post the Discord link? Can you do the exclamation mark Discord? Hey, Whiskers, I'm doing great. How are you doing, my dude? A thin to the flame, yeah. Thank you. So, guys, feel free to join the Discord as... You know, this is going to be the last map for tonight's stream, and the next stream is Saturday. Because Friday I have a class that I have to attend, sadly. Aziri calls... Dude, let's, let's be real. If Aziri called you, would you obey? Would you? You're lying if you say you wouldn't. <laughs> of course, dude. So how have you been, Whisk? Have you been great? Have you been on the grind? Wow, cemetery map. Wow. Wow. Dude, can I get a tier 16? Nope. I removed the... Um, stupid thing. Paused PoE for a bit. Ah, to not get oversaturated. I understand, I understand. Horizon Zero Dawn. Ooh, I finished that game ages ago. That was an easy game, man. Uh, apparently, Forbidden West is coming on PC. However, I'm gonna pirate that. I don't care about buying games anymore. Oh, yeah, Raw Exalted Orb. Let's go, dude. Second one today. Hello, hello. Where are my Divine? Where are my Divine Orb? Dude, never lucky, man. I never get a Divine Orb. Never a divine job, man. Imagine getting a divine job. Playing on hard. Yeah, I finished it on hard. It's it's extremely easy. It's a fun game. It's a really fun game when it comes to like all the shooting and everything. PC. Yeah, of course. The problem is, the problem is when you are streaming it, you are technically not allowed to, well, not technically, you are not allowed to stream pirated content. However, shh. And now that there's many of you here on the channel, you guys can report me if I'm doing that kind of thing. Bad, bad chat. Reporting a streamer for trying to save money. Bad, bad chat. Um, there are uh, versions of the game that are pirated versus the versions of the game that are not. So Twitch can get a hold of developers if there's like reports and whatnot. They can get a hold of developers and then. So yeah, they you can you can find out pretty easily if somebody is streaming pirated content. Now the question is, does Twitch care? Usually, no. That's that's a usual. But they start caring if they get a lot of reports. That's why I bought Dark Souls games because uh, Dark Souls um, people are very um, friendly people. The Dark Souls community is 
God awful. God awful to say the least. Yes, Twitch, Twitch only really cares there or if a game developer threatens them to like stop doing because of like them not enforcing rules and blah blah blah. But yeah. Oh my god, a level. Another one. And another one bites and another one bites. Another one bites those. So that would be 417 ex million experience per hour. Dude, the, the, the leveling is extremely fast. Like, it's insane. But I agree. I agree with you, Mas. It's just uh, Twitch only does does care when it actually impacts their, their wallets and whatever. Well, let's see. Uh, I need to clean this one else. I'm gonna dodge. Dodge. Let's see. Whoop, whoop. Forbidden Tome. I still need to do that freaking piece of shit. Let's see. Skeletal Atrophy Renewal Call to the Slaughter. I mean, 46 Chaos. Is this a minion, minion thing? Yeah, minion needs 12. No, interesting. Hmm, there's something with minions that minions need 12. That's not bad, right? If you need that, that's cool. But minions need 12. There you go, my money maker. Um, oh, you don't use skeletons. I mean, you can sell it, right? Mm. The group just appear more often, more kinds of The rooms used. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Wait a second. I haven't played in Incursion League, right? I've played before the leagues were introduced in the game. And I came back in Metamorph. So I gotta I gotta read that one slowly. So Rooms used to appear more often with more connected rooms to them. You know that's still the case. You can make more connections to one room depending on how the how it starts so as an example uh not all rooms get connected there are certain amount of connections that you start with i think like five six connections that you start with every um every uh incursion opening like every time the first incursion opens right so you start with base five to six and then every room that you get, total 12 rooms, gives you one with additional chance of giving the second, never more than second, um, key. If you need a cluster, use it, of course. So, what you can do is you can, you can also make rooms that are like, um, I'll show you a, a troll room, right? Um, you can make an atlas that's like this, or the, the rooms that are like this. <laughs> is if you get the same room more often. Than... Yes. Yes, kill. That still is the same. My logo is a bit sussy. What, what do you mean my logo is a little bit sussy? Which one? The one behind me? Or... If you, if you get a room more than once, yes, you get more keys, more doors can open, right? So as an example, if I got Catalyst of Corruption more than once, so you can get it when it's like Antichamber into Catalyst of Corruption 1, into Catalyst of Corruption 2, into Catalyst of Corruption 3, and all three, four times that it drops, it can drop up to two keys, right? Unless they're all open and then it cannot drop keys. Like this one, this one cannot drop keys. So you can you can make temples like that or you can make temples like this. See? Some rooms have two, four, five connections. Because I dropped this room multiple times. Keys are connection skill. We are talking about the same thing. Keys that you drop are the same thing. I'm we're, I, I'm explaining the thing, so.
can't roll it twice on the same map. Uh, you can get uh, you can get the same room twice in the same map, Reina. If all other rooms are like tier three, and uh, that's the rule, right? Yes, you can still upgrade them more times. You can upgrade them to one, to two, to three. Or if you take Atlas passives, um, these two. So this one is non-resident architects are those that can be killed to upgrade the room. This, These two nodes give you a 50% chance from room tier one to be upgraded to tier three. The other one makes your room tier, that's tier one. If you change the room, the room is not tier 1, but tier 2. It, it adds a level. So you can upgrade them regularly. 1 to 2 to 3. Or you can go 1 to 3. Or you can go 2 to 3. If you did 1 to 2 to 3, right? So it doesn't have to be... Like, I, I, don't, I don't understand now where you're stuck on. That's what I don't understand now. Okay, I took everything here. Technically, I need this jewel, but that's later. I need this. So this is 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Ouch. That's ouch. Or I can do that earlier, right? Could just remove this and do these. It's been cursed. It's more cursed, more likely to appear as an option in the map. Then ask it like that. You didn't ask it like that. No, they all have the same chance. They cannot. They cannot roll. I I'll have to read. Give me a second. Let's see if you asked it like that. Rooms appear to more often with more connected rooms to them. Rooms used to appear more often. I did not understand the way how you said it. Holy shit, and now I did. Okay, you did. Mm hmm? That room, um, I don't know if you hear, if you heard me, Reina, completely. That room only works. That rule only works if you everything else is sub tier three. If by any stroke of luck you got rooms to upgrade all of them to tier three, whenever a room is tier three, it cannot roll. There's basically a, the the pool of, of how it drops, so like the more connections the better the temple, but there's no like I've tested so many temples, there's no correlation and causation right now between if this room is connected. Like if this room is connected everywhere else that this room is going to drop, right? Like there's no, there's no direct causation and correlation from what I've done. However, there are certain rules, like Reina said, if you got, let's say, these four rooms in a map, next time you go, you are getting one different, and then you have 50-50 to jump in. Then do not interact with the here again, right? You do the incursion, then do not interact with Alva. It can appear again. Ma One second, what? You do the incursion, then do not interact with Alva. And it can appear next map first encounter. If you go in a map, and you click on Alva, she will show you the, what the room is. 
once you see what the room is, you can freely not do Alva. You can open a new map, a new Alva, and she will show you the same room. That one is true. But if you enter the incursion room and you clean it out, regardless of you talking to Alva to the rest in the rest of the map or not, that room is completed and it will not show again. However, which I've tested, if you complete the room and you log out before leaving the room, you get zero loot out of it. So you need to physically let their timer run out or you need to leave or you need to die for the rewards to drop on the ground. If you log out, no rewards. I found out the hard way. You mean like you do, you get the corruption chamber, then you don't do Alva, you open a new map. Mm, no, I don't think so. Like if you did the room, the second thing in sequence is go going to be, the second thing in sequence is going to be set in stone, so you won't be able to, to get it again. Like, the second thing in sequence is, like, it goes in a sequence. So, what you're saying is, you open up... If she gives you room, it's locked in. Yeah, regardless if you do it or not. It's like... I, I, don't, I don't understand what you're trying to put down. That's my that's my problem right now. I do not understand what you're trying to put down. Like my hands are slippery. I'm not catching what you're dropping, right? Talk to next time. New map. Open new map. I mean, that should not happen like that. It should be set in stone the moment you talk with the first one. The sequence is there. That sounds completely iffy. Maybe it's maybe it resets every every zone what rooms are in the pool, right? But that sounds completely iffy. To me, that sounds more like an exploit than like uh, an uh, a mechanic that could be used, right? That's how it sounds to me. It sounds more like an exploit than uh, than the the mechanic. Because for it to to reset the pool of rooms with you upgrading the room and whatnot, sound sounds like an exploit. It's a potential chance extra, yes, but here's here's another thing. Let's say let's say you are completely right. And let's say that happens. How many maps must you open so that chance appears again? 
if we're playing the game of chances, how many room, how many maps must you reset? I'm curious. Now I'm curious. How does speaking with maximum only one spray area, for example, if to plant the chamber to craft from chamber? Hey Eric! Made a comment here about playing champions then there is Um because like the the reason is number one, I haven't tested it out for champion. Number two, I don't see anything useful the champion has that um, could could be done in softcore, right? Like, well, you can get the bleed pops as fifth ascendancy, right? Or you can use hemophilias as uh, fifth ascendancy. You can make it work. It's just I am like it. It feels too iffy to do, right? No challenger charges. No extra damage on um, maximum frenzy charges. So, like, you lose the complete, like, ascendancies there, then, um, what else is there? Like, you basically, you basically lose what makes, what makes it, um, a bleed bow, right? So, you could go more, more tanky. So, that's the, that's the case. So, you're going, you're going with more tankiness. Then, I haven't found anything useful for champion what's champion going to get yeah you can get uh, uh fortification you can get uh, adrenaline and what's not Th those are irrelevant things right Th those are not going to help you right mm, no you're wasting time with the champion uh, i have had people come to to the channel saying that it's completely viable to do um ssf for Gladiator, not for the champion. So there's there's that. Now, if you find that Hemophilia is in SSF, then you can change the route, yada yada, blah blah blah, but Gladiator works the best. You can also get Gladiator to be tankier and yada yada. And you, you can, I don't know why you would want to go with, uh, unless you're, pardon, unless you're playing hardcore. That's a different thing, but if you're playing hardcore, I would just ask why. Like that would be that would be my question because champ uh, champion has a lot of tankiness, but has no damage, and because you need damage earlier on, especially to like clear content later on, it's it's irrelevant. Later on, you can change ascendancies, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, if, if you want to play it like that, you can. Hemophilias are very good, right? But, um, what's it called? Uh, Gladiator is faster, more damage, has the pops, if you, like, that frees your glove slot, right? That, that frees your gloves completely. Um, you are still going spell suppression anyways. And if you're playing SSF, you're, if you're playing um, softcore SSF, why would you care about tankiness, right? If you're playing hardcore SSF, that one I am not touching, not even like this. 
I'm not touching hardcore, not even like that. Because I think whoever plays hardcore in Path of Exile is a masochist. Bleed Pop Flame Jewels. Yeah, yeah, Bleed Pop Flame Jewels. Yeah, yeah, skill, yeah. If you're doing a separate. But that's that's a that's a separate thing. I would still go go gladiator. I mean you can always respec in any lab, so it, it's it's irrelevant. The real play is doing impale rain of arrows. No, that's a real a real player. Yeah. I'd spawn and incursion for corruption chain in the same zone similarly. Once corruption chain is upgraded to catalyst of corruption, no incursions into the catalyst of corruption is possible. Same. They should have said that's tier three. Once the room is generated by generating interconnecting from the change, entering a new area will retain the choice. Yes. I guess for me, I would like a strong defensive guy to build offense on. As a strong offensive class to build defense on. Uh, if you want that, then go. Then literally go champion or jug with rain, storm rain, poison, herald of agony. You or champ Zizeran's champion elemental or not elemental? What's it called? Explosion, explosive arrow, and kaboom, dude. It's like, I made a fun build that's simple to play. It was completely unintentional to make it SSF viable. It's completely SSF viable. So that's a bonus. But Gladiator just makes it, just makes it run smooth. Try it. See how it is. You can always change the ascendancies the same class, right? Yeah, once the room is generated, my interactive with it cannot be changed. Entering new area will retain the choice. So incursion is going to tier 3. But that's what I that's what I've I've said though. Yeah. Get your playstyle. If you think something's better or not, feel free feel free to to update. I didn't even think about the champion option seriously. And split arrow splitting does not work in regards to sustainability. It works in regards to damage, but sustainability is what you want. That's basically that's basically because of the amount, massive amount of leech. If Alva gave you an incursion to favorable room and it needs an upgrade after the incursion, do not run more incursions here because the same room can be visited twice the same area. Starting a new area will allow that room to be chosen again. This is a trade-off is require more Alva encounters or missions to complete a full temple this way instead of completing all the rooms in each area. What may not be efficient, it will improve the chances to reach a fully upgraded room of the desired type. That's completely fair. I did not know about this. I did not understand your your explanation, Reina, but now I do. So that's that's completely fine. I will include that in the in the revamped uh, guide. Definitely. I did not know that because and because I've never done it. And also, this number three, I think, I like, honestly, here's the thing. If you're doing this, especially now that you have 100% chance to hit Alva. Cuckoo, right? Cuckoo. It's like, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no freaking sense to do, right? Because by the time by the time you you get the favorable room again, do you know when it would make sense if you do it, let's say in the last in the last portion, in the last third of it, right? Last four rooms. Like that that's where it would make sense, right? Yeah, all it costs is a blank red map, but like the cost versus reward, what you can get through running a map versus what you cannot. It's like, do you waste the time or do you not waste the time? Do you waste the time? Do you not waste the time? If you don't want to waste the time, I mean, if you're fishing for the room, yeah, but like, flimsy tap, nice. Uh, oh, you go sleep. Okay, good night, good night, SFK. But here's the thing, uh, scarab. Incursion. Final architect will drop an itemized temple. Itemized temples dropped in the area generated based on current temple layout, but with randomized room tiers, right? So 
you can run this now. It's like, like, why would you? Let's say. Uh, I mean, it's, it's irrelevant. It's it's like. If you open an Alva and you get a corruption room, you can put an incursion scarab of time timelines. Yeah, it's a mechanic, it exists, it can be used. Whether or not it's worth using, that's on you. I personally think it's not worth using because by the time you get the same temple, let's assume you're not running the map, okay? Let's assume you're not running the map, but you are entering a map Finding Alva, leaving map, entering map, finding Alva, leaving map. That's like 1 in 12. 1 in 12 to hit your room twice. And then it becomes 1 in 11. 1 in 12 again. Right? So 1 in 12 to hit a room. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 1 in 11, pardon. 1 in 11 to hit a room. And let's say you hit a room, you leave, you enter new map, you don't, you leave, you enter, you don't, you leave, you enter, you don't, you leave, you enter, you don't, you leave, you enter. It's 1 in 11. By the time you found a room again, you've wasted so much time that it would be better so you... you could have like used the the same scarab four times, right? Or three times, maybe even. Four times because if you're running three three uh, pointers, not four pointers. So that's that's where I'm like thinking and thinking on 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 what to do. Like you could you could run the scarabs and 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 stuff, but it's. I'm, I'm glad you pointed this out. It's actually a very good pointer. However, I do think that's completely unnecessary, completely stupid to do. It's a complete and utter waste of time. Like... And also, what are, what are the lab... What are the rooms that you want to fish, right? Court of Sealed Death. Eh. Hall of Champions drops nothing, Museum of Artifacts nothing, Worlds, Glittering Halls nothing, Wealth of the Wall can drop a Void, re Voidborn Reliquary Key, Chamber of Fire nothing, those that drop weapons, items, um, and jewelers can drop synthesized ones, but rarely. Dory you want to, you want to, to fish, Locust fish, Apex of Ascension, so-so, House of the Others, eh, Aziri, maybe. Aren't running scarabs and you were just running maps. It makes sense to do map three. Yeah, I mean you can do you can do the scarab in, in um in map three, right? To get the same temple again. But it's like there's nothing specifically that you can fish out from the I would argue I would argue your point lastly when we had sextants. I would argue your point lastly when we had sextants that that would be um, maybe better strategy for a certain amount of time. But here's the thing. Yeah, you can. You can. That would that would make more sense than running it like in the first. Like it, running it the last would make more sense. However, we're talking oh, that story. That's we're talking hundred and forty chaos, fifty chaos, three, two, one. And 145 chaos. So you're you're you are talking 140 chaos. Is 140 chaos worth potentially running into one in 
eight, let's say good good case scenario, one in eight or one in six, one in seven or one in five, pardon, scenario to get the room again. Like, is it potentially good to run into it? Let's assume you do the map, right? Depends on where it it doesn't depend where you are in the league. It's never worth to do that. What do you mean your currency starved? Just buy 10, 10, uh, 10 Chaos Chronicles of Azoatl with Apex of Azoatl and you're going to make currency. Like stop trying to fish them. It's never worth it, Reyna. I would strongly disagree. If it was like 10 divines for a temple, then I would say yes. So you can get a PC upgrade. That's good. Uh, what kind of upgrade? That's that's a that's a nice one. That's a divine, yeah. Like here's the thing: if you want to fish for currency, if you actually want to fish for currency, do temples. Just buy a temple. Just go Control D. Buy Apex of Azoatl and just pff, Chronicles of Azoatl, pardon. Chronicles of Azoatl with uh, Apex of Azoatl and just crrk. That's not your point. Your point is it's worth restarting maps and doing the maps over and over again just so you can get to make a temple that you can sell for 140 chaos. But if you do, like I did. 10 or 20 of these today. Regular ones. Regular ones. I've dropped 3 or 4 185 Chaos uh, um, adorned uh, pieces from the boss itself. So let's say it's 1 in 5, right? It's 1 in 5. If it is 1 in 5 and you run them every 15 minutes, let's say roughly every hour, hour and a half, you're going to get the Divine. I'm looking at it from a beginner with no liquid currency and what you're suggesting is not beginner friendly. What you're suggesting is completely a bad thing to do. Because running a map, like running a then make chaos recipes. I'll get to you, Apollo. Then do chaos recipes. Running a map, restarting maps and doing over and over to fish for extra currencies. Please don't do that. You're wasting time. You if like here's here's how let me just put this this to, to to freezer. Here's how here's how it works. You not running the temple, you lose a temple. You can do the temple, you don't have to sell the temple. When you do the temple, you can earn money in the temple. You will never lose money while you run a temple. Never. Like as an example, if you if you open an Alva map, if you open a map with Alva, right, with hundred percent chance to contain Alva, and you choose to skip a temple, you are skipping on a currency that you could be getting. Like you're skipping on it just so that you could fish out. Let's say your fishing works in one in five maps. Let's say one in five maps. If you have Alva points. Let's say one in, one, yeah, one in five maps, because the first one is the sixth map, right? So one in five, it works. So you get your first Alva, it gives you the room, the corruption room, that's good. You do that, and then you re you start restarting, okay? So that's your first that you've missed one third. Second, you didn't get it. Two. Third, you didn't get it, Foop, full temple. And you get it up to your sixth one, you could potentially have two full temples done. Here's another thing. That's why there are three rooms that we are fishing for, which is Corruption Room, Doriani Room, and Apex of Ascension. Apex of Ascension, you can get Tempered Flesh, you can get Vial of Transcendence, they are not 50 chaos, by the way, they are 100 chaos. And you can sell them for 100 chaos. Did you get the Ice Bite? Combustion Spellblade. Okay, now just Divines. Any Spellblade enjoyers, yeah, true. So, like, if you don't get any of those rooms, 
which happened to me twice out of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Out of 38 temples, 2 had nothing, 6 had Apex of Ascension only. The rest are here. I haven't sold. Today, I have been buying Apex of Azoatls, like Chronicles of Azoatl with full opening 10 chaos each. And out of those, like, out of that, I pulled out multiple divines worth of things. Basically, I got this bow for free. I'm not counting Uber drops, right? I'm not counting the the, the Mega Giga drop, uh, the belt. I'm not counting the um, Mirror card, Mirror Shard card. I'm not counting the Mega drops. I'm just counting the regular drops. There's one in five or one in four to drop the um, the piece for Adorned. Fuck you. Yes, yes, she's, she's just going to kill me. So there's one in four or one in five chance to drop the piece of Adorn. That's 180 to 190 Chaos. So you pay 10 Chaos. And what did I receive in, in, uh, in return? I've received experience. I've received items. You know, like, you can, you can sell these items. I've received gems here and there. Like, you can get something out of every Apex of Azuatl. Now, the problem is, if you're struggling to make 100 Chaos, here's the thing what's going to give you more money than selling a temple, than fishing, pardon, for the temple for... Uh, for what's it called? Uh, for Alva. If you're trying to fish for Alva, don't do Alva. Do Blight. If you're trying to fish for currency, instead of actually doing the mechanic, do it properly. Do Blight. Take all the points for Blight. What are you going to get from Blight? You are going to get Blighted maps. So every map... You do both. Good. Every map you're going to get blighted maps. And you sell them. 10, 20, however many it is for one divine. GG will play it. Yeah, if you... I... Okay. Then here's another one that you can add. Add these nodes. These six nodes. Add heist. Add these heist ones. Add these heist ones. And these ones because they are close to, to this one. Like to the five here and then here for lockpicking, right? Add those... 5 Chaos pay map device. If you get an open contract, which you will get from time to time, it's 100 Chaos-ish. Between 80 and 120. Rogue markers will always sell. Like, out of everything that I've spent on Heist, this is these, these are the Rogue markers that I receive. That's what? That's one Divine. One Divine, two Divines, two Divines of Rogue markers. And then, however many open contracts, right? So, like, what you are doing is extremely inefficient. Extremely inefficient. And I would never suggest anyone do that. Like, never. Not even my worst enemy. Because what you are doing in completely free environment is you are wasting time. You could be doing better things than doing that. You can earn more currency not to doing Alva and fishing Alva and respecking into um, Harvest. I did that. I did it. You can earn more currency doing Heist, Harvest, Blight, Searing Exarch than touching Alva at all. There are no arguments. I've tested thing I haven't tested the fishing strategy because I think it's it's stupid honestly as you were always getting a, a temple that you will get money out of right I would rather take 40 chaos guaranteed every three maps than take potential 140 chaos with a chance of every six maps taking the harvest and profit you can speak into harvest and profit the problem with harvest is you have to sell the you have to sell the the currency right Expedition you can also do, right? 
So you have to sell these. But are you selling the life force or are you using the life force, Ray? If you're using the life force, you're doing it wrong. End of the story. If you don't know what you're doing and what you should be using the life force on, don't look at what I am doing. I am actually making content for you guys. I don't care about currency. I could take this and boop and destroy them, right? Like, I don't care. Stop using it if you want to earn money. You can craft, you can do shit. Stop using it. It's the same rule with ultimatum. Don't. If you want to make money, you have to sell shit. I know that you use it, but let's see here. This is a 30 to 40 chaos, 30 to 40 chaos uh, jewel. How many rerolls did it cost? I, I can tell you, it cost on average double than what it would cost, than what it would cost, Jesus Christ, than what it would cost to buy it outright. You're wasting money by using harvest juice on cluster jewels. It doesn't work fully. Use them a few times. If it doesn't work, reroll, go next. Like, scour, go next, whatever. Harvest makes sense if you sell the juice. If you don't know how to use it, don't use it. Yeah, I know, I know. I know that, you, that you've actually done that. Like, it's completely fine. Um, now, let's go back to, to your, your thing with the PC. Going from the uh, i7 10700 with a 2060 to Ryzen 9 79. Uh, don't do Ryzen 9 7900X. Um, don't do 7900X, okay? If you want to do, do 7900X3D or 7800X3D. 7900X hits a weird spot where uh, it has a little bit less performance, right? It has less performance than X3D counterparts, but it has more cores, right? Like, X3D is what you want. The regular X versions are if you want to use them for a cr a data crunching, basically. Like, X3D are your best gaming chips. Hit the room in the first one. That's it. If you don't enjoy running temples, just make a temple sell 10c. Like, it's... Like, he, here, here is the, here's the argument, Reyna. Here's the argument. And I'm going to be blunt, okay? Like, here's the argument. You're struggling with currency and you're trying to fish the currency. I am doing shit in making currency. Which one is more effective? Uh, I wouldn't recommend going 7950X or X3D at all. If you want gaming performance. If you want anything else, then that's debatable, but yeah. So, like, we can compare running ones or not running ones. It's like... I'm telling you how to efficiently and properly make currency. You have to grind for it. Sadly, you have to. It doesn't take you long, but you can do it, right? It's easy to do it. Yes, but here's the thing. Do you have... Do you have... Uh, Mr. I will one-shot you. I will one-shot you if you, if you let me do it. Do you have the chests? Like... Not running and fishing for it is worse than running and doing it properly. It's worse. Sorry. It is. Because, you know, like we can make we can make the next 10 temples. It's it's fine. And we can compare. How many maps took you to, to do 10 temples? How many maps took me to do 10 temples? Get one quad tab free. We fill everything in a quad tab. Let's see who made more money. I guarantee you, you're going to make less. We can take the same atlas tree. Same everything. Same atlas tree. Same map rolling. Same everything. We can do the same. I guarantee you, you're going to lose money. 100%. 
Of course, there's RNG with uh, Blight map dropping. But when it comes to Alva, you're losing money. 100%. If you enjoy doing that, do so. But then don't be like, I am, I am, I'm struggling to earn currency. You're not. You're choosing to struggle to earn currency. There's a difference. There's a sad difference between choosing to struggle and actually struggling. Right? So, if you want to earn money, you just gotta do stuff. Hey, Sriki. It's irrelevant what you do, you just gotta do stuff. Um, Apollo, what are your options for the, the CPUs and whatnot? For CPU, the GPU, and... GPU is fine. I, I run the same GPU, right? Like, um... But the, the CPU, I would go 7800X3D, 7900X3D. I wouldn't go 7950X3D. Like, I, I wouldn't go that one. That or a 9900K. Uh, no, 3900K is shit compared to AMD. Any POG sales or upgrades? Yes. No, <laughs> we're killing bandits. We are killing bandits. We are killing bandits. And I also dropped a partial mirror card, Siriki. So you're doing a pre built, Apollo. So pre built, you have the option of going 7900X. Or 7950X. Uh, not House of Mirrors, a different card. Um, unrequited love. Not selling it right now because it's going to like mirror is going to up to go up in price. But one out of sixteen for nineteen mirror shards, so this is worth more than a mirror shard. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So let's see. I gotta check. Let me check the the cash on seventy nine hundred. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is it 7900? Yeah. It's not that the options are limited, it's just they're not doing X3D CPU. Like, X3D is cheaper than this. 64 megs of L3 cash down from 92. Keep in mind, 3K budget is insane budget, right? And they're ripping you off for the, for the budget. Right? Like, keep in mind, every time you order a pre-built, you're getting ripped off. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who, who is, who is making the pre-built. Every time you order a pre-built, you are getting ripped off. However, you are paying for their knowledge. But you are still getting ripped off. So, like, building a PC doesn't take that long. It takes two hours of your time. But if you're fine with, with doing it, um, I mean, yeah, still going with 7900X would be fine. That's a shitty play. I mean, if you can order, yeah, if you can order from uh, from a US place, I just wanted to say Starforge. I know it's Asmund's company and, and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. But it's like... Um, so if you have 3k budget, right? Voyager 2. So this one would be better. View details. Do they only have Intel options or AMD options? 7800X3D. 7900XT, not XTX. So a little bit worse. 32 gigs of DDR5 6K CL38. Okay. 
B650P Wi-Fi, 2 terabytes PC, IE NVMe. Cable mod sleeve cable. Yeah, dude, for 3K. For 2.5K, actually. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. 2.5K. There you go. Like getting getting 7800X3D would be would be better, right? Like every single yup, every single pre-built company is overpriced. This does not include the price of shipping. This does not include the price of anything else. However, here's one little thing. For Starforge. Prebuilt is slightly cheaper. There's no way. Prebuilt is never cheaper. Um, Starforge. Was it Starforge PCs or Starforge PC? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, following Forge. Starforge systems. There you go. Starforge systems. Um. You can ask them if you can find deals on parts that almost equals odds right now. I do not believe you. There is no way that a uh, pre-built, like there is, like unless they are getting rid of the inventory insanely on in pre-built factories, there is no way in hell. The hell would freeze over first before. The pre-built PCs are cheaper than uh, regular PCs. Keep in mind, pre-built PCs make the same components unless you're ordering specialized parts. You can also ask them to, to build your PC, right? That's what they are doing on their channels. So they, they build the... Like, you can ask them to build your PC, right? And honestly, they do take care of shit. So if you ask me, I would go with this one, right? 7800X3D with the... They, they are doing liquid cooling. That's completely fine. Um, 32 gigs of RAM. That's fine. 7900XT. That's good. Not as good as XTX. Difference is like 10%. But... Way better CPU than 7900X. So, like, here's, here's, here's the thing, folks. Even though you guys are in the US, right? You have an insane amount of deals you need to remove the rocket p what what do you mean the rocket p also what does this thing have 2900 i7 with 4070 ti this is a weaker pc by the way this is a weaker pc than the previous one and it's more expensive Navigator Elite is, is better than this one. Your logo is a... Ah! Nyeh. I honestly don't care. <laughs> I Personally, I think that everyone has uh, the knowledge and ability to, to, make a, to build a PC. And if you don't, you can learn on the internet in half an hour, right? Like, if you want something that's long-term viable and something that works perfectly fine for a long-standing time, I strongly suggest learning about that. Hands down, best league. What did you get? Sulfite Ember. One map and back to Delft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> grab your pickaxe and go to town, right? So, when it comes to when it comes to those like pre-built PCs, pre-built PCs were never um, a good option, right? They were never a good option. You always had a problem with pre-built PCs. The thing where they would cheap out. Do my cut coin.
Yeah, but then you are not comparing apples to apples. You're comparing apples to oranges. Right, Apollo? Like, you're then comparing apples to oranges. Because if you don't cut corners or whatever, I, I can build you a PC on PC part picker that's going to last you for the next 10 years. You just have to assemble it. You just have to press order parts and assemble it. Do you want me to, to assemble your PC? If you know how to assemble it, I can give you the parts. We can pick out the parts. I can give you the parts. And GG will play. Like. Dude, easy. Easy. Start your build. Here you go. 7800 See, it's even first. Click. CPU cooler. NHU12S. <laughs> Sorry. Where's the... Uh, NHU12S. Uh, does this one come with both or does it come with one? No, it comes with one. Okay, so we go with Redux. And... Uh, what do you mean compatibility? Compatibility is good. Um, I forgot what is the stupid case called. Give me a second. Uh, NAFK1 Redux. Uh, so that's a fan, right? Where is that? Memory, CPU cooler. I mean, case fans? Do they count it as that? N A F K no. Really? N F P twelve. P twelve Redux. Interesting, it doesn't come with attachment things. Huh. Does this come with the full parts? Let's see. NHU12S Chromex Black. I don't know how that is because you need you need this set to complete the 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 fan connections, right? This gives you extra extension cables and whatnot, but uh, you can't select that. No, no, no. Noctua does come with fans, but this is for secondary fan installation on their Redux series. Their Redux series is cheaper because it doesn't come with. Uh, installation brackets and everything uh, for the second fan that's what you buy what you buy separately right See, like the the one thing that you would get with the uh, uh, with the uh, Redux, right? This one, you get a cooler, right? You get a cooler, you get a fan, you get whatever, and then you need this this thing, uh, NAFK One Redux, which is called uh, Second Fan Upgrade Kit. That's if you want, you don't need it. That's whatever. Let's uh, let's not add this one. Let's add the. The, add the regular one this one that you can always add whenever you want it can work with one cooler perfectly fine 
Motherboard. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, actually, B650 Gaming XAX uh, V2. Click. I have the X670. Uh, it's. I wanted this one. It's whatever. It's the same shit. Memory. DDR5, speed 6000, 6400, two times. No, there's no need to go 224, go 232. Yes, remember how heavy wanted to finish the stream, yeah. True. And the latency 32. 36 128 gig to burn money you don't need that there you go storage I think it's either 970 Evo Plus or 980 Pro. That's the the one. I have a data. Or you can go. Was it 1750? 750? Uh, what's it called? The Kingston one. Never mind. Um, storage. Let's see. 2280. Capacity. 1,000 gigabyte to 2,000 gigabyte price. Uh, this one's okay. Team groups okay. Intel 6MP is okay. No, there's no need to spend any more. I mean, you can go on Samsung if you really want to, right? Let's see. Let's go on Samsung because let's let's keep it like like that, right? Samsung. Nine seventy Evo Plus is better than nine eighty. I think, or was it 980? Uh, 990 is not that good. Yeah, this is Gen 3, like, wh what are you guys smoking? Um, PCI 3, the speed is, if I'm not mistaken, okay, 28, what did they do for this? Yeah, yeah, as I said, as I said, uh, the 970 EVO Plus is better, add that one, that's one, add additional storage, now we do two terabytes. Third time today is this I mean that's the mines two thousand to three thousand I don't know how it's going to do um for these bigger ones we can go with Samsung as well now because it has another 970 Evo Plus 150. I think that one should be as well fine. Yes. Okay, 970 Evo Plus there. And then that's for the M uh, M.2, another M.2. And now 
Let's go with just regular SSD storage of like four terabytes because you're going to like spend, right? So you don't have to worry about shit. This one is uh, whatever, what whichever you you pick out, it's it's fine. Just don't pick any like of the uh, crucial MX five hundred is okay. QVO no eight seventy Evo yes. They were like eight seventy Evos. Yeah, that's fine, and that's four terabytes. 870 Evo, so it's all Samsung. I know it's it's pricey, but this is a basically solution for a long, long time. You don't have to buy the the four terabyte one. It's this is fine. The first one is for Windows. The second one is for games, and the third one is raw storage. You can do hard disk. Both are fine. Video card 7900 XTX. I can't remember that. I can't. Um, recommend that enough however imagine <laughs> it's either sapphire pulse power color red devil is the one that i have like this is the one that i have sapphire pulse is 200 more that's not worth it Sapphire Nitro is even more. Nah. Power Color Red Devil, dude. It's a lovely card. There you go. Boom. Mm, what do you mean? Why partition? It's not partition. It's it's three separate ones. It's three separate ones. Why would you why would you have a hard drive unless you are doing Something like I'm doing, recording footage and, and whatnot. Like, and keeping hard storage on it. Like, this is, like, either an SSD or a hard drive, depending on the hard storage, right? Uh, case. Now, case. I cannot recommend this case enough. Like, I cannot recommend this case enough. This is the case that I have. Like, this is the freaking case that I have. I cannot recommend this case enough. It's insanely good. It's insanely good. H7 flow. It's amazing. You have a lot of, like, everything to work in. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's amazing, though. <laughs> it works perfectly fine. I don't know if you've seen my my like uh, Discord images or or whatever that I've posted on or maybe Twitter images, right? Let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't post them on Twitter, right? I posted them on Discord. So if you go to my Discord and if you go to General, uh, okay, show message, the path system, ban. Compromising hack account, delete message, seven days ban. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, good. Um, has... Ah, image. Image. And then we go... Uh, no, that's the other case. There you go. Like, look at that. Look at that space, right? Like, look at that space. You can you can work with whatever the fuck you want. It's like, dude. That's how my how my system looks. This could have been done a little bit better, but that's how my system looks. This is the same card. Like, it's an amazing freaking case. It's an amazing, easy to clean, easy to maintain. It's an amazing case. Um. Power supply, however, I cannot recommend Seasonic enough. Cable management. Ah, I like my cable management. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, 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 ah. Expensive power supply, by the way. We're gonna we're gonna go with that one.
There you go. I enjoy power supply to last you. And which which one is? Uh, why are there two of the same ones? Newegg and Amazon. Okay, so the second one is Amazon, right? 439. There you go. 439. Add. That's the power supply that I have. So clean. It took me. It took me a bit. It took me a bit. It took me. A bit. This power supply is a rock. <gasps> Hog, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. Go. <laughs> Have you managed to make uh, the cyan work? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everyone. Welcome to um, PC building time with Heavy. With uh, We're trying to build Apollo PC. That's what we're trying to do. We've been leveling a lot today. We've been doing, we're doing a lot of uh, fancy shit with Alva and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, for the, thank you for the follow, Shimi. <laughs> Took you a while. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we're now building Apollo's PC. And this is my PC, basically, that uh, that I've built myself, right? Well, one of the two. Changing to armor stacker. Do you have currency for armor stacking? Cluster jewels are expensive. Shh. Unless you craft them yourself. Like, cluster jewels are expensive if you don't craft them yourself. Even when you craft them yourself, they can be... But hey, Lord Enki, um, this is the cooler. Noctua U12s. If <laughs> sandbags and glass, nice. They, they are they are properly expensive. They are properly expensive. Okay, and you don't need an operating system. You can get that one easy. And now monitor is whatever. Case fans. My thoughts on water cooling, I had a water cooler die never again. Only Noctua. That's my that's my <laughs> case. Unless you're doing custom, there's only a few few water coolers I would recommend. Aware of the Ah, okay. If you're aware of the challenges, then great. Then great. Lovely. Um there are only a few water cooler coolers I would recommend, and that's um uh, What's it called? H115i from Corsair. So H110i and H115i from Corsair. Anything under, no. Anything above, no. Until you get to custom. But honestly, it's air. When? Yeah. It's when it will leak. Hey, Faye. So the case fans, we go Arctic. Now... Was it P12s or F12s? I think it's F12s. Yes, F12s. These are cheap, efficient. I have a lot of them in my system. So Arctic F12s, 5-pack. 3-front, 2-back. That's fine, 5-pack. There you go, boom. Add. And here's the, here's the whole system for 3K. No worries. Thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Seriously. We, we are going to do a few Alvas. We just have to finish building this. So this is basically the system, okay? Things that raise the price. Hey, Lilvian. <laughs> yeah, it, you're always waiting for one bad day. Yeah, you're always waiting for one bad day. Bad day. So this is my uh, main rig. And my stream PC is this. So this is my stream PC. Um, the reason why the D15S, the Noctua 2, 2 tower cooler is there is because I have a 16 core processor there for stream, for encoding and everything. And a 1070 and a capture card, right? But it's only a cheap case, cheaper power supply. I'll have to change that, but we'll see. I have to sell the, the previous parts. And this is my main rig. With 7800X3D and with it's it's standing like this there we go and with uh, 7900 xtx 32 gigs of uh, ddr5 ram so yeah and also apollo you don't have to go with uh, the four terabyte hard drive you can go um ssd you can go hardware these are basically the parts that i have just so you know 
7800 XT3, U12 SRX, I don't have B650 Gaming X, I have X670 Gaming X AXV2. Yeah, yeah, of course, because the first one was, uh, it was, it laid down. You can see, like, it's on the desk, right? And there's the GPU support. But then, uh, here's the proper one. Here's the proper one. But peep the cable management, though. I can do this better with cable combs. But hell no. And also, I can reroute these two cables a little bit better, right? Like, I can reroute them that way, like, a little bit more angled. But the cables are... Mwah. Oh, you're only going 3 three TB in total. Okay, then we can remove... Uh, we can remove this one. Click. There you go. So, how do we... There you go. Boop. Boop, boop. Uh, I'll send it here, and I'll send it on Discord. Boop, there you go. Just so you know. So, if you can assemble it, that's good. Now, whenever you are done with this one... Are these in mines? I don't even know what's happening with the mines. I'm going to the side of the case. Hey, nobody until until you get to it. Um, and accessories and a FK1. There we go. And this is your upgrade kit for the second fan. For the for the the cooler, right? No, uh, the Red Devil is fantastic. I have a Red Devil. That card that you've seen is Red Devil. It's it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It's not running hot. It's not running hot. Feel free to. I have been in PC building... Uh, <laughs> well, do, do I call it industry or whatever I call it? Hobby. For 20 years now. <laughs> I've built... Way too many PCs. Way too many PCs. I love building PCs. Like, I love them. So, yeah. Well, technically 22 years in, 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 that, in that business. But uh, I prefer air coolers over liquid coolers. I prefer spacious cases. I prefer sp spending a bit more money on a power supply. If you're going with a 3K PC... Power supply that costs 450 is actually insanely good, right? I got mine as a as a mistake. I ordered a 250 power supply, but they sent me instead of GX model, which is gold rated, they sent me sent me TX model, which is titanium rated, and then I just paid the difference tax free. So that's why I have the the 450, 500 euro power supply, whatever. I don't know how taxes work in America. In, in like, do you pay taxes after this or whatever? Here in Serbia, it's taxes included. So I basically, I basically got uh, like tax free. And also, it's not worth to go like additional like 200 ish for um, Sapphire, just so you can get. So just so you can get it, just so you can let it cool run. And yeah, that's a prime. That's a prime. Yep, that's a unit. That's a unit. Yes. It has 12 years warranty. I can show you the freaking box. Like, I have it. I literally have it here. Like, because I need to pack pack some shit up. I can show you the box. It's a screenshot. Like, dudes, come on. Like, that's my torso, by the way. That's insane. It comes with a charger as well. 12 years of warranty comes with a charger. Like, 65 watt charger. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And the graphics card comes with a lot of stuff as well. And the box for the GPU is also huge, right? Like the box for the GPU is is also it's it's also huge. So there's that. But overall, I've been more than happy with what I've had, right? Like more than happy. But I've also upgraded for 
for years and years and years. But yeah, anyways, let me let me show you guys some uh, content. I have to go to the bathroom first, but we gotta buy some Alva temples. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run some Alva temples. Let me just see when I have the class. Hog really did did the trick me with the. Oh, okay. Oh, I I can stream for another hour and a half. That's completely fine. Okay, let's buy some Alvage temples. Not seventy seven. I want area level. Uh, 81. Oh, baby, we can do 83, right? I can do 83 now. Am I 91 too? 92. Perfect. Um, let's see. 10. 10. Let's see if these guys are going to... Oh, perfect. So, how have you guys been? What have you been up to? Anything, anything nice? Anything fancy? Oh, also, uh, Apollo, if you want to see the performance, I can just uh, turn off my uh, cap rate. <laughs> so you can see the actual actual thing, like actual frames. Because uh, the game runs high. Am I gonna crash? Cool. Failed to connect to instance. Okay. Good to know. Did my internet die? <laughs> my internet died. Oh my lord. My internet died. Ah, it's gonna reconnect. Let me go to the bathroom. Nice performance. Yeah, true. When you have an internet dying on you, by the way. Thankfully, I have two. I use one for streaming and I use the second one for gaming. Okay, let's see, is it back or not? <laughs> two PC meta, yeah. No, I had to get two PC, uh, two internets because of my work. Because uh, in my previous companies, I was penalized heavily if I missed the class and whatnot. So, yep, I had to get the second internet because it was cheaper than actually being penalized. Let's so just wrap it up for that. <laughs> Look at this. This shit it doesn't work still. I think I know why. Oh my god, are those assholes really... They really want me to sign another contract. Assholes. Okay, let me just swap the internet. Why would you do... Like, what the fuck? Never mind, we are now on the stream PC internet. It's always DNS. It's always some shit. I don't even know. I don't even care. It's not my job to to know work to care about it. I just know that I pay for it and I want it to work, right? There you go. <laughs> if at first you do not succeed, just change the internet connection. But yeah, when it comes to um, my my work as I am a, as I am an online teacher, I worked in companies that were. Um, I worked in companies that were so strict with their rules and they were like if you miss a class They would penalize you like the whole darn day of pay You would have to like you would have to forfeit half the pay in uh, in like Like it's it's not even a deduction like you wouldn't earn anything and you would have to pay half of what you would earn right 
and then the next next time it happened in the in the same month then that would be you pay one to one and i'm like dudes are you insane why are they 11 chaos now why are you greedy why do be greedy why people greedy i have no idea okay mm, laptop um ggg is changing a lot of stuff yes every darn time so you might want well you want to upgrade to an ssd right but um like you you cannot use a hard drive with um it just doesn't work like you cannot use a hard drive uh with path of exile the reason why is there are so many things to load and so many things to to do in the game that simply having a hard drive is not going to have enough time to to do a, to do a thing right It's basically offline now. Yes, I know. Surveillance system offline. It's not connected to the internet. It doesn't work, you idiot. <laughs> Surveillance cams. Um, anyways, the hard drives basically run a marathon, right? So they, they run a marathon while the um, SSDs run consistent sprints. And you need consistent sprints when the game is like uh, asking you to do, to do like con consistent sprints and whatnot, right? So, sadly, Path of Exile for many years now is worse and worse and worse off with um, hard drives. Like it has been like that for. For a while now. Ooh, I haven't seen that axe in a long time. So what you want is you want to get an SSD. Thankfully, it doesn't take uh, too long to to fix one right up, right? To like unscrew six screws on the laptop and just add a twenty buck SSD. It doesn't matter whichever one it is. Like it's completely irrelevant. What matters is that it's not a hard drive. Like from my old laptop, I basically repurposed the the old um, hard drive that it had into an external because that was way better than having a <laughs> having a silly hard drive in a in a in a laptop, and it helped immensely, right? Like it it really did help immensely. At this point, if you can run your Windows from a USB. Why would you run it from a from a hard drive? It's just it's just not not efficient to to even have hard drives on systems anymore because of all the data that goes through. Hopefully that answered your question, but you did say you were going to look into or you are going to look into, sorry, I'm buying a PC, so I have a <laughs> I have an option for every single um, price bracket. Basically, for every single price bracket. You're welcome. Trust me, that's 20 buck. Actually, $21. 20, 20 bucks on an SSD, any SSD, right? Of 20, uh, 240 gigs. It should be 20 or 30. Let's say it's 30, whatever. 30 buck SSD and $1 screwdriver is going to fix your problems with loading. However, problems with performance, that's a different issue. That's a completely different issue, right? That's a different cat in a bag. So to, to run things smoothly, you would need uh, a, a lot more smoothness, right? You, you would need more performance, sadly. Like, thankfully, laptops that provide, like, decent-ish level of performance are not that expensive. They're, like, 350 nowadays. Maybe 400. Sadly... They're all Ryzen's because Intel has been fumbling the bag for the past seven years. Six. No, is it 2014? Seven years. Yeah, Intel has been... Uh -uh. 
dude. And I, I was a few months away. I was saving money for for my per first like proper PC, right? That could uh, that could play games and even stream and and whatnot. Like I was saving money for a long time, and I was saving for an Intel, and AMD announced their stuff, and I'm like, okay. I will wait. I have waited this long. Intel CPU was 400 something bucks at the time, 6700K. It was 400 ish, -ish bucks there. Then, and I'm like, okay, I'm saving for that shit. That's completely fine. Whatever. And then AMD announced their stuff. And I was like, wait, I can get more for less, for half the money. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna upgrade. To, to that exactly and that's what I did and since then it has always been it has always been like that for some odd reason I still don't understand why uh, some people defend Intel too like I'm not biased I'm biased towards my wallet right like my wallet is what <laughs> I'm biased towards I'm not biased towards anything or anyone or whatever I'm biased towards my own wallet because I don't like to spend money where it's not needed in terms of like any any like PC shenanigans stupidity that you could potentially spend your money on, right? And I always looked for for like appropriate budget options, especially as yeah, student. Yeah, understandable. Yes, I am sadly still a student, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll probably get through that shit. But yes, it's it's all about the wallet. But you can make you can make a PC that's actually pretty darn good performance for six hundred buck bucks ish, right? It's irrelevant when I say bucks. I tend to mean euros, but it's irrelevant. It it can be one to one ratio. Like it's it's completely irrelevant. So you can you can make a pretty decent computer with six hundred uh, six hundred bucks. Yeah, it's it's very simple. Like it's it's actually very simple, and it's the components are not expensive. The components are fine. The only problem is one component is used, <laughs> and if you don't want a used component, then you would have to like look into some other options. Then you can't make it for six, seven hundred. Then it's like hundred, two hundred more, right? So, however, if possible, I would recommend. Uh, a graphics card that's half the value of the system of the total system because uh, when you get when you get that you're going to get a lot more life out of it and this is where AMD comes in handy especially like for for people like like yourself right completely understandable right like that's why pre-builds exist Pre-builds are always, as I said, pre-builds are always going to scam you for your money. However, however, you are paying for the knowledge that you do not have. And there are certain pre-builds I would buy from, and most I would avoid. As an example, even though it sounds a little bit stupid for the company and, and whatnot, Starforge, like, even though they started from streamers... Uh, they know what they're doing. They are charging you a premium for it, but they know what they're doing. So I would order a PC from them rather than uh, Dell. Yes, if you can avoid pre-builds, always avoid pre-builds, right? But if you don't want to bother yourself with anything if that in, in that regard, right? So if you don't want to bother... Yes, you're paying more, but peace of mind is number one, right? So you you have you have that one. Now it's it's very very simple to like ignore and avoid, but I suppose as you are a student, you probably are more willing to spend a bit of time to learn about things rather than spend money you don't have. So, it's like, if you've ever assembled Legos or Jigsaw puzzles, you will know how to assemble a PC. 
Oh, yours from Central U. Okay, okay, makes makes sense then. Um, I don't know what what places in EU have good uh, good pre-builds. Um, I really don't know what what places have good pre-builds. But oh well. Um, definitely, when it comes to comes to that, I would suggest learning how to make one. It's not difficult. It will take a bit of time, and it's not as expensive as they want you want you to believe is. Like as an example, Windows license is not a hundred. Like it's not a hundred bucks. Windows license is three to five bucks. Like you do not like. There's no difference between a hundred and. Three buck license. So let's see. Oh uh, yes, yes, that's what Apollo. I built you my PC, dude. <laughs> like I built you my PC. <laughs> what do you mean? Will it keep it cool? <laughs> of course it will. <laughs> I built you my PC. <laughs> Just checking. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Gonna channel my inner Goretta Thunberg. How dare you? Dude. Just... Jesus Christ. Hey, I've had people come check out my build guide for Bleedbow Gladiator. And they're like, yo, dude, your build does not work. And I'm like, okay, can you share your POB? And oh my god, the horror stories. Like, people have been assembling my build guide with another content creator's build guide, jumbling them up together, and then wondering why doesn't it work. And I'm like... <laughs> I make beginner content. I am quite, quite, like, knowledgeable when it comes to explaining things to complete beginners. Let's not say idiots, but... That too, I've been that as well. I still am for some things. And like, you come to me trying to like... The, 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 the. I've ripped some people people's asses up, right? It's it's such a funny... It's such a funny thing when... Uh, when you get to the point of... <laughs> when you just get to the point of... You made a build and somebody tells you your build doesn't work. Meanwhile, you are playing it. Like, meanwhile, I, I'm, I'm playing the build. Like, right? And it, it's just, it's just weird. Like, how do you expect... I don't even know. People are weird. Weird. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's here as well. That's here as well. Like, I've I've heard people, like, I've... I've tried to help. Like, I have a colleague from my university. And she wanted uh, to build a PC for her sister, right? Like, her sister needed a PC, yada yada. Her parents are paying. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna assemble it for free. Basically, I am charging you... I'm charging you one pizza for it, right? So just treat me to lunch, and I'll do everything, right? Just please don't ask me additional questions. Because if you do, I'm gonna be annoyed. And I don't want to be annoyed, because I'm doing this for free, right? I'm doing this so you don't get ripped off with pre-builds. Yeah, it's a good price, right? I usually charge between 5 and 10% of the total value of the PC as a fee, right? That's usually my charging fee, five to 10%. However, depending on complexity and whatnot of what person wants, it can go up to 30%, right? 20, 30, like depending on, depending on some things. Because as an example, if uh, somebody wants custom cooling, I'm not the best person that like I, I never did custom cooling. I know I know the theory behind it, but I never did. 
I would just call my friend over to do it, and that's why it costs more to do custom calling, because I'm not the one doing it, it's my friend doing it and him earning the money, right? So, that's basically it. But if it comes to anything else, I know how to do properly. Also, that friend of mine works with an EK, e, e, EKWB, but yeah. So when I don't know something, I am I am not shy to ask. Right? That's the the normal thing that should happen. But anyways, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna charge you anything. I'll just take a pizza. That's basically it. You treat me to to dinner. Keep me company, and we're gonna have fun. And then their dad started asking questions. Why are you this cheaper? Why does this work like that? Why the... And I'm like... I'm using better components. Because usually pre-builds where they cheap on, they cheap on a power supply on a motherboard and whatnot, you know? Like, I'm using better components for regular price, price, and I'm not marking you up what they are marking you up. It can cost the same, but me building it, if you want me to mark you up, right? And he's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, money? Money? Like, what? 50-year-old man, are you acting like a, a, a dummy? Like, have you not heard of this wonderful thing called a wallet? Right? And, it, and he basically told me, like, to explain to him, like, um... Like, I'm speaking to a child, and I'm like... I don't have the time, nor the will, to prove to you that I know what I'm doing, that I've been doing for 20 years... Because you're not paying me. And he's like, I would have paid you if you asked for the money. And I'm like, okay, I'm asking for the money. How much are you asking for? I'm asking for 40 to 60% of the total value. Oh, dude, that's now too expensive. And I'm like, okay, I don't care. Goodbye. Yeah, it's, it's just like... I don't mind if somebody asks me constructive questions. Yo, dude, how does this work, right? Like, I don't know anything about PCs. How does this work? Like, I have no problem answering questions. I love to talk. I have a problem when you want to pay me for the work. I tell you how much I want. I'm, I'm doing you a favor as a father of my colleague that I know for years. Like, she has been my friend for years. Even though I call her my colleague, she has been my friend for years. I'm doing you a favor. Don't waste my time. Like, I don't have the time to answer your... I mean, I have, I don't want to, for free. I don't have the time to answer your questions in regards to why is the water wet? Now, if you want to ask me how things work, I'll gladly explain. But their their main questions were like um, him and his wife. It's not even about it's not even about like time is money. It's about I want to help my friend, my my friend's parents not get ripped off, and then they're being asses about it. Okay, get ripped off. I don't care. You're nobody to me, right? Like, you're, you're my friend's parents. I've never seen you. I've never met you. I've never needed anything from you. Like, I don't care about you. Whether you live or die, you are basically a stranger to me. I don't give a shit. I give a shit about my friend, and that's it. About you, I don't. Whatever. So, when, when somebody's like that, basically rude, I just turn the rudeness back to them. Yes. Yes. Her father wanted to, to waste money. Hey, Janus. I did change to Raider. Okay, so the reason why I changed to Raider is because this one was my original build that I wanted to do for the League. 
However, you cannot do um, Rupture Raider. You cannot do Rupturing Raider uh, at the start of the um, League because you're missing your main component, which is Deadeye Ascendancy called Rupturing, right? So you're missing that. That's basically the, the fifth Ascendancy, right? So you're missing that. You're missing the... Um, Storm Shroud Jewel to get your spell suppression up. You're you're missing a bunch of bunch of stuff, and um, Olesia's Belt, Usurper's Penance. You're missing a lot of things, and I decided to go Bleed Bow Gladiator to make it easy on me and on everyone else to make a, a simple and easy guide, and that's why I did it. And now that I'm done with Bleed Bow Gladiator, that I've done everything that I wanted with it and made the final guide. I now, um, oh, she's just sending me. I now want to play what I originally wanted to play, and see how that goes. Because this, this build I had in my head ever since they introduced rupturing. That's why I changed raider. Do I recommend? No. Do bleed bow gladiator. It's perfectly fine. You don't need to do raider. It's it's fine. If you want to, sure you can. But I do not recommend Raider to, like, this, this, what I'm doing to everyone. Because it requires minimum level 96 to 98 to function on the same step where the Bleed Bow Gladiator did at 94 or something. So, yeah. That's why I changed GNS. And also, welcome to the YouTube stream. Uh. But yes, her, her father wanted to waste my money, and he masked it as, uh, but I want you to tell me in layman's terms. I, like, dude, I'm building you the thing, the warranty is longer, everything works fine, it's individual warranty, it's way better. What else do you want me to do? Do you ask the car mechanic when you go to, to fix your, when you give him your car to fix. Do you ask him every question? No, he just tells you to go fuck yourself. That's the TLDR. No worries. Yeah, feel free to ask, feel free to ask questions. Like, it's, it's completely fine. Like, I am done with uh, Bleed Bow Gladiator, right? That build cleared feared. There's nothing else to do. There is tier 17s, but I ain't gonna waste my, my time and effort to, to clear tier 17s when you can do that in a better way with a better build. Better build for that content, because that content requires instant damage and not bleed damage. Or damage over time, right? So yeah, that's that's the main thing. Like, I covered every base, I gave you guys uh, an update piece, right? Which is what weapon to go next. Can you police, for the love of god, just like, thank you. Um... What piece to upgrade next? Which way to go with the upgrade? Yeah. Uh, tier 17 maps are a no-go, kind sir. Uh, the reason why they are a no-go is because you don't have time to pull your snipe out. You simply don't. You can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can do it, but... To do it, you need to spend like 20, 30 chaos re-rolling the maps, adding stuff, doing the the scarab that gives you, which one gives you, like the, the this one or that one, like that gives you imbued options and the... Mr. Libra, to use TFT? Uh, why wouldn't you be able to use TFT? What? TFT is there. Hmm. Okay, uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. I still want to do a few Alva Temples. The problem is, we don't have any. I don't want to use mine. Chronicle of Azoatl, Apex of Azoatl, open, area level 83. Let's see. Do you want to sell this to me, kind sir? Yes, I'm uh, streaming on Twitch and YouTube. The reason why there's no YouTube chat here is because uh, YouTube, whenever you ban someone, it doesn't fully ban them. It bans them, like, it hides them from your channel, yet uh, chatting 
can uh, like chatting still shows. So I had my first two haters ever appearing. So yeah, that was that was fun. That was really fun. That's why I disabled YouTube. Uh, YouTube, what's it called? Um, is that 24? Yeah, that's 24. Both. YouTube streaming is garbage. The reason why I do YouTube streaming is because, um, like, it's like the platform itself. Oh, Adorn. Oh, my lord. Oh, 112. Not bad. Not, not a bad Adorn. Okay, so what did Shizu send me? Uh, all attributes, Frostbite, life. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. That's actually very nice. So, with all attributes being 15, um, actually there's there's none on the on the market. Let's see, 11? No, let's do without this. Yeah, that's uh, Shizu, that's a uh, very nice ring, right? Um, give me, give me that ring, let me craft the um, non-channeling. Let me craft non-channeling on that ring. And once I craft non-channeling, you can sell it easy for ten divines. But here's here's where here's where YouTube uh, YouTube is better than than Twitch. Uh, VODs are cleaner. They are higher quality. They stay for permanent amount of time, basically, because they are like a video on YouTube, right? It's a video on demand. Um, that's good. Where they're way worse than Twitch, where Twitch mutes VODs, YouTube outright blocks VODs. YouTube, I can have a 13-hour stream, and I played two songs that were copyrighted and the authors do not allow, like, uh, reproduction on VODs and whatnot. And YouTube will outright delete my video. Right? Like, they will block the video, they will put it private, and that's it. You can't do shit to it. And that pisses me off from YouTube. But, uh, yeah. It's just like... Oh, nice, Pog, one. Uh, there we go, you can sell that for... Is it 23? Uh, bless it to 23, and... Uh... Uh, sell it for 10. What? What? You cancelled. There you go. Bless it for 23 and sell it for 10. That's fine. You didn't have to. That's fine. Thank you. Um, okay, let's see. What do we have? Hall of Offerings. That's fine. And this one, Apex of Ascension. Why did you sell me Apex of Ascension, man? <laughs> I really don't want to do it. Damn it! Do I really have to do Apex of Silly Ascension? I have this Transcendent Flesh. Yeah, these people are, are on, on drugs. <sighs> okay, well, we can do one more. What time is it? It's 2.30 a.m. I can do this one more. And then I have to, to, to head to bed. Because I have a class uh, in the morning and tomorrow is my day off. Which is... Uh, Really good day of streaming. Pardon, pardon. I have work, <laughs> but day of streaming, and I have some things to catch up on, especially like content creation wise. Right, I have to have to make some videos. And the link to TFT server. Um, give me give me a second. I'll give you a link to a TFT server. Ah, nope. Nope. Uh, they've blocked invites, it seems. Uh. There we go. Try this. Try this. They've blocked uh, people making invites. Only admins can, can invite. 
Yeah, un understandable. Like, I have a class at, like, um, noon or, or 1 p.m., but I still need, like, as I'm a teacher, I need to, like, uh, get a little bit ready. <laughs> right. Well, 10,000 is uh, subjective, right? But, um, I mean, you can see the FPS up, up here. You will be happy and satisfied, right? You're th I know you're talking for PoE, but it's still um, 10,000 is, is s s slight overstatement, right? I can do a blighted ravaged map if you want to see the FPS uncapped. Like, dude, you're, you're not gonna get stutters even, like, come on. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> And no matter what anyone tells you, PoE loves cash, dude. Yeah. Keep in mind I have it capped because my, my monitor is 200, right? So there's no need to go any anywhere higher. I just don't know AMD. I've been using AMD for the past... Well, seven years minimum, right? There are some problems, but nothing that can't be fixed. And the problems are mostly with Windows. So it's not AMD's fault, it's Windows' fault. So if you have a problem with AMD on that one, most likely you're going to have a problem with NVIDIA on that one. Because it's not their problem, it's freaking Windows. We love Windows, right? Uh, the only problem is you have to go Windows 11. That's the proper problem. They do, yeah, they, their drivers are immaculate. Like, honestly. Settings, you don't even have to log in, right? Settings, updates, click, 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 whatever. Performance, metrics, temperatures, following everything. Keep in mind, don't, don't get scared. Um, AMD CPUs now have um, internal GPU. So iGPU. So don't get scared about that. But uh, yeah, it works perfectly fine. They're very good. It's better than GeForce Experience. You're welcome, Genus. Like, it's way better than GeForce Experience. It's just like... There, as I said, there are issues that arise from time to time. Like, as an example, a week or two ago, I had a problem with... Uh, uh, with... Uh, drivers, where my drivers crashed my PC. Guess whose problem it was? It wasn't AMD's, it was Windows. Why? AMD has version 7 of the driver, Windows has version 2 of the driver in their database, Windows checked the database, database said, well, the user does not have uh, driver version 2, um, we are going to install version 2. What happens when you install a video graphics driver twice, two different versions? Kaboom! So basically, you had to go in. I had to go in Windows, and I had to disable automatic driver updates, and that fixed the issue. Now I had some stutter issues that I've been saying. What's all this stuttering about? Guess what? Windows again. When I go to Logitech, when I go to my mouse, when I choose, like I need to like do this. When I choose, like, on my mouse, when I choose the polling rate, this is how often the mouse reports information to the computer. Because I have a wireless mouse, I have to set it to 500. Because Windows makes some changes and it stutters my PC. Also, Chrome stutters the PC. Chromium browsers and Chromium web browsers stutter the PC. Guess whose problem that is? Windows again. Like, I have no idea. I have no clue. I fixed all of those issues. Keep in mind, like, I fixed all of those issues. But it's like... 
Man, is it annoying. Like, imagine buying buying PC parts for that much money and then be like, dude, they don't work. No, they do work. It's the operating system that fucks shit up. I'm I'm a techie, yes, I am a techie. Like I, I am a techie. <laughs> and I mean as you can see, like stream is ultra wide. I love ultra wide, right? Although I do want to increase my quality of the stream a little bit more and especially microphone, but we'll get to that point. <laughs> baby techie, yeah, baby techie. Like I love uh, quality. I love providing quality and enjoyable experience for like watching and everything, right? That's what I love to do. I hate when things I pay for don't work how they're intended. Because gremlins, right? This build needs more life, man. Like, this build needs more life, man. And the worst part is, more life comes with levels, nothing else. But first, damage cap, right? We're playing softcore. We're not playing some silly ass save, save the puppy game. We are playing Doom Eternal. Oh, dude, you can you can play anything and everything. Like I can show you the performance, right? Like you can literally play anything and everything with this PC. The only thing that's better than this PC is uh, actually getting a 4090, because that's the strongest card in the market. But I wouldn't get that hot garbage, like, not even if you paid me. Because of their connector and uh, the problems with burning burning their connectors. Like, fuck no. I'd rather take lower performance by 20 to 30% and half price off and not burn my PC. Than, melt my PC, pardon. Than actually going 4090 garbage. Even 4080 does the same shit. Because they, the Nvidia wanted to invent the hot water, and they, then they inve invented warm water, not hot water. Warm water. Oh, oh! I'll do, I'll do a blighted ravage map after this one. You guys are gonna love it. I'll unlock the FPS even. Yeah. Also, keep in mind, um, some abilities and most items on the ground are cached in the CPU cache. Blighted maps. We are going to do a Blighted Ravage. So, I will I will show you the direct example of this. I just need to, to clean this thing, right? Okay, so now, when we clean our mo all mobs, I will show you exactly what I mean. I can show you this in Blighted Ravage maps as well. And this is why you want AMD's X3D and not Intel's bullshit. Like... Like, this is the exact reason. So, if you press Alt, right, this all goes through CPU memory. Like, CPU cache, right? So all of that goes through CPU cache. All of it. And when you do this, it has to be loaded from the cache back. The lowest I've managed to, to get my CPU to go in a Blighted Ravaged map, full Blighted Ravaged map, open Blighted Ravaged map, was 37 FPS once, and in that same map, it never went under 45 49 and then once it started loading things in it went uh, and kept above 60 It's like if when they tell you that see that poe is not a cash game and it's not a CPU game It's a GPU game. They're lying <laughs> like poe 
is a CPU cache game first. Oh yeah, right. I didn't have the this PC back then, right? I didn't have this CPU. So you'll see. It's it's going to be a, a fun experience. <laughs> we do not count slideshows. We do not count slideshows. And for you, it's not FPS, it's FPM, frames per minute, right? Sorry. Just had to. Just a little bit, a little, little wonky bit. I hate these disappearing mobs, man. Almost ready. Yep. Right. Hey ho! CPU game. Yep, it's a CPU game and it's a cash, cash, uh, cash game as well. Also, welcome to the YouTube stream. FPM the breach stops. Yeah. Yeah. Breach stones tend to F shit up as well, right? My mana is gone. Hmm, we understand my stone trash call, that's useless. Okay, we gotta we gotta do one more room. Yeah, Shizu has a very old system. Yep. Understandable. The worst part of this build is waiting for enemies to die. Because you know they're dead, they know they're dead. At this point it's just like... Okay, so it's going to be a weapon anyways. Cling. It's going to be trash anyways. Okay, let's do a... Um, blighted Ravaged map. And with that Blighted Ravage map, I will have to close the stream out because uh, it's going to be 3 a.m. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ, Lillian. How fast is this uh, Raider version? Faster than Gladiator. Faster than Gladiator. But Gladiator is good. Oh, uh, Gladiator is an all-arounder better than than this. There you go. Ravaged. I want to add some... No, uh, not towers damage. No, cheaper. Cheaper towers. Lucky. And additional reward. There we go. Oh, oops. Can't do that next to Paradoxica. Okay, I'm going to manually roll these these maps first. Vulnerability, life, chain, less curse, maim, cooldown, recovery, that's fine. And for the love of God, click. Six pack size. Okay, it gained 6% pack size. Boggers. Okay. And now, is Gladiator noob friendly? Yes. Like, Gladiator is noob friendly and uh, you can do it in SSF too. Look at that Frost Nova. Yeah, but your Frost Nova is um, also, what's it called? Um, a double budget almost. And we add a full Aziri wheel. Beep boop. What do, what do these do? They give 5% more quantity. So quantity is going to go from 98 to something. Ew, Frost Nova. <laughs> Uh, no, RF is one of the easiest, easiest skills in the game. Okay, this does not work well for me. Also, what the... Why don't I have portals? How dare I not have portals? I am such a pleb. Actually, I'm gonna use a blue one. Okay, so... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh,
fill me in and call me daddy. Wait, what? Oh, that's so good. Oh, get burnt. Oh, FPS. Oh, I didn't uncap it, sorry. Maven portal, oof. I haven't done uh, a lot of maps or any maps on, on this build. Divine power! Salium. Oh, oops. Wrong one. New roots. Oh my god, where are they? Oh! Oh! oh yes! I expect there's going to be some shenanigans. I expect some shenanigans here. There's definitely going to be some shenanigans. There's no way you're going to give me this beauty and then not give me shenanigans. There is no freaking way. The other side is going to be agony. There you go. Here's the FPS. 130... whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, SFK went to, went to sleep ages ago. SFK went to sleep ages ago. <laughs> Sorry. Fast like oh, uh, they they have told me, or pardon, I have been told multiple times that I would make girls really happy with my fingering skills. I am sorry, I had to, right? You should see me six socket items. I have a strategy. Uh, this is a problem, as I said. That's a problem. That's a big ass problem, and I don't like these problems. I like small ass problems, not big ass problems. Please, towers. Yes, honey, give me towers. Okay, this wasn't that bad. And before, it just is going to start becoming bad. Okay, all is Gucci, all is Gucci. Alles klar, alles klar. Yes, honey, give it to me. There we go. Oh, that side is, like, fun. Sorry, guys, that I'm not focusing. Like, the Blighted Ravaged maps do take do take a little bit of uh, thinking, right? Just a smidge. Oh, my God. That's so good. Get burnt, dude. Well, that's basically it, right? Although, I'm still annoyed at the bottom side. I am still very annoyed at the bottom side, okay? We don't want to have fun with fire. I am uh, not a fan of fire. Ouch. That hurts. Ouch. I put the flamethrower. Dude, there's misclicks, man. Okay, this Gangrel the Mangled is annoying me. Gangrel and Knuckle Gnaw. Oh. Oh, I, I got a meteor up in my ass. Is that a Detonidin? That is a Detonidin. Hey, holding steady at 70, right? 78, 80, we're all good. Uh, can you please die, kind pe uh, pet, puppy? What are you? Okay, I see the fire, that's bad. As long as there's no scree, I'm fine, right? Because scree is ass. I love how the upper side is not even moving, right? Like, upper side is just having a, a field day. Also, those haven't paused, by the way. Look at that. They are having a field day. They are enjoying their life. They are having a nice little... What the hell was that?
Yo, did I just see a goat? Axehorn, Earth Flattener. Cool flatten, bro. Okay, that's annoying. I'm literally sweating like a pig now because of this. Hey, blighted ravaged map, let's go. I'm not up to that just yet. Here's the biggest test, okay? Ready? Set. Twenty. Like if I do if I do this, it's going to load them instantly, right? Like it drops, but now it's dropping to like 60. But then doing this, it goes into a slideshow, but it's still like 20, right? Also, it's not crashing. So <sighs> love it. Love it. Okay, let's loot. Let's see if that was any luck. I don't think fingerless gloves will sell even. Nobody gives a damn about these. Okay. Let's see. I use uh, I use every every tower besides the um, uh, what's what are they called? The reflective oil. Uh, besides the minions. Minions are like, eh. We just stun them and that's it. Okay. Sulfite empty. <laughs> Time to use uh, one, one ember. Okay, let's see. Do we get a zing? Do we get a zing? Do I deserve a zing? That's the question. Do I deserve a zing? That was a clean performance. Do I deserve a zing game? I just need one zing. Nothing else. Just need one before bed. Well, I'll take opalescent oil. Just one before bed. One before bed game. Two violets. What was that? Nothing. I've, I've had way too many zings today, by the way, so um, Shizu will kill me if I get another one before bed. Shizu is actually going to kill me if I get another zing before bed. Not, not gonna lie. Like, if I get a zing here, Shizu is absolutely going to slaughter me. Yes. Because uh, I've had way too many zings today. I've had small zings, but very significant zings. Had a uh, 50 plus divine belt zing. Like 50 plus divine belt zing, by the way. Which still needs to be sold, but that's going to take a little bit of time, right? I'll probably reduce the price. So this belt. 15% increased quantity of items. It's like 50 Divines plus, right? So we got that. And I got the card that, uh, like, 1 in 16 that gives uh, uh, 19 Mirror Shards. So I got that card too. So that's another 20-something odd Divines. So if I get a Zing here, she's is going to actually... I'm not getting a Zing. There's no way I'm getting a Zing from these. Nice. Venter's Gamble's always good. Hope for the good rolls. Don't corrupt them if bad rolls save three, Vendor three for one. There's nothing to zing here. Damn it, now I want now I want this stupid shit to zing. No. I will not give out before a zing. I will do a regular map. I have to do a regular map now. I have to do a Oh wait, we have stag decks. Oh, Oh. 
Oi. We got stack decks. Oi. Oi. Stack decks. Go sleep. No. No. One more. One more. I'm enjoying this so much. And you guys are keeping me company. Yes, of course. It uh, doesn't matter. They both function pretty good. They both work pretty good. It doesn't matter. Intel, AMD, it's irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, just vendor them three for one. Okay, one more, one more, one more. The addiction is here. The addiction is here. Mineral pools, Forking River, Bramble Valley. Cemetery! And let's not do additional reward. 18 blight chests are lucky. Let's go. I'm filling this one in. That's 30 chaos in a map, by the way. 30 chaos in a map. In 54 blight chests. No worries. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> but Intel, I mean, yeah. Yeah, all flame member of Sulfite. Yeah, it just fills in the Sulfite fully. Okay. Click. Life stun, poison, power, impale, less effective curses. That's good. Click. 14 item quantity. Poggers, dude. Let's go, dude. Boom. Oh, that was two years. I was, I was almost like I played on an Intel Pentium Four, right? Oh my lord! I keep forgetting that the cemetery is actually an open map to hell. This is not gonna be nice. I hate open maps, dude. Because you can get such bad ones. Ooh, that's good, though. There you go. Yep. I, I haven't played RuneScape. That's that's one, one of the MMO drugs I haven't played. RuneScape and that E1. What's that E1 called? EverQuest? Was it EverQuest? I haven't played those two. Like those, those I haven't played. Oh my lord, it has, it has begun. It has begun. Oh, wait, I'm playing this as a Ravaged map. Why am I playing this as a ra I'm an idiot. I'm literally playing this as a Blighted Ravaged map. I'm an absolute idiot. I completely forgot that this is uh, this is an actual regular map. <laughs> Why, Heavy? Because Heavy is dumb and it's late. That's almost not even that. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Mom! <laughs> Stop using the internet, Mom! Oh, no, pardon. Stop using the phone, I want to use the internet. And then out of spite, she'd be like, <laughs> The good old days. I hated those days. I hated those days. Now I'm living in good old days. Now I'm living in good days. Like I hated those days back then. Holy shit, man! Yeah, if I could, if I could just take a rubber and erase my childhood, I would, I would do it like without a second of thinking, right? Um, because it was all going through one line. Dial-up was a system that went through telephone lines, and because it all went through the same line. You actually physically couldn't send the signal to like uh, two different two different things at once, so it had to be patched from one to another line. So you only had to use one line at a time. 
That was the problem. Uh, not, not a phone call. Phone calls would have been stopped. But if you picked up a phone, then yes. Then yes, internet cuts out. Because phone had a um, priority. So it was either... It was either using the, the phone or using the... Um, uh, the internet. So I suppose you're young. <laughs> you're either young or very disinterested. <laughs> kill Johnny, let's kill him. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, they they summoned mobs on the pump. That sucks. 24? Ah, that's 24 too young. Come on. That's 24 young. Hello. That's fine. That's an adult. Yeah, you, you literally skipped that part. You didn't skip... Well, my, my, you might have skipped flip phones even, actually. Have you? Might have actually skipped flip phones. Yeah, I think you might have actually skipped flip phones. Chris <laughs> child. <laughs> hey, I'm 30 in six months, right? So, like, this year I'm 30. And, oh, I think I messed up there. And uh, let me be clear, this is the best time of my life that I've ever had. I basically recently started living for myself. I always had to take care of someone, I always had to do things, I never had time for myself fully. Like, now I fully have time for myself, and what am I doing? I'm making videos, I'm streaming. Thank you for the follow, King of Camotes. I hope I pronounced that properly. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there's phone slider and, like, uh... Oh, fun times, fun times. Those were fun times. Oop. Oh, pull up antenna. Uh, yeah, we, we kind of skipped that a little bit, right? Yes, slider era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those were actually the, the shit. Those were actually the shit, right? Those were phones, dude. Hey, I loved my good old Sony T T300. I think it was T300. Was it? Sony T300. No, it wasn't T300. No, it wasn't Sony. It's Sony Ericsson. Yes, dude! Sony Ericsson! There we go! There's my phone! There's my phone, dude! There it is! There it is, dude! With the, with the, like, thingy, like, oh my god, I love that phone. <laughs> Razer was your... There were so many cool, cool phones. So many cool phones. Wrong gold ring. Wrong gold ring game. Wrong gold ring. Okay, time to hear a zing, and then uh, it's actually time to sleep, so I'm sorry. This is going to be it for the stream after I finish these things, because if I don't go to sleep now, I will never sleep. Anything good? Uh, physical damage, bleeding, attack speed. I mean, that's decent. If Actually, is it? I mean, yeah, you can craft regular... Well, that's elemental resistance. I mean, it's 10 to 20 chaos. Nah, I wouldn't bother. Sorry. Hey, these phones are fine phones, right? It's just... The older I am, the less I use my phone. I love voice recording and voice messages. I love those. 
I just... Uh, I started hating texting. Like, I can text, but I'm like, if I can record a voice message, I am, I am gonna record a voice message. Right? Did I pick up everything that way? Yes, I did. And design, I mean, I don't care about design, I care about functionality. Folding touchscreen is, is good. But, um, I have a problem that it's made by Samsung. <laughs> Go Samsung there. Yes, I, I do record voice messages a lot. I tend to do that quite often. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Hmm, thank you. I mean, not for throwing. Uh, trash, actually. Oh, we got eight cards. Try to be a girl. A. Oh, yes, dude, the last zinc of the night, yes, 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 there we go, last zinc of the night, yes, <laughs> and Shizu's gonna kill me. Yeah, I mean, women need better pants, like, they need better pockets, like, that's just crazy. Those shallow pockets for purses. But... It is what it is, right? Yeah. But that also depends on the style of wear. What you like to wear, what kind of style, and whatnot. So, then as Mao said... You can go completely fine with some things, right? Jesus Christ is anything good? <laughs> Not a single one worth even picking. Okay. Last things. I would like a blighted ravaged map, please. Blighted Ravaged Mapet. By the way, investment 30 chaos into this map. 30 chaos. I won't be able to pick up all the oils. Yep. As I said, won't be able to pick up all the oils. There we go. 30 chaos investment in the map. <laughs> it's complete. It's completely understood. Don't worry. So, 30 Chaos Investment for a Lucky Divine, I honestly think that's not worth it, right? I mean, I got one Opalescent Oil back. But that wasn't worth it. But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely worse, worse for you girls than, than for us. Okay, let's open those tag decks. Okay. Bene. Bene. It's only 50 chaos though, but it's still 50 chaos. <laughs> and you can see it here. That's even the worst part. You can see it in the bottom right. Oh my lord. Yeah, well, that's 50. Click. Hey, I've lucked out way too much today, okay? Like, way too much today. Actually, wait, no, you, you roll this one... Scepter, you roll with... With, like, alts. Yeah, you you can you can you can see it nicely. It's it's been it's been a, a wild ride with uh, heavy and heavy and co. Actually, wait. Do you do crit multi on fire or do you do it on? Never mind. I'm just gonna sell it. This is okay. Uh, pseudo fractured. This one category setter royal ten. 
There you go, and have a tier 1 chaos damage. Okay. And now I'm gonna stop the playing. Because if I continue to play, I'm gonna play until the morning, and I don't want to continue until the morning because that's going to be messed up. But, yeah. We still have a few things to, to finish. I might start another build. Oh, disconnect again. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, technically it's 3 a.m. here. 3 a.m. here, and I have a class in like 9 hours. Oh, hi, nice. Okay, you don't want it. Never mind. Oh, there you go. Party invite. There you go. Come in. I love these guys who want to save. Like, he is saving 20 or 30 chaos when when you when he buys these cards right never lucky hey just rubber ducky never lucky just rubber ducky man there you go p for t that's fine leave boom so overall, today's spending, 8 Divines, today's earnings, a lot. <laughs> today's earnings, a lot. Okay, but here's, here's the thing. I want to thank you all for stopping by. You guys are awesome. Like, Ho Hog's Raid came literally right when I was about to go to bed. No worries, thank you so much for, for stopping by and staying staying up this late. Tomorrow, no stream. So Friday, no stream because I have work to do. I have a laundry to, to wash. I have to do some stuff. I might even take a chill pill, not even make a video or something. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to take a breather. So Fridays are my breather days. And then we continue Saturday. So... Thank you everyone for stopping by. You guys are so kind. And I will see you Saturday. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Get some good zings. Get